My friend Harry is a very unique character and uh, he has some borderline offensive moments. He's ready to see some more. Borderline offensive moments? This, this man gets her everything. He can say what he wants. He does what he wants. Let's see him. Vitiligo. Vitiligo. I'm just like, I can't be honest. Yeah. Is that a Michael Jackson thing? The Mike, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my hands. Since when? Fuck, sorry, I get big space. That is nuts! <laughs> 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 what if I was getting attacked by a group of racists? <laughs> if you get oh, God. attacked by a group of this racists, one's a good one. yeah. I'd join in. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? I, I, I'd come to your aid. Probably monitor That's you today, Ethan, I think. Like, like, you'd get stop talking to my boy. Yeah, no, I'll get cooked. Harry is just one big intrusive thought, though. He, uh, he just, he just says what he thinks. Isn't it funny how like there is different rules for different people? How silly. Game is the game, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Once you've taken off your shoes and gloves, you still shouldn't shake hands if you are standing in the threshold of a doorway. You're not supposed. Well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't bomb a foreign country either. But they do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, man. To be fair, it's only way too fair. It's intrusive thoughts, isn't it? It literally like he shakes away. it and just says it. Actually, dead people. Oh, yeah, I've never thought. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, oh, no, that's actually. That is quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> Because how many was Harry? Was it been nuts? It's mad. Oh wow! Pretty sure See, I'd, I'd run. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were sleeping. The child does actually make you feel a little bit like uh, I don't like him. But the game is the game. <laughs> 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 we are all peppered, by the way, though. Other than Bro, you, you can so peppered. The rest of us are so peppered. Bro. JJ must have felt tipsy by association with you guys. I haven't, I haven't been that JJ drunk. Because we actually, us three were like... Unbearable. Yeah. This <laughs> like, is the video I... where you say that your kid has eczema. With yeah, his my kid's got, got eczema and he just peppers <laughs> himself. You're <laughs> a <What laughs> mess. <laughs> What? I'm trying to, I'm trying to make Man it. Man on a spritz though. I'm trying though. to lighten the mood. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying oh, to, yeah. what a drink. <laughs> Are you driving? Are you, so you drive the whole way, Toby? I can drive the whole way. Are you sure? I can, I can drive the whole way. <laughs> He's a whip <laughs> merchant. Go in. You want it? No, don't, no, no, no. <laughs> don't make it weird. Don't make it weird. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go, my friend. Is there a forfeit for this one? Yeah. Oh, you got, you got to commit suicide. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Game that, that game does make me want to do that. Assassin's Creed. Could see myself oh, you know, climbing there. Oh, climbing no, no. No, Santa, no, no. She's too young. <laughs> Think he's acoustic? What? He might be acoustic. Blood is acoustic. Because that's a pretty acoustic the way, right there, by the way. He just like looking. Way, yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is what, on that trip, he did two or three things like that. The other two weren't caught on camera. It's like he doesn't do it. He doesn't check if there's a camera recording. He's, 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 he's living his life. He's doing his thing. <laughs> I know. So what, he, so he had a stands up to the telescope looking at a yes. little girl saying she's too young. <laughs> yes. That was, that was his intrusive that, thought. You, no, that's, that's what you're assuming, Josh. He, yeah. <laughs> well, it's what he, happened. You said, no, Sam, she's too young. Yeah, yeah but it could, it, could, it could be referring to anything. Why are you making it, why are you making it weird, man? <laughs> you tell me, Mick. Please explain to me what else it could mean. He wants to get uh, a girl some XIX for Christmas. Oh, uh, no, yeah. she's too young. She's, uh, she's below the drinking age. Fair, nice. Yeah. Oh, I've got my mom last time. Oh, Toby, play a tune. This is good. Play a tune, play a tune. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Toby, turn it off! Fucking turn hands. It off, Toby. <laughs> this is an apology video. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I assaulted you. <laughs> greyhound, an Italian greyhound, <laughs> and Ethan's filthy mother. <laughs> <laughs> No need for that. <laughs> Will we accept it? <laughs> That's up to you. Will we accept it? Did yeah. they accept it? That's the question. You know what? Hello. Well, he passed away, unfortunately, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Sorry, I did your questions at your child. I'm sorry. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> I might be getting my curry fetters confused. Well, let's, is... let, let's go to the expert. Where are they? Where are It's because he's nearest Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> this video is sick, by the way, Josh. I rate it. Really? I didn't, I didn't believe in the mu yeah, it's, like on a it's bus. Yeah, it's done really well. It's done really well, and it was it was it was a laugh. Like it worked. It's ain't different, yeah. It's different, yeah. yeah. Where else yeah. can you do a mukbang? Yeah. Where else can you do one? Let's on do a, plane. a mukbang in a cave. In a cave? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, let's see. We got to do it in space. We got to go in that fucking space balloon. And do a mukbang. Muk muk mukbang space. in a. Oh, you don't come down. A Mental ah. asylum. In a mental asylum. Yeah, I think we're getting. Oh, what, what, what if you just did like a mukbang in a haunted mental asylum? 
Yeah. We do it at 4 a.m. in the morning. We get like a Ouija board and stuff out. Look at YouTube. Zero video views. I if you want to, I I think I want for one. I'm a big advocate. Go to go to go. I don't want to get done for. I don't want to get done for. He's even going to pee again. Yeah. Bring back the Kinder eggs. It's bullshit. Bullshit. It's fucking bullshit, mate. It's a joke on the toy, isn't it? If your baby's gonna choke on a toy, it was a stupid baby anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, take, don't take the toys Whoa. out of my kinder Well done you. She was passionate about the kinder Well done you, I love it. I, I, I think Tony's a bit of a cry merch on stream. <laughs> oh no! Quite much. Stream, no need. Where's do I leave the segment now? Do I leave the room? Do I leave the room? Do I leave the room? Oh no! One stream, bro. We're part three right now. We're getting there. I'm Harry. Uh, I'm 23. I'm from Guernsey. Uh, what do me and coronavirus have in common? Um, we we both shagged Ethan's grandma. Right. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god, god. I, just, I, I just deep that. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. That doesn't even really make up. sense. No, oh not really. God. It does make no. sense. <laughs> well, uh, I wouldn't say a virus, shag show. Yeah, yeah. It's shag show instead. To me, it's a pity, well, please. So you just said fuck. <laughs> so yes, to me, it's yeah. pity, please. I mean, in comparison to that, in comparison to that, I think anything's a yes. Desks can cause uneven muscle development and spine deformities <laughs> in children. Oh, no. That's why they're all so short over there. It makes sense. <laughs> 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 what happened to Ninja, bro? Oh. <laughs> Your face. Worse for worse. <laughs> got 50 mil though, so fuck He does, well. exactly. D Don's clear. Yeah. He parties with Travis Scott. Yeah, he should eat though at some point. <laughs> 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 we was peppered on this day as well. So I we, was watching, uh, we, yeah, was watching a, uh, we was watching a, we was watching a, was it Euros or World Cup game? We was watching a Euros World Cup oh, game that day. Euros before, yeah. And we was at their old, uh, Thing. So we was like, oh fuck, we've got to go and do cockle pops. Isn't it, isn't it a shame that's why it's, your perspective is probably one of the Bro, and ones. that's so like, it is just. Bro, look at the fact. background. We grabbed like a plug <laughs> pot, cone. a balloon, a cone with the UFC it's belt. Right. And Colin's put his lights around and said, here you go, that'll work. <laughs> it's a pink light, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it was fucked. Could you have sex with a chicken, sorry? A chicken? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm not accepting animals. Wait, no, 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 bro. But if he'd have said child, would you have allowed it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah. Yeah, the point is, it's illegal. Well, yeah, it's, 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 it's literally it's illegal. illegal. To have I said with a chicken. When Harry gets pissed off in the Moss Island game. It's Karen. It's Karen. It's Karen. Yeah, Moss Island. So he loves it. Then we got some. Actually, we filmed some new Moss Island videos the other day. Yeah. They're coming out soon. Harry had a big, big I'm Karen. Karen. For the Karen moment. It might have actually been like, yeah, like top five. Where it was it's your amazing. Karen More than like the, the, the foot fetish one. I would find someone who's willing to sell the jet and then donate all that money to a children's charity. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the score in the football match between Spain and Ethiopia? <laughs> no, I didn't. Spain eight, <laughs> Ethiopia didn't. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> He's fat. Somebody who took it. <laughs> what a video this is, mate. What a classic. Pit cooked. Beanie uh, Vic. Tripods on the ice. Please tell everyone what they should do. Subscribe. He's used oh. that now. Jump. Jump. <laughs> 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 but not before 30 kids were injured. And tragically, in 2005, a 22 month old named Kenny Sweet died from digesting oh, the toy. Shit. Kenny, you ruined it for the rest of us, mate. Big face, he didn't even hear what he said. You know what? I think that was like when I'd been up till like 6 a.m. playing there, Warzone. Yeah. yeah, 6 a.m. playing Warzone and then woken up like four hours later to <laughs> react. He had to become an inanimate object for a year. What object would you choose to be? Uh, Michael Schumacher. <laughs> Michael Schumacher, okay. <laughs> How did he get away with that, by the way? Like, yeah, it's yeah, it, none of us could get away no, with that. No. Now, obviously, what we're then going to do <laughs> is offer them to work. <laughs> In Cambodia, <laughs> <laughs> now, on the way out the door, they're not going to accept obviously, but below minimum wage. Yeah, of course, that is when the side squad, side squad, which is squad, which is us in black overalls, and we're going to chuck them in a van okay, and put so on the pre-booked <laughs> flight to Cambodia. <laughs> fan? Yeah, look at that. That's what I'm not talking about. Me and Mr. Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> For your sake, cut that out of the video. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Why does it look so small now? Uh, go for it, fish eye. If you had to have sex with two people <laughs> with the combined ages of 30... Oh, this one. <laughs> okay. JJ's face is so good for this question. <laughs> Wow. That should have been in spill your guts or fill your guts. It's <laughs> true, <laughs> actually, yeah. Imagine. Oh. Yeah, that would have cooked. If you could press a button yeah. and it, it robbed a thousand random people on the planet of ten thousand pounds from their bank account and just gave it to you. What's that, Mill? 10, 10, 10 million, 10, 10 million. 10, so you get 10, 10, 10 mil, you get 10 mil. Yeah. 10 mil. Would Absolute. you press the button? I just want everyone to know that you you won't see the wave video because Harry pressed space. That's <laughs> what it was. It's a, when I'm clicking my when my OBS is selected instead of the thing and I smack the space bar, it just stops. Yeah. And I just want you to know that the wave video was unreal. We could watch it again. Do you want to watch it with No, 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 no. I'll watch the okay. wave video. Well, I want to see No, this. no, Toby, 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 Toby. Toby. <laughs> but his fabled wave video is going to be like the missed <laughs> video of the Sad Men Myth. Sad Men Myth. Just watch your highs. We're here for highs. Today. Let's okay, let's get it. Right, greatest heist of all time. Even if we don't condone them, most people I are think generally the one fascinated this year was the, uh, with heists. Movies the Twitter, like Ocean's Bitcoin Eleven one, and they have Steam. Oh yeah, that was the because it's Bitcoin's untraceable, bro. Don Moore's way around the world. Mills. No, you got to not catch him. He's a seventeen-year-old, bro. Yeah. Huge piles yeah. oh, of cash and jewelry. Oh, someone snitched on him. Sometimes man. these elaborate crimes occur outside uh, of the world of fiction. Today, we're looking at the five greatest heists of all time. Yeah, oh, that's a good game. Heist. Ooh, the Antwerp Diamond District is one of the most heavily secured places in the world, Ooh. with billions of. Toby, I've got a quiz question for you. Why me? Which cut? Which country is Antwerp in? Belgium. I think you're wrong, but you might be right. Uh, I think it is Belgium, bro. It's be it is Belgium. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Oh. Dollars okay, of diamonds Aaron. changing hands there every year. <laughs> Maybe wave videos are for you, bro. <laughs> one gang of thieves pulled off one of the largest diamond heists in history. Now, even though most of the gang, known as the School <laughs> of Terrain, oh, have been arrested, <laughs> never been retrieved. The robbery was led by Leonardo Notar Bartolo, a small like diamond a diamond you know? tenant of yeah. the Diamond Center, and a thief responsible for many minor jewel robberies. Although police believe he was the robbery's mastermind, he claimed that he was contacted by an unidentified diamond dealer who recruited him for the crime. Notar Bartolo <coughs> said he was paid to take pictures of the vault's complex security system. Ooh. From those pictures, the dealer constructed a full-sized replica of the vault. Notar Bartolo states that the dealer set Wonders. him up with a small Maybe. gang of Italian jewel <laughs> thieves, each with specific skills for the robbery. The Bro, this is not GTA. Yeah. This of this sick. anonymous diamond dealer. However, no proof has been found to support this claim. The thieves oh. got through the 10 layers of security, previously what? thought to be impenetrable. I don't get how you they even do that. Cameras, like, surely at some point. The combo dial, the keyed lock, wow. magnetic sensors, If you've got like six, six gate, smart people sensors, that are good at heat and motion their fields, sensors, and keep and disarming sensors. You can they do used it. aluminum to trick the magnetic field and stripped plastic what off the, the wires of the sensor circuits. Then they loaded up bags of diamonds and other jewels. It took two hours to get it all out of the building, <laughs> but thanks to one gang member, things eventually fell apart. That oh, man was Pedro Tavano, known as Speedy. Tavano, you divvy. You've let the Tavano, gang down. you fucking you the whole thing. Notar Bartolo's lifelong friends. Speedy couldn't handle the pressure. After unloading the loot into this car, he had to pull over because he was having a panic attack. Oh, oh God. A single alarm went off. As security guards right? arrived on Monday morning, they realized that the thick steel door to the vault was open and 100 of the 189 safe deposit boxes had been raided, <laughs> with some of the loot still on the floor. The world's Bad only man. specialized diamond police, Patrick Pays and Agim de Breiker, phoned the vault's alarm company. What is the status of the alarm, they asked. Fully functional, came the reply. Oh. However, authorities eventually <laughs> so they found actually Notar banged Bartolo it. Yeah. by watching security footage. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Oh. Brazilian bank. Oh, bro, is that it? Only one million. Only one million. Brazil's police arrested Only 16 one men got back. tunneling towards yeah. a vault containing wow. 1 billion reals. This is 318 million, this one as well. 18 million dollars. <laughs> and who were fuck? on the verge of pulling off the largest ever bank robbery in the country's history? Authorities what? swooped just before the alleged gang was able to use its impressively equipped tunnel to enter the safe at That's a crazy. Banco do Brasil branch and in they the love their financial South capital. Marikina. It would yeah. have been mm -hmm. the world's biggest heist, said police chief Fabio Pinero Lopez on Globo TV. 
Police said work on the tunnel That's began mental. four months ago, starting from a house several blocks from the bank. Uh -huh. It had sophisticated supports, fans, and lights. The police believe Alcio Seal Gomez. Yeah, they, they don't fuck around, mate. They have like train tracks and stuff. They like, they get on these little mo mo motorbikes and drive through them. Who is it that we were talking about the other day? The the bloke that fucking escaped behind the toilet. El Chapo. Yeah, El Chapo. Bro, Chapo was in tunnels, bro. Chapo was <laughs> out here so in tunnels. so nutty. Yeah, it's mental. The ringleader of the operation. He is a 35-year-old man implicated in an attempted robbery of a security van in Paraguay. The court ruled the group be held in pre-trial detention. Though it's hard to believe, the group dug the tunnel by hand. They loaded the soil into sacks and carried it outside through an underground stormwater drain. No, to way. enter the tunnel, gang members descended a two-meter ladder from one of the rooms in the rented house. The tunnel was about 1.5 meters high and was reinforced with iron beams and wood and even wire. Bro, these people are The walls were lined with plastic garbage bags to reduce the dust. The tunnel was <laughs> reportedly what? filled with food, water, special clothing, and digging tools. These Police were trying were probing to get whether the gang had the assistance of an engineer when building the tunnel because the construction was so impressive. The tunnel <laughs> renewed memories of a tunnel robbery 12 years ago when they thieves made like off with a bank 70 million US couple, couple dollars. Spades. For the previous heist, diggers worked in shifts from 8 p.m. until 4 a.m., taking a break on weekends. The three gang members involved in that attempt were involved in two separate prison escapes using tunnels equipped with ventilation and lighting. Fucking 500 hell, million man. dollar oh. cyber heist. I feel hard. Starting smart. in 2009, yeah. China, cyber criminals from Eastern Europe infiltrated oh, at no. at least 100 <laughs> banks in 30 Maybe countries. Don't go for China, please. I'm sorry, China. China. I'm sorry, China. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> transfers and hijacked ATM machines over a two year period. They That's did mental. so with a mysterious Trojan called Spy Eye. The attacker struck at Russian banks first, as well as those in Germany, China, and the United States. Wow. They got okay, away with it initially, but soon <laughs> authorities tracked them down and they were brought to justice. Alexander Androvich Panin, the inventor of Spy Eye, who went by alias Rybodemon and Harder Man Online, pleaded Harder guilty man. to a of <laughs> conspiracy to commit bank and wire Harder fraud man. in January 2014 after reaching a deal with prosecutors. Prosecutor Stephen Grimberg said Spy Eye, a preeminent piece of malware developed from 2010 to 2012, was used to infect more than 50 million computers, for causing nearly $1 now. billion dollars yeah. in they damage. Do that. They Oh, they do, don't they? Yeah. Institutions around the world. Mike's a second it. man, Hamza Bendelaj, a 27-year-old Algerian Hamza known online as BX1, <laughs> was sentenced to 15 years. Prosecutors <laughs> said he sold back. versions of Spy Eye still online in pen right now. and used the malware Free to steal financial way around. information. <laughs> Spy Eye was a type of Trojan <laughs> virus that secretly implanted itself on victims' computers Spy to eye? steal sensitive information. Wait, what and what the fuck? It's very, very funny, isn't it? Spy Why is that stock footage? <laughs> <laughs> to steal sensitive information, including bank account credentials, credit card information, Spy passwords, eye. and pins. But once it took over a computer, <laughs> it allowed hackers to trick victims into surrendering personal information, Jeez. including data grabbing and fake bank account pages. The information was relayed to a command and control center to be used to access victim accounts. Wow. Pannon conspired with others to advertise FiEye <laughs> in online cybercrime forums and sold versions of the software at prices ranging from $500 to $10,000. FBI bad. special agent Mark Bargain, Ray testified. That, yeah. Pannon was the architect of a pernicious malware known as Spy, Spy Eye that infected computers Spy worldwide. Eye. He commercialized the wholesale theft of financial and Harder personal man. information. Harder man, developed Spy Eye. And now it's being held to account for his actions. U.S. Attorney Sally uh, Yates. If you could press a button yeah. and it, it robbed a thousand random people on the planet of 10,000 pounds from their bank account and just gave it to you. What's that, mil? 10,000 pounds. 10, 10 million, 10 million. So you get 10 mil, you get 10 mil. Would absolutely. you press the button? Absolutely pressing it, yes. I'd press the button. I'd press, I'd press the, button. the button. I'd absolutely I'd press, press the button. They'd never know, it would never be traced back to you just lose 10k. <laughs> I, bro, you know what I'm doing? I'm eating a yard on the button, bro. <laughs> I'm, um, bro, I'm just gonna try and press it twice. I'm gonna press it twice. Are you bro. saying current Toby? Yeah, yeah, current Toby right now, bro. Would you do it today? Desperation, I'd 100% do it, but I don't need to. No, nah, Toby, like Toby, 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 if a button pops up on your desk right now, bro, I'm telling you, I'm stamping on it, fam. Bro, I, bro, 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 my conscience would kill me, bro. I wouldn't be bro, able to live with I'm myself. I'm stamping on it, bro. Oh, I want to say yes. Right? I want to say yes, but I genuinely wouldn't be able to live with myself. Hey, listen, you do it for me. If you men do it first, I'll do it.
Alan. Oh, we'll, say, we'll do it first. Don't, don't worry. Say less, <laughs> Dressed in a new Meet Harry or Beta. Many police agencies <laughs> don't have the skills to effectively track down and investigate cybercrime. Tracking down cybercrime is true, you know, like the police a very keep up. different skill set yeah, from pants. traditional policing, which limits the ability of law enforcement to go after cyber criminals. It also takes resources and trained personnel, which are, in many cases, in very short supply, says Martin Rosler, director of threat research. They always put like superhero music Michael. in the back of the ship. Mm hmm. Francis, the heist of the film. century. French gangster Jacques Cassandre was in court in 2018 <laughs> for a crime committed milk, over 40 years ago. Police oh. noticed the fact the Marseille Mafoso was the likely mastermind of the heist of the century after he was discovered to be the anonymous author of a book about the crime. On July oh. 16, oh, 1976, you criminals robbed a branch of Society criminals General, are France's third largest bank in the southern city of Nice. Now, using the tunnels underneath the city, the gang was able to partially destroy the floor mm. beneath the bank's basement vault and gain access to the bank notes, jewelry, nice. gold bars, and safety deposit boxes. Bro, I'm trying to cop a gold bar in my lifetime, According you know. To the Society right. General's I want just one gold bar. Incident, the brazen criminals it's like 45 spent bags the weekend for a gold bar, taking their time mm -hmm. going through the vault's contents. Yeah. Even taking the time and luxury to picnic oh, using the that. depositor's silverware. He used a pen name, but investigators quickly concluded that the writer was Jacques Cassandre, a key mafia Bayard. figure in Marseille. I'm going to do a video where I'll buy a gold bar. Trial. He had He's still talking about the gold bar, the bro. Was too old to be I've set my sights now for 2021. I'm buying a gold bar. I might go down in value, though, because the whole. Nah, but eventually, bro, you know. Is it not down in value right now? Yeah, they're printing too much money. And his children later confessed. Bro, it's a gold bar, bro. Soon there's going to be no gold bars to buy it. They can't. Get yourself a gold bar. What if they can't make gold bars anymore? I heard you can get, like, mini gold bars as well. You can get mini ones. I don't want Fuck that, bro. I want a gold bar. I want heavy, the, you know. The heavy yeah, exactly. Gold. I want a heavy gold bar. I don't want a fucking chocolate coin, bro. What I are you gonna do when you got it? Keep it somewhere, bro. Keep it in the safe. I will be. I, I warn you. If you have one, I will be hiding it if I go around to your house just to just to shit you up. No, 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 no. <laughs> I will not be keeping it in my residence, bro. It will be in a bank. My gold bar. That's like that's like cares which beer is changed. Oh yeah, it's in a vault somewhere. Like, <laughs> you need to have it in your background on like a cushion or like a, 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 a velvet cushion or something. <laughs> hey, me and my gold bar <laughs> chilling. <Hey. laughs> He eventually admitted to orchestrating the intrinsically planned job that involved at least six people and 30 tanks of acetylene to fuel the welding torches used to cut into safes and safety deposit boxes. An inquiry nice. found he and had also bought furs you know. worth tens of thousands yeah. of Fucking euros. Idiot. That's like uh, old and equivalent. Oh! Guarantee with seven God, bar. He has always said it was a novel, and I don't think a court can convict someone on the he basis of a novel. novel. That's, a that's what they do in drill music. They say this is fiction. Ray said Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Cassandra and his family members are facing a series of questions on his business dealings, with prosecutors also alleging social security fraud and a real estate scam in Corsica. It's not Dude, his first time in court, him, having been arrested in the early 1970s when police broke Some up the French just connection out here, heroin trade center really? in Marcel. Doing a lot of criminal. One million dollar pharmacy <laughs> criminal. Robbery. Back in 2016, the owner of a super value pharmacy in Fort Worth, Texas, Jeez. rang in the new year with a trashed business missing one million dollars worth of pharmaceuticals. Yeah, the general medical manager, in, in James Lawler, said is the pharmacy bread. at 720 bro, North the Industrial biggest, biggest Boulevard industry in the world, was broken into in the early hours of December oh, 31st. The burglars took highly marketable drugs with a stress value of up to one yeah. million dollars, yeah. she said. Surveillance footage Hold shows that. men clad in black crawling and trying to break into but a safe. She planned Spilled it or something, bottles right? and cough syrup can be seen say. in the footage oh, and what see. appears to be a safe with the side cut out. An employee named Richard Irby said the robber tied him and three employees up with zip ties. He said he didn't want to hurt anybody. Now, we sort of took him at his word, but he's still waving oh. a gun. The scary part, I never looked down the barrel of a gun before. The robber filled the bag that with narcotics and left through the yeah, door. Thing, bro. Kirby knows through other pharmacists the robberies sure. are escalating. Yellow hydrocodone, soma, oh, and no, that was a legit robbery. are the big that's, three yeah. that most of them are after. Irby said. Now, Irby wonders how long it will be before one of those crooks decides the drugs are worth pulling the trigger. The video ended up becoming extremely popular with over four million views oh, and shit. counting. Man, wow. Simon wow. Sunday. Wow. Oh, hide your Xanax. They're coming for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, bro.
No! <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh wait! No! <laughs> Welcome back to Side Men Reacts, everyone. Today I am joined with Ethan and Toby. Let's go, baby. We're capping for ourselves. Okay. And special guest, Vicstar123. Jeez. Nice to be here. We are just uh, going to watch him rage. It's going to be weird. Like, we're what? going to hear ourselves in this as well. I, I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't want to watch my own rage compilation. No, me either. So we've done him so a favor. Thought, yeah, yeah, so we thought, let's watch it, you know. While he's not here, let's watch Vic get angry. DJ, spin that shit. I, just, you know, I like the idea in my head. Who's recorded this with Fraps? So it's not Vic, is it? It's the person that's... I don't know. This could have been... A, this could have been oh, mate, I remember this spot. <laughs> oh, my God! Bro, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God. Wait, what, what happened? What happened? He got run over. He got run over. You can't see... You can hear the cars coming. Look, hear it? Oh, yeah, you hear it. You hear you it. Oh, my God! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe that just happened! Here and over. Just eyebrows, bro. I back out. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, that room so took a battering, you know. Yeah, it did, I'm it did. I'm actually so mad. Alright, that's it. I need to kill things now. Well, then. <laughs> <laughs> right, bro, chill. Chill, bro. I heard Imagine him if he stopped, if he stopped his screen there. there. I would be worried. I I'd be worried. Same. So, yeah. I can't believe that. I need that. to kill things now. I want to get all in one. Oh wait, there's someone called Zazzy DH. I thought it said Zerker HD. Oh, I swear man. if this person finishes- I'm fucking pissed! <laughs> <laughs> I'm fuming! Oh, he's, hitting, he's definitely hitting this. He's hitting this the thing. same fucking guy has followed me up three times and knocked me off. Oh Bruh, my this god. This is the pain I felt when he did it no, to me on one of these rounds. he's a fucking prick. And I don't say that lightly. He's gonna hit the dude. I swear, I swear. No! no! Fuck all of you! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm having a go. I'm having a go as well. I'm having a go in the background. You ruined my race, dude. I was first. Bro, imagine having that happen three times in a row. I'm so angry. Oh, surely, surely this time. Guys, I'm actually lightheaded. Is this a place to be, or is it? Surely he's done it. It's the wrong place to be. It's not gonna reach it. Oh, you know it's peak. When that happens, it's peak. Why am I on two of my wheels? Your little mum got scared. Were you just singing a diss track? What am I doing? I left time right. Oh, you prick! He's He's a prick! What is this? He got stabilized, bro. He did that and got me five times. Oh my god, I'm gonna dump because of that motherfucker. I just thought I was really unlucky. Vic finally understands what it's like to be stabilized. I'm just trying to play golf here and I'm just getting abused. Like, I like your headset, Vic. This would be called golf with your not friend. <laughs> ah, oh, here we go. This is unreal. This. <laughs> Wait for the error noise. Like I'm not an angry person. This crashing shit has made me angry beyond You're in the game, belief. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't crashed. You haven't crashed yet, have you? You haven't crashed. Huh? You haven't crashed on the idea. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's the error noise, bro. It's the error. And it's the stall. Hey, oh. not the stall. No. Not the stall. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh wait. No. Oh, the I have a headphone hair. I have a headphone hair. Reload it. Reload it. The way he walks past it, yeah. And then reload it. And then it. double backs. Oh. Hey, look at the hair. Look at the hair. <laughs> Oh. He's got it. jumps on his bed. Mate, it's the error noise. It's oh. hilarious. Bro. Yeah. 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 Where Josh is. I, I hate everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Toby, hit it. Toby, hit it back. Josh, go fuck yourself. I hate it. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Like, hit it. No, hit you're it. a fucking <laughs> <laughs> just, it just uh, definitely meant it. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm not It just threw my phone on the floor. I'm angry. Fuck this shitty man. Josh. Oh, fuck this game. This game. Oh, mate, what's it called? Fuck. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it like Ben and Eddie or something? Like yeah, so I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, so oh, it's awful. I remember, I remember, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't enjoyed myself. I'm <laughs> it's not the game. You've been trying to convince yourself you're happy in the background. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, but how the fuck am I? You did it, Josh. Yeah. How am I? Oh, is that it? I'm I'm fuming. I sound like Claude, bro. <laughs> it's rubbish. <laughs> it's so. <laughs> <laughs> oh what? It's just us three. Oh what? Yeah. What? Well, you, you don't want that 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 I can now get it in from here. No, yeah. I'm not going to, but I can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I kill myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I kill myself. <laughs> no. Are you oh, Harry? Are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, 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 but I could have got it in. I just, <laughs> it was really the easiest. Bro, 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 I'm so angry. I think I broke my game. <laughs> Wait, guys, guys, my game, shoot. I can't shoot. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, 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 that didn't I, happen. I, I want to oh see it quick. I'll put I it just, again. Oh. How? Why is that? Why is that out of bounds? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How the fuck? In the world. <laughs> fucking broken. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? JJ. JJ. Oh, I oh, need to play this again. This game. No, we don't. No, we don't. Listen to this content. It'll go back. It'll go back. It'll definitely go back. Oh, not yeah. this. Death run. No, it won't. This is the best run I've ever This game. You're done by the spikes. Kidding me? <laughs> nah, no, I'm that's just... fucked. Hey, buddy. I'm back at the start. This has not gone well. Yeah, I got two shots. Oh, this is where you get stuck in the loop. Stuck in the loop. Don't send me. Don't send me. Oh, he's at home in Sheffield here as well. Fuck this! Now nah, this is dumb. <laughs> oh, you nearly hit him! That was an, an emotional roller coaster, Simon. <laughs> Oh. Okay. oh, I thought Josh was going to hit him like Oh, I hated I'm this like, map. I remember yeah, this. I'm right behind <laughs> this. Hey, Fuck, look, this guy. Fuck! He's going to eat his controller. They won't let me do the fucking race. I'm so angry. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm so fucking angry. <laughs> oh, look at the, the chat. I'm sorry. Don't worry, guys. Oh, so little nice. shark t-shirt. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I like those tees, by the way. Maybe it's cool. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Go on. Nice. Damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 oh, no. 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 Yeah, These were the most it. annoying games yeah. in the world as well. I'm sorry, dude. Bro, it was, do you know what it was? Season 1 and 2? No yeah, calm. What's wrong with me? I'm, I'm oh, okay. Great banter, you know? Oh, oh, I loved every yeah. minute. Oh, what the oh, fuck? fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a psycho. Yeah. That is a psycho right there. <laughs> I'm about to I'm lose dead. my shit. That's the, I'm about to lose minute, my shit, please. Oh, the tilt of the head. Yeah, this. Ah, you. Ah, you bastard. I hate my life. I hate my life. I hate, I just, I'm, I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. I'm just you really upset. <laughs> what? Is anybody passed? All right, my game just lagged. I'm done. Oh I give up. I give up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made it to level 11. No, this is for real. This is for real this time. I am literally, I'm hitting escape. I'm hitting end game. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I got knocked down 814 times. It was wonderful. <laughs> oh my god. 800 times. Um, hanging around with you gentlemen. Uh, thank you gentlemen. Yeah, I'd be out. Me. Um, sorry to throw in the towel, but my mind is numb after six and a half hours. <laughs> How have I been done? Six and a half hours. Oh no. Hours. No time. I'm, I'm over finished. No! No, this is, this is hard. <laughs> oh, this is hard. <laughs> This is not <laughs> fucking me. Oh, this is not okay. Oh my god. Shoot it in the middle, bro. I've actually caught up a little bit. No, Alexa, not you, nothing. 
Oh, oh. Up, Alexa. That thing is good. On the volley. On the volley. Oh. <laughs> on the volley. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, Game that was sick. Game yeah, is a pun. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. That was actually kind of sick. I've, no, I'm admit, not, admit that I got, I got fisted. Admit it. No, no, no. Admit it, guys. You admit it. Come on, guys. I got fisted. Don't talk to me about the fucking middle. I'm sick of you. I don't do that. I don't do that. You. I'm sick of you. How do you bang that? Shit. Wow. I'm sick of you, piece of shit. Vic is so funny, man. Nice. Vic Rage. Hey. Like and subscribe. Vic, get angry more so we can make a part two. <laughs> oh my god, it's oh, 20 million views! It's 20 million, ass. Hey guys, we're doing Sidemen. React. We're doing Sidemen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Should I do it again? No, carry okay. no, on. No, no, no. We'll start with that one now. Well uh, today, what are we doing today, Simon? <laughs> we're reacting to Impossible Odds compilation. Oh, Ooh. wow. Like you doing a good intro. Oh. Oh. Thank you very much, Dad. Is there any more gammon? Yeah. Can I have some more, please? No, no, no more rice. There's more than enough rice. Right? Is it <laughs> rice? Sorry, boys. I'm just, my dad's just delivered me food. I'm sorry. I'm, I'll do it. I've had to. I'll have to. <laughs> What you got? What you got? I, I've, I'll tell you what I've got. I've got. I'll show you in a second. It's veg, rice, and then a, a small amount of gammon. So I'm getting some more gammon brought in. Oh, wow, it's, it's somewhat healthy. But no more rice. You don't want more rice. Oh no! You see the size of the rice. It's a, too much rice for you. Send us a picture. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you what I've got right now. Is it a kilogram of rice? <laughs> I genuinely think there might be. I genuinely think that. It's half the plate. <laughs> when are we watching this impossible odds? No, no. You gotta give me two seconds. Well, let me because he needs to drop some more gammon off, and then I can. Oh, thank you very much. There is more. Oh, there is more. I'll take, I'll take just as much gamma as I'll take more gamma, please. Sorry, lads, I estimate 20 seconds until we're, we're all systems go. Tell us a joke while we wait, Harry. Tell, oh, tell you a joke. Um, yeah. Ooh. Um, <laughs> what's a funny joke? This is, this is, this is bad. Oh, I've got a good one. I've got a good one. I, I saw okay. it on TikTok yesterday, so I'll nab it. So, um, there is a, um, an Englishman, uh, a Welshman, and a Pakistani man. And they all, they all, they all go to the. No, it's not, it's not bad, don't worry. And they all go okay. to the hospital okay. to uh, collect their newborn babies because they timed yep. it right. And um, uh, timed so it right. they're, 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 <laughs> basically, timed the doctor right. comes out and says there's been a mix-up. We don't know whose baby's whose. So, so they're all in this room there, and so the, the, uh, they're like, right, you got to go in one by one and pick which baby is yours. Okay. So the Englishman goes in first, and he uh, he walks out with um, what's pretty blatantly the Pakistani child, and. Uh, the Pakistani man's like, oh, uh, what are you doing? And then the English man says, oh well, oh, how, how's it go? He goes, oh something like, oh yeah. So one of the other, one, one of the other two is Welsh, and I'm not taking any chances. You get it? <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> it was so long. It was so bad. Uh... It was like the halfway through it, you went, oh, how does it go? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Oh, I've got my gammon now. I've got my gammon. Oh, man. Right, send oh, us so... a pic. Send us a huh? pic of the gammon. Send you a pic. Oh, God. Okay, right. It's... There's no season on this one. Show the camera as well. One sec. I want to see this food. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Don't you worry. Okay, let's see this. That looks dry. <laughs> Yo, where's the seasoning? That is. I mean, it looks decent if you had some, like, gravy or something. Yeah, well, it's, it's left over from the roast dinner last night, so it's cold as well. It's not. Anyway, let's yeah, ask. that would bang to you. All right, anyway. <laughs> we start this video because yeah, I feel like we just. Yeah, yeah, let's go. We, we intro it. We've not really seen a joke. We've had some food. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh that's kind of cool. Oh, oh did you catch good, it? Man. Oh, wow. Uh, I went in this drink. Oh, shit. Okay, that, is, that is impossible. Fuck. <laughs> All right, what happened here? Oh, I've seen the bat stands up. Look at that. Oh, Great. yeah. Whoa. 
It's like a GTA video. It's, it's weird music in the background the whole time. Oi! Oh! Oh! Oi! Alright. What are you gonna do? No way. That's a land. No way. Oh! oh! Way. What a madman! I would never, ever let anyone forget that I did that. <laughs> Can we do side uh, sidemen Jenga on more sidemen? Have we done that before? I'm pretty sure we've I done that before. Well, maybe not all of us. I think maybe we've done on like we've done it on maybe our giant channels. Jenga. Giant channels or uh, a bit of giant Jenga with the sidemen. I'd be down for that. I'd be down for that. Josh, you really like Jenga? Yeah, I did like three videos on Jenga, though. Jesus! Oh, I did the giant Jenga, the earthquake Jenga, the weirdest giant Jenga challenge, and the most intense Jenga. Wow. I mean, Jenga Josh? That's what we call it. <laughs> you have to win now, you know. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's techie. That was cool. That's techie. That's techie. Hard. I wouldn't trust my mate to do that. It would hurt your shins. Imagine getting caught in a shin bar. Wait, what? It's going backwards. Huh? Wait, what? Oi, oh yeah, yeah, my yeah. god! How has that happened? How did he even. I don't understand. Is that stupid? Hmm. That's insane. Very impressive. Eh. Uh, uh, I think no, I feel like I've been there a lot of those. You had to be there. Yeah. No, no, but they're gonna. No, I think they're gonna score now. No, that's it. No, zero, no, no it's a zero, it. yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Like, it's amazing, oh. but... Oh, oh my god. Oh! <laughs> He's just... He looks so bewildered. <laughs> He's a wizard! I've seen this one, haven't I? Say, Buzzer beater. Yeah. See, that's what I mean. The fact that we've just okay. seen two of them. You, you know what you need? You need the crowd reaction. Like, they make so much yeah, more yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah. If you're more high, it's supposed to like, we're GTA 5. <laughs> that's what <laughs> like, you like. At school, we didn't have like like we didn't have like college basketball games. Like, I feel like that's that in America they do that stuff properly. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. the most you get is like five parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's like, the school football team is like in front of no one. Yeah, it yeah. was so sad. It was so sad. <laughs> America just do everything better. They just love their sports. Uh, they don't care well, who knows. I see. Yeah, yeah. Let me take that back. Uh, no, 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 maybe not everything. <laughs> I'm sure school in America is way more fun than school in England. I reckon so too. Unless right. you're getting bullied. I feel like getting bullied. I think there might have been a bullying issue, right? Yeah. Also have guns. I think that's why we have uniforms and stuff in the UK. It helps. Mm. Also guns, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. That's yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. to school, so. Actually, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that part. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Reload it. Wheel it, wheel it, wheel it. Do you remember oh. that intentional? Was that intention? Was he trying to do that? Or was he just trying to land the pen? I think he's trying to land the pen. Yeah. Putt for a brand new car. Okay. This better be a mad putt. I think it needs to be the whole length of the court or something. Okay. Can't see the ball. Just about. Can't just see about. Can't no. see. Well, is the cameraman gonna... Cameraman, you wanna move? What? I, I think, he, I think so, he got it, guys. Well, I, I don't believe it. Went in. I don't believe it. <laughs> I think it's like a little circle when it's getting to. Yeah, I think it's fake. I can't see it. Yeah, I think it's fake. Yeah, it didn't happen. Four shots for 10 grand. That's a bargain. What, well, our halfway? Oh, okay. Wait, what? Yeah, but he's gotta do them... He's gotta do it from there, then further oh, out. Okay. Oh, okay. Last one's halfway. Okay. Uh, I don't know. As far as this... I mean... Yeah. Oh! Oh! I mean, we've, seen, we've, seen, we've seen us try and get it, so. <laughs> yeah, it's Oh, true. yeah, I forgot about that. Oh. Hours, but... Yeah, you need the crowd. Oh. What? Oh. Yeah, that, that's hype, but we haven't got the hype. Yeah, you had the crowd sound there. Yeah, it's just silent. They all bundled right him in the corner. <laughs> yeah, the music's even stopped. <laughs> oh, we got What's no now? It's a silent that. video. They couldn't even be bothered to loop the music. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess we're the music. Do 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 yeah, oh, that's There's impossible, no apparently. Okay. Is this thing in the balloon or is it just... Why is it still silent? Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> this is really awkward <laughs> now. 
Oh! Wait! Oh! 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 Wait! 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 I didn't see that. That's a rude. What happened with all the ball? He kicked it into the forest and then it hit a tree and come back and hit. That was a towel whip, by the way. That's a nail. Wait, how is this impossible? I think it misses. Oh, mad. Hey. Mm, wasted. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's games like that. I can't Come on, son. Oh! <laughs> my God! <laughs> you did the Ethan look at the camera, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you look at the camera like, I don't know how to do wait, it. Wait, the thing the is, did, wait, did you say it's weird that Ethan looked at the camera? No, he does the Ethan look at the camera. When Ethan is <laughs> oh, saying sick, he, he does the like, look at the camera. And it's like, he, he like, kind of like, I don't know, that's not even his lips, but like, he just gassed and you can see his gassed. Come on, try and do it, try and do it. For the viewers at home. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Okay. Oh, he smoulders, he smoulders Yeah, I know what you mean though. This look, that. You know what, I remember that, I have a point, I remember that look now. He's done it in like a few videos, like in a football video or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This video is called Impossible Odds and they just showed the same thing from two different people. Yeah, like, it's not impossible. It's impossible to hit done twice. Done it. You need to hit a bird. That bird. Oh! oh no. That sucks. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, this. I've seen this so many oh, my times. God. What? Is that a real game? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's Ethan at bowling. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nah, sure. Wait, didn't Ethan get a strike when he did that, though? I think so, you know. What was that? Wait, did it just zoom in? What is this video? That is the most. What is this video? B Tech compilation I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck? Hey, yo, why did it just zoom into this kid? Fucking hell. What? What was this video, man? For four minutes of this video, we're just talking about Harry's gammon. A stupid joke. The gammon's gone down a tree, I will say. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Lovely. Brilliant, mate. All right, well. Jesus. This video is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> the fact is, it literally got like amazingly awesome, epic video written on it as well. Man made a compilation for it now. I started music after three minutes. <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> well, man actually rendered that out. Like, yeah, I'm proud of this. <laughs> <laughs> Smashed it, boys. This one's gonna be a banger. <laughs> yeah, I'll put. I'll zoom into the person right at the end as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone will find it so funny. Oh man! How many views does this video got? Oh my god! It's got oh, some 20 god. million god. views. It's got 20 million. Ass. I don't believe it. I oh, don't believe man, it. There's no point. There's no point. Ah. Look at the like to dislike. 350k likes to 40k oh, dislike. 350,000 people were like, yes, this is. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, all right, well, if you want to see more. More of this shit. <laughs> yeah, just subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>
Going to prison isn't what most of us plan for, and if we become inmates, the first thing we want is freedom. Some prisoners will go to extreme measures to make sure that happens. Here are 10 craziest um, prison escapes. Well, 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 that needs to be our thumbnail. We yeah, need a I thumbnail so. like this. Uh, <laughs> he's doing pull-ups with a Bro, green arrow. Up on. How I escaped to prison, I did a pull-up on a helicopter. <laughs> I respect it, bro. Jack Shepard. Okay. In 1723. Fucking head, bro. Zerko is a child. It's just a depiction of his head. It's not his uh, actual head. Are you sure, bro? It's not a photo, is it? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, good point. Jack Shepard was originally going to become a carpenter, but he decided to start stealing and becoming a burglar to pay his bills. In just a span of one year in 1724, Shepard was arrested five times and managed to escape four times. What? It is even Ali. likely that he invented the trick of tying bedsheets out of the window. He was oh. also very charismatic and started to attract crowds, thus becoming a small-scale celebrity. With Indeed. each capture, the chains became heavier and the locks were stronger, but they didn't hold Shepard back. Eventually, Jeez. he was captured and hung in oh, 1724, oh, and the crowd that came to watch the hanging prevented his friends from retrieving his body so they could take him to a doctor to be revived. Yes, he oh. even had an escape plan from death. Oh, you look, I, could you I imagine respect it, the plan. Could you imagine if, like, that still existed today? Like, imagine... Public hanging. I don't know. Yeah, but, like, imagine, imagine Bazinga tried to steal from the House of Commons or something. And they just and they just add me outside the London Eye. All right, yep. today Bazinga's getting it. If you, if you hopped on a flight to some country, no, 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 no,
The name probably sounds familiar as Leonardo DiCaprio played Frank Abagnale in the movie Catch Me If You Can. The real-life Frank was a world-renowned con artist. In 1971, U.S. prisons were being evaluated due to numerous civil rights violations. It just so happened that the U.S. Marshal forgot his prison detention papers when Abagnale arrived in Atlanta, Georgia. The guards thought Abagnale was an undercover inspector, and he played it off. He was given special privileges, better meals, and awesome treatment. Huh. Then he got his friend Gene Sebring to doctor business cards to make it look like oh. they were from the government. Right, Posing as Abigail's fiance, she slipped him both cards, one for himself and the other for a fake FBI agent whose number went to a payphone in Atlanta oh. that was picked up by Sebring. Abagnale put on a story of how he needed to get in touch with the FBI, ah, offer both cards to the guards, and arrange that. for uh. Sebring to pick him up from the front door of the prison. Meanwhile, the guards were patting themselves on the back, thinking that they weren't fooled by the faux prison inspector. <laughs> Mate, this Wait, guy so just got his Adam on strings. What happened? Someone else messed up and they just played it off. Nah, he, like, so I think he convinced them that like the FBI were coming to. But he said someone else him. like forgot his documents, no? Yeah, someone else messed up, so they didn't, okay, I okay. think know, he know his record, and then they thought he was faking it. But then he yeah. got a fake FBI guy to come and collect him. <laughs> Right. And then yeah. they, they were like, oh, we've got him. We've handed him over to the FBI. He's going to get like <laughs> sorted out now and he's going to come back with right. the right papers. But it's actually just his mate and he's driven off. They were twerking for him. The guards were twerking. <laughs> That's what I think. I don't know. That's my understanding. But yeah. So are we about to see the helicopter? Is this actually yeah, how we're yeah, taking yeah. the video? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. All right. Go on. Mount Joy Prison Helicopter Escape. On October 31st, 1973, three members of the Provisional Irish Republican Army, J.B. O'Hagan, Seamus Toomey, and Kevin Mallon, had an escape worthy of a scene from a movie. It's recent oh, as well. Oh, bloody man. IRA, mate. They know their they know stuff about escaping. They're, 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 they're good high stable. They can definitely do pull-ups. While serving time at Mountjoy Prison, the IRA was making plans to bust out their three members. They hijacked an Alouette 2 helicopter from a town called Strad Valley in Count Leash, Ireland. Oh Armed God. men from the IRA forced the pilot to fly to the prison and land in the exercise yard. From there, the helicopter flew to Bal Doyle Racecourse, where the men got into a car and headed to Dublin. The escape was seen as an embarrassment to the Irish yeah. prison system, and a song was even written about it by the Wolf Tones called The Helicopter Song. Creative name. Well, wait, wait, uh, wait, I didn't see a pull up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm just saying at the same time, like if a helicopter lands in your prison yard and there's three guys with AKs in there, like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> don't know yeah. if you can really plan for that. No, yeah. that's a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what's happening in the yard? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 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 oh dear. <laughs> well, 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 off you, off you pop. Oh, loud. Okay. Oh, loud. <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. <laughs> Andrew Roger, Keith Rose, and Matthew Williams. Andrew Roger, Keith Rose, and Matthew Williams made history in 1995. He was a bit of a nonce, I'm not that liar. Mm. <laughs> after they pretty much just walked out the Parkhurst prison in the huh? United Kingdom. They worked in the prison's sheet metal shop and managed to make all the tools they needed for their Smart. escape. They made a 25-foot steel ladder to help them scale the fence, as Works well as a skeleton key that could unlock every door in the prison. How did they manage that? They were able to carve the key out from memory after seeing a oh guard's key. Oh my god. They what? also made a gun. <gasps> Hang on, what? how do you remember what a key... How? Some people are built like that. But do you know what, though? If you're locked in jail for the rest of your life, it's going to make you... It's going to give yeah. you some sort of superpower. Their superpower <laughs> was... Was Do you not see the other out. thing though? The other thing is that they could trial and error it. So yeah, they could they could make it, they could try mm -hmm. it. If it doesn't work, they could change a little bit, try it, like And if they was trusted enough to just work in the metal shop, then GG. But how do they make a twenty five foot ladder without getting clocked? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know about that one. They unlocked the back door of the gym, cut a hole in the inner gate, and scaled the outer fence. They were caught four days later hiding in a shed, and they were trying to plot out a plan to steal <laughs> oh, no. All of that to get caught in a shed. That's, 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 that's the that's Texas be, 7. That's triggering. In December 2000, seven inmates forced their way out of the John B. Connolly unit in Kennedy, Texas, which was a maximum security prison. The men managed to overpower two guards and eight maintenance men, stole their clothes, keys to a truck, and locked them in a utility closet. 
Led by 30-year-old George Rebus, the group was able to fool several other guards into giving them their weapons before tying them up and escaping in the truck. The group then went on a crime spree in San Antonio and Dallas, plus killing an officer oh, in the houses, and then making their way into Colorado the before they again. were finally captured. Idiot. One of the men committed suicide before being recaptured, and the rest were taken back to the idiot. prison. You just got free, you big idiot. TJ oh. Lane. In 2012, TJ Lane killed three of his he classmates in a school shooting and was sentenced to serve three no, life sentences oh, at the Allen guy, Correctional bro. Institute in Lima, Ohio. In September 9, 2014, Lane, along with convicted murderer Lindsey Bruce and convicted Easy. kidnapper Clifford Operud, used a homemade ladder to scale Jeez. the walls to climb How on top of the prison ladders? building and then jump 15 feet onto the other side of the prison walls and escape on foot. The three were able to build the ladder oh after breaking into a locked crawl space and finding their materials oh, there. So it's like, it's like you see the ladder's like duct tape and things. So yeah. You can like roll oh, it so up. You can roll it up. It okay. over. Yeah, yeah. Lane and the other inmates were found within nine hours of their escape. Choi Gap Bok. In September 2012, 50-year-old Choi Gapbok was arrested on suspicion of robbery and then was put into a detention cell at the police station in the city of Daegu. Looks like a fish. Look like a mummified fish. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have to do him like that. <laughs> Gapbok was a yoga practitioner of 23 years and had stayed in the jail cell for five days. Then he applied skin ointment on the upper part of his body and managed to escape through the food slot while three guards were sleeping. The, through the food slot? <laughs> That's why he looks like a fish, mate, because he is. Gapbok is only 5'4 and the slot was 5.9 inches Whoa. tall and 17.7 .7 inches wide. He bought himself some time by putting pillows and blankets in his bed to make it look like he was sleeping. Gapbok earned himself the title of the Korean what? Houdini who ran to a remote mountain after Did he, he go escaped. Clear? Let's see. Come on. He went oh, clear! Yeah. He's he, went clear. he went clear! <laughs> Gapbok through the gap. David Sweat and Richard Matt. In June 2015, 34-year-old David Sweat and 48-year-old Richard Matt executed a Shawshank Redemption-style escape from the Clinton Correctional Facility in Dannemora, New York. They cut through the steel wall in the back of their cell, then crawled down a catwalk, broke yeah. through a brick wall, cut their way in and out of a steam pipe, and then sliced through the chain and lock on a manhole cover outside the prison. Smash then the two had to shimmy down the pipe before cutting themselves out Jesus. again. Sweat and Matt were both serving time for murder, and they oh. spent about three weeks on the run before reaching a standoff with cops. Matt was win? killed and oh, Sweat no. was recaptured. Well. Wait. Didn't even break a sweat. Ah, oh, Toby. I mean, to be fair, if you're in prison, it, it's probably a good way to occupy yourself. Do a little, do a little planning. Like, yeah, what else I are you mean, gonna do? You're nothing, yeah, like, nothing better to do. Something to do, <laughs> isn't it? True, true. Yeah. Not that we condone it. How much extra time do you get? If you escape and they catch you, because surely you're it just just depends, man. They, it changes they person bang to person. You up forever, I think most of these people are serving like so long yeah. anyway that it, yeah. it doesn't really matter. Yeah. These like never getting parole. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's probably worth it then. I'd say go for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we're not condoning this. <laughs> I'd say don't be there in the first place, <laughs> no, please. No. Thank you. All right. <laughs> well, See you guys well, in the, the next one. Peace. If your baby's gonna choke on a toy, it was a stupid baby anyway. You're, like, <laughs> they don't take the Whoa. don't take the toys Whoa. out of my Kinder eggs. Um, hey gamers and other people, uh, welcome to Simon React. What are we do? What are we watching today, Ethan? Uh, today, Harry, we are watching ten banned candies that can kill. Wow. Jeez. 
I would say that me, Ethan, and Toby are the are the top top three glucose consumers in the side. Yeah, yeah. Like, we we like our sweets. JJ. Oh, do you know what? JJ actually, may no, be comes JJ's in. undercover, JJ's bro. Every, oh, yeah. JJ, bro. Oh, JJ, bro. Every shoot, every shoot, munches every every yeah. minstrels, bro. <laughs> minstrels. Every shoot, and every shoot, he always says, "Can you bring sweets?" Bro, this guy yeah. eats sweets. Oh, do you know what? Undercover, JJ. <laughs> the squashies yeah. as well. The squashies get the squashies. Yeah. yeah. He takes the whole bag. He takes the big party bag of squashies. Although, Ethan, you you put an Instagram post up, and it was a lovely post. Picture of all the side and I'm just in the background, just oh yeah, <laughs> showering from some I, I love Ethan, that picture. Everyone so looked awful in that picture. <laughs> I love that. No, but that's why I love it, bro. It's so funny. It's so it's such a sideman picture. Like we're getting ready to take a picture, and no one's ready. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. All right. All right. Anyway, we love. let's see these candies. Ten banned candies that can kill. Number ten. Okay. Hippy sippy. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like I've done this at some festivals. <laughs> <laughs> the 60s were a more experimental time, and that's probably the only explanation for how a product like Hippy Sippy ever made it onto shelves. <laughs> Gee, you might have done. It's gone. Do you want to, do you want to re retract that statement, no. Harry? Yeah, 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 I'll take that back. I'll take that back. <laughs> 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 I think there were some facts in that statement. <laughs> yeah. That didn't age well. <laughs> you got a hippie sippy. The sweet treat consisted of multicolored chocolate balls that were contained within a vial. They certainly look like they belong at a festival. And to get to them, you had to suck through the needle. Suck through the needle? I haven't done this. The similarities to drug use weren't accidental, but were in fact the whole point of this candy. It was designed to replicate hippie drug culture, with the needle oh, and syringe being associated with heroin oh, use, what? and the colors oh, right. representing uppers and downers. To make things even worse, each hippie sippy came with a button that had slogans such as, Hippie sippy says I'll try anything, and we sell happiness. <laughs> <laughs> this is for Harry, this is. This is a sweet for Harry. Oh, dear. Now, I'm, I've got a favorite of needles, so I wouldn't be able to have this, unfortunately. Uh... Needless to say, scents prevailed and the products were pulled from the shelves less than a year after being released. Making drug use feel fun to children clearly risks them moving on to harder candies later in life. So this could have potentially been one of the most dangerous products to ever have been developed. Birthed a whole generation of drug addicts. Number 9. Kinder Eggs and Wonder Balls. This is bullshit this is. This is big <laughs> yeah. back Kinder Eggs. Um, it's Bullshit. Bullshit. It's fucking bullshit, mate. Because they choke on the toy, isn't it? If your baby's gonna choke on a toy, it was a stupid baby anyway. You're, like, <laughs> they don't take the Whoa. don't take the toys Whoa. out of Kinder Eggs. Whoa. Don't take the toys out of the Kinder Eggs. It is mental. It is never a normal video with the side men. Let's continue before, <laughs> oh, this is before we justified more accidents. <laughs> it was a stupid I baby. Be it. I can't be it even. The only way chocolate could be made any better for kids is if it includes a plastic toy to play with once all the sugary goodness is gone. And that's exactly what Kinder eggs and wonder balls tried to offer yeah. the kinder version is available around the world and each one contains a plastic so sound that contains iconic. a collectible sound, toy yeah, to assemble right. but for a long time they've been banned in the u.s it's all because of a law that was introduced in the 1930s that strictly prohibited non-nutritive yeah, objects out. from being embedded <laughs> within any type of food I mean, it does make sense. It does make sense. Harry, you've just called people's babies stupid. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was satire. I, that was satire. Yeah, satire, satire, satire. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I should be Harry's lawyer. <laughs> in 2016, a three-year-old girl in France died after choking on a toy in a Kinder Egg. And there have been a number of instances elsewhere where injuries have happened because of swallowing the plastic figurines. Yeah, if you're a kid and you're eating this egg and there's stuff in it, you're going to think you can eat it as well, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe I'd be the stupid kid after all. <laughs> Number eight, toxic waste chew bar. Oh, toxic waste. Really? Toxic waste, they had chew bars. They had chew bars? In what oh. country? Where? When you guys were at school, did like, did you ever eat, like, see some people eat so many toxic waste that their mouth bleed? Bro, of course I did. Yeah, it starts cutting the inside of your mouth, yeah. Wait, their mouth bled? Vic, yeah. I was that kid, bro. <laughs> I, that, that is me, bro. <laughs> What do you mean? Did you see it? I felt it. I felt it. I lived it. <laughs> you merely adopted the toxic waste. I was born in it, raised by it. <laughs> about that I used to buy barrels of it and just go into school and ah. Oh. 
It's, it's fucked up. It's uh, fucked up. No, so am I. <laughs> Toxic waste candy has become popular recently because of its extreme sourness. But there was one product in the range, the Toxic Waste Nuclear Sludge Chew Bar, that was banned in 2011. Oh. It had been originally launched in 2007, but there were serious yeah. concerns about the ingredients that were used to make the candy. Well, maybe not. not as you might <laughs> suspect in regards to how they made it so sour, but more as a result of where oh. and how they were produced. Oh. The company's factory was in Pakistan, and following tests, the FDA revealed that they had detected significant levels of lead within the chew bars. To <laughs> okay, let's not get it. Let's not get it. Small children, <laughs> infants, and pregnant women. Regulations require lead levels to be below 0.1 parts per million, and the bars were found to have at least three times this limit. <sighs> candy Dynamics, the company that sells the toxic waste range of candies, complied with the recall. The bars were removed from stores. All right, so realistically, though, I've definitely done worse things to my body. <laughs> so, Quite put lead in it. trying to eat some lead. So, I bet there's hundreds of thousands of these if they got recalled somewhere. Right. Uh, if you want to eat one, mate, I'll, we can try and source one and we'll, we'll munch it. I'm down. If you men do it first, I'll do it. <laughs> me, me and Bog to try lead filled nuclear sludge. How many likes? How many likes <laughs> do we normally get? 300k likes, and me and Ethan will munch us. We'll munch Well, a you'll try and source sludge. one, and if you can source we'll one, we'll try and we'll source one. one. Yeah. Oh no, wait, there's no trying here. We will source ourselves on lead <laughs> bar. Don't you worry. As soon as lockdown's over, Harry's on a flight to Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> He's at the factory knocking on the door. <laughs> Got any of them bars? <laughs> Mums with the lead in it. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, roadkill gummy candy. Look, I've had a a dark, there <laughs> are countless different versions of gummy candy available in stores. Gummies, and in 2004, uh... Kraft thought they had come up with an idea that would help them stand out among the rest. Roadkill oh, themed gummy candies. <laughs> Each <laughs> one was in the one. shape of chickens, squirrels, and snakes with tire tracks on them. <laughs> what was intended to be a tongue in cheek <laughs> joke soon began to cause problems. They ended production of the treats the following year after a series of campaigns by animal rights oh, activists. Oh, oh, oh. They trivialized the idea of injuring animals. Beep to show mercy for pigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we can't laugh. Do you know what's oh, crazy no, though? That no, someone no, at that company, someone, someone in that company sat down at a board meeting and said, guys, got this great idea. We can make our candy look like animals that have been run over. It'll be such a How hit with the kids. How's that gone through? How's that gone through? And we'll like... call it roadkill gummies. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I see I don't I, I don't get the whole the whole thing against it like oh it's I think the reaction is over yeah. the top but the product is also Yeah, the product yeah, itself is just shite in the first yeah. place. Yeah, it's very silly. <laughs> through fears that the product sent a message to children that it was okay to harm animals, Kraft was forced oh. to relent and rethink their strategy. Number six, Lucas Mexican Candy. Okay. Oh. Candy from South America is one of the most in-demand products around the world. But really? a company called Lucas began targeting their products at children. They got all that sugar cane. What, what, wait, what, 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 what do you mean sugar cane thing? <laughs> they got all that, all that white powder. <laughs> what, fresh powder, you say? Yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, <Elvick. laughs> The powdered candy was sold in a shaker container that children would use to shake it into their mouths. Others were seen shaking the powder onto a table, <laughs> arranging it into a line, and then sniffing it. Oh, oh no! What? Well, the kids were sniffing lines! Wait, 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 wait! They're sniffing lines! <laughs> Vicky, what the hell? Right? Is that bow? Bro! <laughs> that fresh that Lucas fresh... Jamoy! <laughs> Similarity with drug use. Lucas claimed that this was the result of using the product wrong and that it was designed to be lightly <laughs> sprinkled on fruit to make it taste better. But they should have known that no, kids would find not. a less healthy way of consuming it. The company's undoing in the end wasn't because they were teaching children how to partake in adult candy, though, but because of what their products contained. Well, Tests showed that it had more than twice the allowed levels of lead and was so oh, immediately that, banned by regulators. That, that, that blasted lead has come back to bite him again. <laughs> I reckon it'll be in like the coloring or something. Just snorting lead. Number five, Haribo sugar-free gummy bears. Huh? Ooh, huh? Haribo is one of the world's most popular candy brands, but despite making plenty of products that yeah. kids and grown-ups love, they haven't yeah. always gotten things right. In 2014, their sugar-free gummy bears gained attention because of some rather unfortunate side effects that were experienced oh, yeah. by people who huh? ate them in large quantities. <laughs> the well, reason for this was the replacement <laughs> of the sugar used in normal recipes with lycosin, a substance that's almost as sweet as sugar, but contains half the calories. Its main ingredient is malitol, which is a sugar alcohol. 
but our bodies can't fully digest it, and if it's present in high enough quantities, it can start to ferment in the stomach. Oh no. Because of this, the Amazon reviews were rather detailed. Diarrhea while driving. Wait, 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 wait. What? Did you see that? Wait, wait, wait. I see that. half an hour from my house. Here we go. A few moments of self reflection. I decided to strip off my shirts and lay them on the seat of my truck and get inside. I crapped my pa Yes, officer, I crapped my pants. That's what the smell is. Tears streaming down my face. I finally <laughs> arrived home, screeching to a halt in the driveway in front of the open and automatic garage door I triggered as I was drifting the curve onto my road. Holding the bottoms of my pant legs closed tight, I awkwardly oh, stagger no. into my house and immediately oh, no. into the shower, fully clothed. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Sounds like Harry's sort of toilet shenanigans. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have the other one. Harry's was the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Saying that it caused oh. intestinal distress yes, and reminiscent of trumpets back. calling demons back to hell. <laughs> then I'll turn out to the again. again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Number four exploding gum. Okay. Candy oh. companies are always coming up with new varieties of tried and tested oh, favorites, god. but there is such a thing as going too far. A Ukrainian chemistry student learned this to his cost in 2009 after supercharging his bubble gum with tragic results. He liked to increase the sour taste of his favorite brand, so he would often dip it into citric acid before chewing. Oh my god. On this occasion, however, he used the wrong powder he and instead he dipped up. it in explosives. All it took was one chew and his gum exploded his Wait, jaw. I've got situation. How do you have Explosive acid powder. next to explosive how do, powder, how right? Do you, yeah, how do you misplace your your citric acid for your sweets Ooh. with explosives? Well, this sounds like a folk tale, you know, one of that. Yeah. Like, I've heard this story before, though. It might be. I, I have heard this story before. And most of the lower part of his face were blown clean off. And he died soon after. And on his eyeball. Oh. Needless to say, this particular recipe for gum won't be making its way onto shelves Good. anytime soon. You think? Hmm. Number three, free candy. Okay. You might think that the best kind of candy is free candy. But yeah. in Madrid, Spain, the traditions of giving any sweet treats for free has actually been banned. Ooh. On the 5th of January each year, towns across the country hold a Christmas parade called Cabagata de Reyes which sees three wise men greeting children before handing out gifts. The men are taken through the streets to a church in a carriage, and part of the tradition involves throwing candy from the carriage into the crowds. It has, however, led to a number of injuries as children scramble to collect what they can. And in 2013, a six-year-old boy in Malaga was killed when he went into the street to collect some candy and was hit by the carriage. Oh, oh, rules are now in place to prevent such a tragedy from ever happening again. Do you know it's another one that's really bad when people throw pennies at yeah, a wedding yeah. when the car's driving off? I'm like, that's that's someone's cruising for a bruising. You've got little kids yeeting. Wait, is that a coins. thing? Yeah. Throwing pennies. Yeah. As pennies the, are uh, as the, uh... I just went, Who was it they threw pennies at in football match? Rio Ferdinand, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they thrown it at bare footballers. Yeah, cut, cut his like, eyes open, innit? For a ref Did Mike Dean not get one to the eyebrow or something? I think so, yeah. But you're so they stay throw pennies at the car. Yeah, um, the tradition of tossing a handful of coins to the wedding dress is thought to bring good luck and prosperity to the groom and his what his bride. Ping it at them, fucking. Oh, it on their car. Is it their car? <laughs> if you drop like a twenty pence piece off the Empire State Building, it'll slice through someone, right? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it won't. Why, boys? It. No, it will just they... bounce. Off, it will just bounce off their head. It might give them a little bruise. No, bruise. I, th I think I it, it, like the it won't go through them, but I it think it will. It'll really do damage. Them. It'll, it'll be like it'll bounce damage. off them. It'll bounce off them. No, I, it, it will not. If you drop. A penny. All right, let's do it to from you, Empire then. State Building. No, no, let's not do that because I'm not trying to catch a body. No, no, no. I'm. No, no, I'm let's, let's check. Let's check According to myth, a penny drop will kill someone, but is it true? A simply, Mythbuster did test it. I just don't remember the. Result. A penny just can't gather enough velocity to do any real harm. Oh. Right, so oh, wow. Like Life's a lie. Good job, Harry. Myth busting bog. No worries, lads. Number two, lolly pipe. Even though lolly pipes were never intended to be sold to children, their availability in a wide range of flavors meant that it was inevitable that kids would get their hands on them. And this posed a real problem. It looks like a sex toy. I was gonna say that. Yeah. Made from candy, these pipes were designed for smoking certain substances through, and one of their marketing claims was that they were flame proof, so could be used time and time again. Right, Bog. <laughs> no, 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 no. If these have been recorded, get yourself on one of these. And this That's resulted right. in a significant increase in drug use by underage people. <laughs> <laughs> Would it not melt as you lit it, though? No, it's, it's not It just said they're like fireproof or something, I don't know. What the fuck? 
with those who really want one having to rely on purchasing them online. It's a black market for them. <laughs> <laughs> Candy bombs. Oh my god, one, it smells so good. Candy cigarettes. What? That's exploring. Candy because. cigarettes first began to be sold in the late 1800s and were made from sugar, gum, or chocolate. Did you guys ever used to have the UK versions of these that were like. The candy just, sticks, right? Yeah, yeah, the yeah they were like, like, they were like bro, yeah. yesterday. Bro, catch me and my boys over the park. Pretending to smoke hurdler, bro. <laughs> with a lighter, setting sugar on fire, bro. Oh, what idiot. <laughs> you did it with a lighter? Yeah, proper. Like, we I used to wait until it was cold different. and just blow out like air and let, let the nah, air like, we used to like it. actually try and smoke it mate oh my god Did it, well it, it didn't smoke right <laughs> no no harry but you, <laughs> you you'd suck in for the life of you just to try and do something <laughs> wrapped in a paper in a pack that resembled a box of cigarettes some varieties even included powdered sugar that you could blow through the candy stick to simulate smoke they I began to those. be seen as a way to desensitize children to the idea of smoking however just like dad <laughs> no, no, those cigarettes won't work for me. <laughs> These collaborations became less common, and the products have now been banned in virtually every country around the world, not apart from the US and Canada. Oh. Studies have <laughs> shown that a surprising Canada. percentage of smokers had candy cigarettes when they were younger compared to people who don't smoke. So the link between the Chester, two has been Chester proved fuck. to be significant. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The fucking <laughs> cigarette is called Chester fuck. Luck. That's he. That's he. Chest of luck. Chest of luck. luck. Oh well, it will chest of fuck you. It will <laughs> chest of fuck you. Like, <laughs> it will oh. be. What seems like an innocent children's treat is probably responsible for the most deaths of any candy ever, Ugh. and it's no surprise that very few places now allow them to be sold. Wow. First respect. Respect. <laughs> oh, oh, you're saying, oh, you're saying respect. Okay. <laughs> you're saying respect. They don't sell them anymore. What the hell, big? All right. Well. Don't be watching them. Oh, and Ethan, we're gonna try and source that um, yeah, lead bar. Yeah, if it hits how many likes? Three hundred k. Three hundred k likes. Oh, get it no. done. A wank or something. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, guys? And welcome to Side Men Reacts. I'm here with KSI, Zerka, and Vicstar123, and we are looking at the 10 crazy expensive gifts bought Whoa. by billionaires. This could be crazy. JJ if uh, crypto keeps mooning. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what's on the menu. Ethereum to the moon! This is not financial <laughs> advice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, side, yeah, this is one. what we wanted. Side Men 2023. Okay, this is gold. Let's go. What do you give someone who has everything? It's an understatement to say rich people have lavish lifestyles and eccentric tastes, so shopping for them can't be easy. Number 10, 14 million dollars in cash to friends. I'll take that, I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh <laughs> when George Clooney rose to fame, he wanted to thank 14 of his closest friends for supporting him in his career. He called them all for a dinner in 2013, and at their place setting, the guests found a briefcase. They opened it to find a million dollars in $20 bills. That's sick, all that's sick. That let the superstar sleep on their couch in his struggling days and it seems he wanted to give That's back he even paid yeah. out their taxes for the year so they would get the complete amount one million dollar gift oh, doesn't yeah, sound right like that. much and indeed it is nothing compared to what we have for Wait, number one shit, how much money does george clooney have then bread those, those actors in films get peas bro his net worth's 500 mil <laughs> yeah we're getting peanuts oh. compared to these big dogs <laughs> I mean, more people watch the Sidemen holiday than his last film. We need to make more holidays if we can. I just want to clarify, my last statement was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Vic said that, oh, that we're getting peanuts more, compared to him. No, no, no. I said, I said more people watch the last Sidemen holiday than his last film. That's oh, okay. not true. That's not true. <laughs> Are you sure? Do you want to take it? I, I, I reckon... It's probably, no, more people watch this film and they paid for it too. No one paid for it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's the difference. <laughs> Number nine. Adar Punawala, a bat. <laughs> what a name, Punawala! It doesn't matter how old you get, owning the Batmobile is a dream come true. All and right, a reality yeah. for the five year old son of this Indian billionaire. Wait, five year old son? Batmobile. Wait, he did it for his five year old. <laughs> 
I thought he was getting it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where is that? He can't drive. That doesn't look like the Batmobile. What the fuck is that? Yeah, it kind of looks shit. <laughs> it's got a little knob nah. coming out the front of it. <laughs> it <was> <laughs> That's some dead what ass. What Batmobile is it? Where the film is from? <laughs> you know, when you order a Batmobile on Wish, this is what comes <laughs> <laughs> We have a Batmobile at home. Batmobile at home. <laughs> <laughs> Cruising the streets of Pune in India surfaced on social media. Pune. And no, Batman has not relocated. <laughs> the car is a gift from a father to his child. <laughs> Adar Punawala is a 34 year old CEO and executive director of Serum Institute in India. And he's worth thirteen billion dollars. Oh shit! Oh, okay. Yo, yo. We uh, laugh, take it back. We take it back. Yeah, we, we will like drive. To apologize. We'll, we'll ride. We'll ride in the mobile. We've made us we'll sick. Yo, yo, your wheels are sick, dude. <laughs> please do not. Please do not kill us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Poon. <laughs> He and his five-year-old child Cyrus regularly take the $1.2 million Batmobile out for a drive, with the little boy right. even wearing the Batman costume. Oh, the Batmobile is hardly his first Wait, in luxury cars. It, in fact, Adar is known for his love for cars. He lives it, he breathes it. His collection now ranges from a humble 1931 Chevrolet to a flashy humble. Lamborghini Gallardo, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Porsche Cayenne Turbo, and much more. Damn. I mean, Jay's had half of them, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. I mean, yeah, you, you, you're not like wrong. the 1931. <laughs> Number eight, King Abdullah's gift collection. We wouldn't expect anything less from the king of Saudi Arabia. In 2015, King Abdullah gifted the Obama family with quite the collection. For the president himself, he gave three watches and a gold-plated brass replica of the Makkah Clock Tower. The total of oh. these comes up to $142,000, which is nothing compared to what he spent on gifts for the first lady. From the king, Michelle Obama received oh, various his rare wife. gemstones oh, no. and ruby sets. Oh, no. And their daughters, Sasha and Malia, also received some gorgeous emerald and ruby sets. From the Saudi prince Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Obama family got a golden palm tree, several bottles of perfume, various tree. kinds of clothing Jeez. like robes and capes, and what four ornate like? boxes. Sadly, according to US law, the president and his family didn't get to keep the presents. They are kept in the National Archives and Records Administration. We can't oh, imagine the disappointment they felt Fume. giving up these Wait, incredible <laughs> gifts. They got gifted it. <laughs> Well, what the hell? What? So um, America has just gone, nah, Obama. That's, that's well, yeah, actually I think ours. it's like a conflict of interest kind of thing, kind of yeah. vibe. Like, <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't, get, you can't become, you can't become the president because yeah. you want to get some gifts from Saudi Arabia. You become the president to help the company, country. I thought Jay's gonna start running for prime minister. Jay's like, I'm gonna get some gifts. Yo, I need to take out Boris. I could be the prime minister, fam. <laughs> you don't get to keep any, any of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number seven, a horse farm. The founder of Microsoft manages to hit every list discussing Microsoft. billionaires. Bill Gates' <laughs> daughter, Jennifer Gates, is a trained equestrian, and seeing how important this sport was to her, the loving father bought and created the Evergate Stables in Wellington, Florida for her. How That's much did this nice. cost him? The enough. horse farm set him back $37 million. Uh, but we're how? sure he can make that uh, money back in a few hours. Easy. Yeah, Number six, Beyonce's $40 million private jet to Jay-Z. When you get a world famous rapper with stakes in some of the biggest companies in the world, his own streaming service, a $70 million art collection, and a music catalog worth $150 million? Well, a private jet, of course. Beyonce, the 22 Grammy Awards Jesus. winner worth $355 million herself, surprised her husband Jay-Z with a $40 million private jet for Father's Day in 2012. Bro, that's, that's like, <laughs> for a normal person, that's like, oh, I'm just gonna give them 10 quid. <laughs> Their ten it's quid not. is is it, not. is it is it's it not. Is it is it not. Ten no. quid is normal. I don't think ten quid is normal. No, that's their ten quid. We're looking it's at not their ten, ten quid. She's worth three hundred fifty-five mil. The jet's forty mil. So unless like ah. Uh, no, uh, it's like a seven for it's a seven for actual uh, network. Uh, much. Two two grand. Sure, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> job done. Accuracy reached. Okay. Accuracy reached. <laughs> and she's not quite so accurate. There you go. Bombardier Challenger 850 airplane has a seating area with enough space for 16 people, complete with a spacious living room oh, with cream leather sofas, Jeez. a five-star oh. kitchen, a bedroom, and two oh. baths. A five-star. Hang, oh, on, a on, a Hang wait, on a minute. Hang on a minute. Wait, we. 
Wait, what? We've not been on that one, though. <laughs> How are you getting a five-star kitchen in that small jet? Like, surely not. What, what, is, what is a five-star kitchen, though? What does I that actually know. mean? I don't know. Maybe they put one five-star like, definition in there. Have you seen Drake's jet? No. I think that might be coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pause. Oh, yeah, actually, shit. pause on that oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I'm Banny's 60 million jet. <laughs> we, we need to go on a private jet of an actual bedroom. I've been on one. An actual bedroom? Yeah. Did you join the Mile High Club? No, I did not. Oh. Did you get to sleep? I was with a bunch Wait, of YouTubers, you mate. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> You could have had a wank or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a mile high club though, Harry. I'll be right back, boys. Oh, boy, I'll take that. I'll take that. If I, if I, bust, if I bust on a plane, I'm, I'm, I'm counting that. <laughs> that's a lyric right there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my. Number five, Ambani's $60 million jet. Mukesh Ambani is India's richest man with a net worth of $44.2 billion. <laughs> He even owns the world's most expensive building, which costs more than the Buckingham Palace. Antilia, what? valued at one what? billion dollars. Yeah. So he certainly isn't one to skimp out on the gifts. How's that worth a billion dollars, that building? I bet he's got money in crypto. I bet he fucking Bro, does. stop <laughs> shitting crypto on Simon React. Stop it, yeah, you need to stop it. You're actually going to get done, bro. Bro, who cares how's the next BitConnect? <laughs> In 2007, Ambani gifted his wife, Nita Ambani, with a luxury jet worth $60 million. For a billionaire, he kind of skimped on the jet. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Come on, come on, man. A good yeah, man yeah, well, that's mil. like 10 quid A good man would do 100 oh, mil. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go again. 10 quid again. Accuracy <laughs> achieved. <laughs> There's a bit of sibling rivalry happening between the Ambani brothers too. Number four, eighty-four million dollar oh yacht. God. Anil oh Ambani God. is Mukesh Ambani's younger <laughs> brother with cake. a net worth of two point two billion dollars. He probably Jesus. saw the extravagant private jet his older brother bought his wife and raised it by buying his wife Tina Ambani a luxury yacht worth eighty-four Fuck million dollars. In but he has a less of a net worth. Has spent more. That's my guy. That's my no, guy. He's compensating. He's trying to compensate. But happy wife, oh, happy life. My <laughs> he knows what's up. He knows. Wait, so what? Is number three going to be the other dude again? So he saw his brother did this. So he yep. did this. Well, I'll buy, buy her an island. <laughs> <laughs> The yacht, which is called Tion, was built in Italy for $38.83 million and is 34 Decent meters long, right there. Hosts six yeah. rooms, a dining room, and multiple Is this the competition? You know. Well, Mukesh Ambani's daughter was married in 2018, and the ceremony, paid fully by him, included a performance by Beyonce, <laughs> and the festivities what? lasted a whole week. That couldn't have come cheap, so it's safe to say the competition continues. Number three, $165 million mansion. You can be sure Jeff Bezos gives the best of the best as gifts to those that are close to him. For him, money is no object. The Amazon founder bought a $165 million home for his girlfriend, <laughs> Lauren Sanchez, in Beverly Hills. Wait, just for just for his girlfriend? His wife, he's, even his wife broke up and she, took, she got like half it, right? So this must be yeah. a new one. He's just slapped up with a 170 mil house. This new mansion was originally built for Warner Brothers founder, Jack Warner, in the 1930s and was the symbol of Warner's hard-won success. Looks the a bit Beverly tired, Hills estate lie. is yeah. spread through 13,600 <laughs> square feet, including expansive terraces and gardens, two guest houses, a nursery, nice and three me. hot houses, a tennis court, a swimming pool, Wait, and even uh, a nine- I wonder what he's growing in that hot house in weed. Beverly Hills. He's got a grow room. Why is he just growing room? weed? <laughs> bro. He's just growing weed in his backyard. <laughs> oh, bro, I respect it, you know. That's why it's worth so much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Three hot houses, a tennis court, a <laughs> swimming pool, house. and even a nine hole yeah. golf course. That's Number two, cool. Cool. one billion dollar what? wedding. No, 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 that's that's actually dumb, though. For what? A one event you spend a what billion? Do do? What's the point? Oh, what, my I, what God. do you get? I want, I'm, I'm, What's a billion dollars get you? Find out. <laughs> Russian entrepreneur Mikhail Gutseriev, worth $4.2 billion, reportedly spent a billion dollars on the wedding of his son, Saeed Gutseriev, back oh in 2016. God. The wedding even included performances from singers like Jennifer Lopez, Enrique Iglesias, and Sting. Okay. Jennifer Lopez Please. got around $1 million to sing some oh. of her famous songs at the party, and the bride's <laughs> dress, designed by the acclaimed fashion designer Eli Saab, is rumored to have cost around $1 million. Oh, one million, two million yeah. Yeah. Tiara was bought for almost $5.71 million. Oh, yeah. Even yeah. the word extravagant falls short for this wedding. And finally, let's check out number one. Wait, there's seven million spent. Where was the, where was the billion? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think we we'll spent that's seven mil so far. They're capping. They gotta be capping. Number one, $1.5 billion art collection. 
Russian Israeli businessman Roman. Oh my guy, come on, give us some more peace. Eleven point five million dollars. <laughs> After getting married to art collector Dasha Zukova in 2008, he began showering her with gifts worth more than one point five billion dollars. He gifted her a fourteen million dollar Alberto Giacometti sculpture, paintings yeah. by Francis Bacon and Lucian Freud, coming yeah. up to a total of one hundred nineteen million dollars, yeah. and forty paintings from Russian American artist Ilya Kabakov for 30 to 60 million dollars each. Yeah. Well, that's it for the most expensive gift Jesus given by Christ. billionaires. Wait, hang on. 40 paintings, 40 paintings from this from dolly. Russian American mm. artist Ilya Kavakov yeah. for 30 to 60 million dollars each. each. 30 yeah. for that's for, a wait. billion. That's a that's a bit less oh, wait, than each. one That's where a billion is. comes from. Each. Spent a billion. Oh, 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 wait, I didn't even know. I actually feel a little bit sick at humanity what? now. Well, that's it for the most expensive gift given by billionaires. Which one would you like to have? <laughs> you could do mad stuff for the world. You're gonna get lost in a fire or something, you're done. Um, Air Drake, I think, was like 175 million, and Air Canada gifted it to, to Drizzy. Well, yeah, Air Canada gifted it to him? Yeah, I think. It's like, it's, like a, it's like a full on plane, it's not just like a private jet, it's like a. Yeah, it's a Boeing 747, I think, isn't it? That's wild. Do you think uh, Boris is ever gonna. <laughs> if that's saying. Gift, well, I don't know, someone like Stormzy <laughs> a jet? No, I don't I think don't he should have. Actually, well. Well, probably not, Boris. <laughs> in, in the current climate, I don't think anything like that should ever happen. <laughs> it wasn't Air, Air Canada; it was uh, airline cargo jet gifted it to him. 185 million dollar bill. So I think it's like, was it was it like a plane that was no longer in use, and they just then refurbished it for him? Yeah, I think so. Well, come on, airlines. He wants to buy the side jet. Come on, we'll we'll put logos all over it. Side jet. We'll, we'll, side we'll put it in all the holiday videos. <laughs> we only we'll, have. We'll pay we for only, the fuel. We'll we, pay for we, the fuel. <laughs> the jet only has one wing. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Don't sell us short, bro. So, Mate, the one do we spin? Do we spin? No, so what was on our side? We fly it's on the side. No, it's spin around. That's what we do. It just spin around the whole time. The one we went on for the, uh, the cross the water, was it? The, 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 the race back to England. London. I, I was we'll, terrified, We'll even mate. take one of those. We'll even take one of those. Oh. Airlines, holler at us. I will. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace. Welcome back to Simon Reacts. Today, myself, Harry, Ethan, and Vic are reacting to 12 ways to sneak candies from your parents. Right. Ooh, okay. It says funny food hacks and clever DIY ideas. Oh. So we're going to be the judge of that. We're all adults now. So this is this what you have to look out for you when you are when you have kids. Who's having a kid first out of that spot? I'm going to say my four. I'm saying Vic. Oh, Vic. I lost four? That's a tricky I'm one. Saying, I'm, uh, saying I'm saying Vic stuff. Vic. I'm saying Vic as well. Yeah, oh, I mean, I'm the only one that lives with a partner, so sure. Put me in. Jeez. Put me in, guys. Baby, baby, yeah. baby star coming soon. <laughs> I cannot wait till we all of us have a kid, you know. I actually cannot wait. Bro, it's going to be so funny. You're going to corrupt their minds. Uncle Harry. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. I'll be the sick uncle, you know. I'll just be, like, slipping, like, sweets under the table. That's a bit, that's a bit nonsense. You know what I mean? I'll be the cool uncle. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I'll be the cool uncle that's just, like, hooking them up and stuff. Right. Hooking them up with <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, boys, that don't make it weird. Yo, you made it weird, bro. You made it weird. <laughs> and you know what I mean. You know, I, move on. Move we know on, move what on. you mean. We know what you mean. <laughs> mm. I already don't like it. This is if ever I've seen it. Whoa, Simon. <laughs> no, I don't, don't deny it. Oh, you have sweets? <laughs> 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 You've been naughty. <laughs> yeah, I like the long hard sweets, I do. Oh no. Oh. Mudded. Look. Mudded within one minute. <laughs> what is it, Simon? What have you what have you brought to the table here? Yeah. Bro, oh, oh that's gonna work, list. is it? That's gonna work. Sticking it oh, over. That was a good. Oh shit, I just realized. Oh that was good. <laughs> that's that's good? Work, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Bro, you know like Damage free hanging. Like, I've got a lot of stuff up on my walls with damage. She just damage free hung a donut on a painting. Bro. <laughs> bro, bro, you're gonna see if there's a fucking donut on the wall, surely, right? <laughs> but she's just hung a I donut. Not, you're okay. not gonna look that deep into it, you know? But she just velcro so. strapped a donut on the wall. My baby Yoda <laughs> up here. Ethan didn't clock. Ethan but, didn't yeah, clock. I didn't clock. But yeah, you know why would you have pictures of donuts on your wall anyway? It's not like parents, Simon. it's not like a common thing.
Simon, you sent my mountain south. That's why I was distracted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bro, does it not? Like, they're the same age. It, it, it is bad. It is bad. It they're bad. the same age. He's going, oh, I better not catch you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So this one, I let me guess. They've hidden sweets under their salad is what they've done here. Let's <laughs> see. All right. Yeah. This is really clever, it this. Be, isn't it? Wait, what sweets? I don't know. Maybe another donut. <laughs> Real adults woke up and chose to film this video. Oh, <laughs> oh there's skills in there. Oh my! Bro, that's gonna be <laughs> there's a sweet corn. Well, there's a bit of sweet corn. Oh! What is this Bro, video? I'm <laughs> saying they're all the same age. Like he might be like five years older. Is this what you watch in your spare time, Minna? <laughs> no, this is. Well, hang on. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. <laughs> We have a list. We have a carefully curated list. Right. And this we made are it through. To choose from. <laughs> and this was on there. And we have to go through it. The last time I chose an idea, I got called a cunt. All right. <laughs> bro, this, bro, this, but this video, like, is a, like, uh, you came in with a like, lot. You said it with your chest. Like, this video is a banger, guys. Like, you're going to love that. I, never <laughs> said these. I have never said these words. <laughs> Simon came through and he's like, oh, I used to do all these to hide kids when I was. Kids. I kid, I what? 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 Like, you're right. <laughs> bro, this I hide sweets when I was a kid. Like, you're right, bro. It's the Why? morning. It's, your mind. it's the morning. Like, what's on your mind, bro? All right, let's, bro. let's, let's, get, let's, let's get moving. Let's get moving. Move. Oh, God. Oh, Nelly. I like it. I like it. What? Oh. What the hell is that ever gonna work? <laughs> are you telling it's me jam. the parents are gonna notice they replaced the soap with jam? <laughs> <laughs> like, what else is ever gonna work? Why are you taking bread to the bathroom anyway? What the f Bro, Harry's disgusting that was unreal. <laughs> this is so this is such an outrageous Okay, right. She's <laughs> locked herself in the bathroom to eat jam on toast. <laughs> on bread. That ain't even toast, bro. That ain't toast. <laughs> Oh, my God. What? <laughs> oh, I'm going to Has the other one got jelly in it? Oh, wow. <laughs> got got oh. If she walks out with the, with the bread. She's going to eat it there. Yeah. Oh, she's in the toilet. Out. With, the, with the, the fresh shit in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. So he's going to wash his hands with jam now? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm waiting for well, then they've been found out. That they've doesn't look great. Out. Bro, wait, what are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. Bro, what, bro, wait, what are you doing? Wait, what video? Simon. <laughs> Stop putting this on Simon. me, fam. It's all Uber. Look, Simon. we've had two things already, and Vic's mind has clearly gone to noncery, and so oh, is Harry's. Goodness. Mine goodness. Mine goodness. Just saying. <laughs> Harry, you said you're going to sneak sweets under the table to a kid. Yeah, that, did, that was a bit noncery. You sound pressed, Simon. You picked the video, bro. This video is weird. I'm just saying, you I'm getting pressed. slated for a video that's on pressed. a list uh, curated got, by you guys I've got and everyone. Nah, nah, nah. No, you sound pressed, bro. This is a bit special. You got to take the blame for this one. Yeah, you got to take the No, 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 no. No. Look at this! Why is he putting hand soap on him, his face? That's my True. cue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I can't laugh as much as I want to because I've got hiccups. So the title of this video is the way to sneak candies from your parents. They definitely they they snuck that jam into, into yeah, the world, yeah, haven't yeah. they? He has no idea. Okay, what now? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, classic. You I know, know this isn't decent. bad. This isn't that's bad. Quite decent. This ain't that ain't a bad one. Go on, Harry, slate that one. No, no, you know what? I'll rate this one. I rate this one. Yeah. Okay. The, oh god, this one's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look so why is she giving him the teddy? Sure, that's a. Oh, she's mocking it. Yeah, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's mocking it. Doing it right under his nose. Why is he taking her teddy? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, easy oh, transport. A, little, a covert oh, mission. Smuggling. Covert. Oh. Loading. Nice. Yeah, you know what? Oh, teamwork. Nice. I respect it. I respect the teamwork. I don't think I've ever been this. I know. I know it's funny, right? Because I used to be fat. I've never been this desperate to to get a sweet. I used to have like secret stashes to hide them from my brothers because my brothers would take my sweets. I never had that because I'm a single child. I used to. I, I used to find out where my parents hid them and I just like sneak like one at a time just so they wouldn't notice it going down. And then one day they'd be like, "Harry, half the jar's gone." Like, we know what's <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, "It wasn't me. I, I mean, don't know there's, anything. There's what proof jar?" In the <laughs> Proving the pudding, I just ate them. Um, <laughs> no, no, there was no oh sneak in it. There was no, no sneaking in this household. Did you ever used to like nab alcohol and then replace it with like yes. water? Yes. Yeah. Like, yep. Yeah. 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 And then my dad would like, be like, "Why is this vodka watered down?" I don't know. I did. Okay. What now? A new scene. There we go. Forbidden food. 
I'm what? just man, he's man he's doing PSA. Them. What? He's airport searching them. Okay, this is. What? <laughs> okay. okay. Right. When you get home from school and you get TSA searched by parents. <laughs> Oh, oh what? how's he? What are you <laughs> off your head? <laughs> are you, hang on a second. How's he? What? <laughs> okay. Maybe he doesn't know what you know the design that kids wear these, these days. This, this that's the new designer, but that's that new off white, yeah, off white cross. <laughs> oh, it got so bad, you know. Oh no, another one. What now? What now? Where are these gonna be? <laughs> that ain't what working. The f what is I hate this, this video? video. I hate. I hate this video and everything about it. Bro, 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 he's gonna see. Them. He's gonna <laughs> see when he opens the door. He's got eyes. Nah, cause look, it goes down to the sofa and man's had no idea. Oh, oh no, she's goodness. shielding it. Fair oh, play. she did well there, she did well. Oh, no, I've done him in there, Jesus Christ. My brain cells are hurting. We're not even halfway through. <laughs> I can't laugh, okay, here comes. Oh, Christ, all right, here we go. I've got hiccups, I've got hiccups. Ah, oh, he's in the oh, fridge. Why is he hiding in the fridge? Dad, Dad's old, hiding old, in the fridge. That That's where he's not. been this whole time, ladies I'm just saying, maybe, maybe he's stuck. <laughs> I'm going to go and look in my fridge after, just see if he's there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Where's she hiding this? In a sofa. Ah, oh, this, is a, this is a festival technique, this is. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this done before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's drinking these fizzy drinks. This is poor from him. Oh, no. Oh, Russell. Oh. <laughs> He's been outsmarted. <laughs> He's fuming. <laughs> Make him do Okay, He's got a fuck. Oh my. What? Bro, are you going to see him? No, are going to start that, chugging that the hot water? That can't be good for you. That can't yeah, be good happening. for you. He's going to that... siphon it out of his hot water bar. Okay. Right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No. Nice. Oh, right. I oh, know that's actually quite smart. Do you think it's Bro, safe it's to ain't smart. Water What's he bottle? doing? I don't no, think look, it's safe. And then you just take a sip and then put hide it. I don't think it's safe to drink out of a hot water bottle. I definitely think there's like loose rubber particles. Like I don't yeah. think I don't think <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, my nah, he's outsmarted him there. Fair play. Alright, yeah, what's up, <laughs> I reckon they're on the other side of that board. Oh, he's she's oh. like rumbled. Do you know what's crazy? They probably spent like a whole two days shooting this video. There's so oh, many no, different the camera angles. The budget has got to be huge. <laughs> oh, where's it going to be? Oh, the little <laughs> Snickers on the belt trick. I know this one. <laughs> the Snicker belt. Nice. No. <laughs> Double sided tape. Uh, just in case you didn't realize how he did it, you know? And then what's his plan for nibbling this in class without being spotted? <laughs> <laughs> Man's equipped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's feeling himself now. Oh. <laughs> this is this is wild, boys. Uh, this is crazy. <laughs> Sidemen reacts, ladies and gentlemen. What Why does he always wink to the camera? There we go. What now? In arts and craft? He's no, he hasn't, has he? No. <laughs> he hasn't hidden it in the paint. He's it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Just icing? Yeah. What? What is it? It must be. Oh wait, no, wait. sugar powder. Oh my, oh my so god. So the DIY are making bits of sugar now. I'll tell you what, that does taste buff though, ice and sugar. Yeah, it does, it does. Bro, they're like little drug addicts for sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's paint. Yeah, sorry, I'm just eating my paint. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I couldn't draw the sun today. I've eaten it. <laughs> Why is your paint stiff coming out the box? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Mate, he's, he's fucking churning them out. Go on, son. Pumping. Oh! <laughs> right, okay. Oh, no. We should buy JJ that bandana. Yeah, that's a heat bandana. It's fire. <laughs> that is fire. No, no, I hope for Good them. coach, that. Good coach. And now what? Yeah. I hate how this whole thing is mimed. Nah, see what? this, I can get what? on board with this, a bit of DIY. <laughs> Double-sided tape. All right. 
Yeah. It's gonna be the tube again, isn't it? If he, I swear to God, no. What Whoa. the fuck? Oh, what? You just meant to have one of these. Okay. What? All this for a sip of coke? <laughs> what the fuck that. is that? Bro, that's too bait. <laughs> You're doing for a little bit of coke. <laughs> oh, God, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's just his bag looks a little different. Bro, how's the, how's the teacher not fucking? Oh, okay, man. <laughs> it's just. This is, it's actually annoying me. Like how I'm not gonna say that word. How ridiculous <laughs> these are. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Yeah, I hate I'm it. In, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. This is the last one. How has he not right? spotted that? Oh, thank God, it's over. Thank fuck. Is this what children are searching on the internet? This is the thing. If you make like content like this on YouTube, like for a really young audience, they don't care about what they're watching. As long as there's happy music and stuff yeah. going on, they just have it on loop. And, and the thing is, what they do is they start watching it on their iPad and then yeah. they put their iPad down and it keeps playing all of these videos. Just YouTube yeah. auto suggests them. And they get millions of views and Bro, then they're in the algorithm and, and it's and it's shit. Bro, have you seen the, the suggested sneak candies into a club? Oh, Harry, mate, once we're out of lockdown. <laughs> once we're out of lockdown, mate, I will be using that video. Bro, well, you dude. know what? 150,000 likes and we'll react to sneak candies into a club. Oh, no. Oh, mate, no, no, no I'm hey, sitting through that again, bro. Cer I certain happen, adults mate. I know in London sneak, <laughs> sneak candies into clubs already. Don't you worry oh, about that. Oh, dear. Bro, that was... Oh, uh, you know what? I had a great time. I had a great time. Today we are going to be learning all about the 12 most dangerous islands that you never want to visit. But I don't know, I feel like one of them, you know, I feel like Harry's a bit of a daredevil. He might want to visit one of these, so we'll see. Ah, oh, man, I'm down. Technically, Eng well, the United Kingdom's a very dangerous island to visit at the minute. You know what? It is actually <laughs> right right now, the most dangerous island that you could visit in the world right, right now. Right <laughs> now, we're on one of the most dangerous islands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, uh, let's, let's see if we made it. I doubt we You did. laugh, otherwise you cry. That's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh now, cry later. 12 most dangerous islands you never want to visit. Dum, dum, yeah. dum. Oh, ooh, okay. Number Down. 12. <laughs> Farallon Islands. Okay. Ooh. 20 miles west of San Francisco. Mm, okay. Sits a series of islands that are so jagged, they have earned the moniker, the Devil's Teeth. Ooh. But this may no longer be a name based only in appearance. Because of the island's potential dangers, humans have been banned from stepping foot on the islands. Oh, the waters around the it? islands are still a popular destination for whale watchers. And because humans can no longer interfere, the Farallons have become the home to one of the largest seabird colonies in the United States. Oh, okay. Although you can still catch intrepid skin divers I it was eagle sneaking there. onto the islands, the government adamantly warns anyone that they do so at their own risk. Ooh. While you might be able to avoid the dozens Ooh. of great white sharks that roam the area, feeding off the Farallon's large population of elephant seals. Okay. The real danger is one you won't be able to punch in the nose. It's the tides, right? <laughs> Throughout the middle of the 20th oh, wait, century, oh, were used for the disposal tides. of radioactive materials. <laughs> no, it's, there were almost 50,000 drums full of nuclear waste throughout the area. Oh, wow. And with numbers that high, leaks are an inevitable certainty. There's like three odd fish in there, bro, 100. But mate, the, the fish got coming off that island or the birds must be like <laughs> mutating. <and it's> gonna... <laughs> it's dodgy creatures. West of the African island of Madagascar, in the Indian Ocean, sits Reunion Island, a small yet yeah. busy island that is covered by rainforests, rivers, and breathtaking waterfalls. Mm. Okay. Though it is over 5,500 miles away there, from now. France, the island is still governed by French law, and oh. because it is less of a hassle than traveling to island destinations where passports may be required, it has become a popular vacation destination for French citizens. Okay. Oh. Because of this, the island is one of the most modern islands in terms of sanitation and transportation. Well, I want to go there. It could be easy to get carried yeah. away daydreaming about visiting Reunion yeah. because of its beautiful villages yeah. and yeah. relative isolation yeah. from the outside world. Yeah. Tourists so must be prepared for the terrifying realities of this pristine locale. 
Okay. First off, oh, it is home to one volcano. of the most active volcanoes in all of the world, oh. which was a popular hiking destination for tourists until it was deemed too dangerous to traverse. Wow. We c oh, I'm, I'll take the risk. I'll take the risk. <laughs> all right, then. That's a bit right. spice to your hike. Ha half a million likes on this bog goes up a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> the next Sidemen bad holiday is just to a volcano. You can't <laughs> decide <laughs> it. $10 <laughs> volcano versus <laughs> <laughs> Dormant volcano versus active volcano. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You don't want to get the active volcano. <laughs> One of the leading islands in terms of annual rainfall in the entire world. Oh, just rain and away is the often the victim of violent I knew you were say <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, Reunion is known for having one of the largest and most vicious populations of sharks encircling mm. it. The shark attacks have become so bad that the French government has forbidden surfing around the island. Oh. Despite this, there are still around half a dozen people who meet their demise every year from shark attacks. Oh, wow. Mm. Number 10. Danger Island. I mean, it's in the name. Yeah, if there's yeah. one island you're not going to visit, it's Danger <laughs> Island, surely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. South of Maldives, in the western part of the Indian Ocean, Ooh. lies the Chagos Archipelago, a series of coral islands long inhabited by the Chagos people. Ooh. One of the smallest of these atolls is Danger Island, which is full of coconut trees lovely. that used to act lovely. as a reserve by the Chagos. That's In beautiful. the event food supplies ran short, the wow. island is full of wildlife. Most significantly, it is the home of two rare birds with fun names to say, brown noddies and red-footed boobies. 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 I just want to sit on the booby comment for a second. Let it, <laughs> it marinate. <laughs> All right, let's let boobies marinate. <laughs> Seafarers found the coral reef and oh, rocky shores that surrounded it oh, too <laughs> treacherous to anchor their ships. Even with modern transportation, the island is incredibly difficult to get to and navigate without risking damage. Okay. If you were to end up grounded or wrecked oh, no. near Danger Island, you would find yourself utterly isolated from the world and would oh. be especially in trouble if you were allergic to coconuts. I'll just, I'll just phone someone, send a text. <laughs> Number nine. Tristan da Cunha. Almost 1,800 miles of South Africa is the British territory. British territory. British territory, come on. Rule come on. Britannia. Britannia. Britannia rules the way. The way. <laughs> <laughs> Visiting this grassy circle-shaped island that measures only eight miles across can be incredibly daunting, as the only way to reach it is by traveling seven days by boat. Seven wow. days! Because of this, yeah, it once had days. the distinction of being the most isolated, yet still inhabited place on Earth. That's sick. That was until the volcano that formed the island oh, had enough of being host to humans and erupted in 1961, causing widespread devastation. Awesome. Luckily, because there were only a few inhabitants to begin with on Tristan Acuna, the British were able to successfully relocate everyone to England before oh, wow. they be wiped out. Slowly, people have returned. The island is now home to 270 locals oh. who live life off the grid and farm to make ends meet, all the while trying to forget that the volcano may evict them at a moment's notice. See, that's, that's kind of sick, you know? Like a little community, just like... Sidemen buy the island. Let's buy a volcano. I don't think you'd be able to buy it because no one owns it, right? The British. <laughs> True. The British own it. It's a British. Hey, Boris. Boz. <laughs> Boz. Lend us an island. Boz. Get us a helicopter, lad. I don't think a helicopter would make no, it. A helicopter would make so it, bro. Far. It's so far in the middle of the. Is ah. that it? St. Helena and Tristan. Bro, it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. It is like that's scary far. So, what's the point in owning that then? Can we not auction it off or something for the British people? <laughs> <laughs> what, good, what good is it? What, what good is it? We own a volcano. Sick. It's a world record, isn't it? Most remote <laughs> island. I think it's kind of cool, personally. It's yeah. cool, but let someone else have it. Not good for us. Number eight. Bikini Atoll. That's out The Marshall <laughs> Islands are a series of atolls and islands that lie east of Guam. Oh, Pia Mia's from Guam. That's the only thing I know about Guam. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean, the most famous of these islands is that of Bikini Atoll which, although small, helped shape history, along the way becoming synonymous with the two-piece bathing suit and the atomic bomb. Oh. What was once a beautiful tropical locale <laughs> is now a radioactive wasteland. What? Oh, no. As Bikini Atoll was one was of the main sites at which the United yeah, States military okay. tested nuclear weapons. Though the island had a small indigenous population, oh, they were no. all relocated to a nearby island right. in 1946, before testing commenced. The uh. island has remained abandoned to this day. Aside from researchers studying the effects of radioactivity. Number seven. Mad. Oh. Hashima Island. Okay, what's happening? If you here? head out to sea, traveling west from Nagasaki, Japan, you will come across what appears to be a floating fortress 
This is the island of oh, Hashimo, hide and seek actually there, known by the nickname yeah. Battleship Island. That was, Hashimo that was. was once one of the main sources of fuel for the Japanese military okay. during World War II. The island was home to a coal mine, and because of the sheer amount of workers, the majority of which being Korean and Chinese POWs and enslaved civilians, oh, no. it was at one point the most densely populated place on Earth. Oh, God. However, a few years after the war, the Japanese eschewed coal for oil, and the mine was abandoned. Okay. Because there is no one to manage the giant housing buildings, and other complexes, kind of they have fallen into there. severe disrepair, and nature is slowly taking back the island. That's sick. Yeah. This has made the island extremely dangerous to traverse. Oh, okay. It looks like The Last of Us. You remember The Last yeah. of Us? Yeah. When like, the city's getting all grown over and stuff. That's what it looks like. It reminds me of The Last of Us. Number six. Bear Island. Bear Island, okay. Between the Arctic island of Svalbard. Oh, Svalbard! I know this place. I, I watched the Tom Scott video on it. Oh, Svalbard. Nice. So, but hang on, you have to take if you you have to have like a you have to take a gun with you because otherwise the bears are gonna get you. Oh, really? And mainland Norway lies Bear Island. The island, with an area just over 110 square miles, was once considered a vital position for naval reconnaissance, but now only hosts little more than a weather station that and a few cool. abandoned houses. The entire island has been declared a nature reserve by the Norwegian government, but there really isn't much nature to find, as it is largely devoid of plant and animal life, aside yeah. from moss, seabirds, and fish. It is believed that much of this is due to toxic contaminants that have found their way to the island. Oh, maybe it's not this place, though, there's no bears there. That waft pollution from industrial countries bear island? like the yeah, United States and England, which bordered the Atlantic. Well, bears but the true danger of Bear Island so, comes from yeah. another form of pollution. Here we go. In 1989, a Soviet nuclear submarine crashed just south of the island, <laughs> resulting uh... in much of the water surrounding the island having been possibly contaminated with radioactive waste. Oh, that's not good. Then, in 2009, a Russian transport carrying upwards of 15,000 gallons of oil rammed oh. into the island, oh, becoming Russia. launched. Much of the oil oh, leaked yeah. into the sea, <laughs> causing large numbers of the island's sea population to perish. <laughs> you ruined it, and only adding to the man-made really? destruction haunting the island. <laughs> really? The pollution, combined with the desert-like terrain which averages nearly zero inches of rainfall a year, and the steep, sharp cliffs that make up Bear Island, makes this one place you can cross off your list of potential vacation destinations. Well, that's no fun. I want to know where the place you're talking about is. Why is that one called Bear Island if they're no bear? Isn't it? Well, is, is it because it's bear oil? <laughs> bear radiation? <laughs> Number five. Saba. Saba. If you are willing it's to the brave the rocky but short 12-minute plane ride from St. Martin to Saba, oh, wow. the smallest island in the Dutch Antilles, you will be graced with a view like none other. That's a sick. place that looks it's trapped in the ancient past. <laughs> Upon yeah. arrival, you will find a village nestled upon a volcano that is full of vibrant atmosphere These are with live music, family-owned oh. restaurants featuring fresh-caught cuisine, oh, but they're all Hannibal's. like scuba diving and hiking. <laughs> but all this comes at a cost. One might say that the locals have become such experts at having a good time because they know at any moment it could all be destroyed. Tourists have been known to call wow. it the unspoiled queen of the Caribbean. Wait, so they're actually but it living each day like it's like it's yeah, a right that, you know. island. That's sick. Because of its location right in the Atlantic's hurricane alley, oh, the wait. island has been noted for being hit by the most hurricanes oh. of any island oh. on Earth. Despite the Maybe constant attacks that Mother Nature brings down upon Saba, its people still find a way to survive and rebuild time and time again. Fair play. Number four. Rockall. Oh, it's close the to tiny home. tiny 80-foot oh. wide island Come on, side Rock Hall, side which side lies four. nearly 300 miles off of Scotland's side western visit, shore, dangerous island. has such an imposing presence but I'm down. that has made its way into Irish and Scottish it's a rock, bro. It's a as rock. well as popular it's a rock. culture through it's music, books, and television. People have long been side entranced spend 24 with hours on a rock. powerful structure, <laughs> with some ancient myths going as far to name it the location where the apocalypse will begin. What? The real-life danger... Bro, it's, it's a fucking shitty <laughs> rock! It's a rock covered in bird poo! Oh man, that's the apocalypse <laughs> what right are you there. About? <laughs> it's not an island, it's a rock! Is it like loads of ships have crashed into it or something? Like what? Okay, here we go. It's essentially a large granite rock yeah. sticking out of the ocean. The remnants of an extinct volcano. What? Because of its steep incline on all sides, there is really only one place for a person to stand. The peak. Which you can only get to if you are a skilled rock climber. And even if you are, it isn't recommended that you try climbing the relatively short summit of 65 feet. As the island is smack dab in the part of the ocean, which boasts waves reaching upwards of 100 feet, mm. despite there being no natural value to those the penguins. island, other than its looks. Are those penguins? What are you talking about, On mate? the top. 
Oh my god, they no, might up. No, no, no. I don't no, think they no, are. That's no, they they're, are, they're puffins, seagulls. I think. I think they're puffins. Ah, this, is, okay. this is just off Scotland. <laughs> yeah, but they're puffins. You have puffins around there. Penguins, I was Penguins. more so. oh. <laughs> Extremely important strategic location by the United Kingdom, who claimed the island in fear of it falling into the hands of the USSR and being used to house a missile silo. Britain's claim to the island also has oh, the historical distinction on a rock. of being their last modern day territorial acquisition. Oh, nice. Number three Grunard Island. Okay, we're oh, yeah. Grunard All right, Island. We're getting closer. Scotland's treacherous isles, but it owes its place on our list for a man made danger. Oh, this be another problem. bleak looking island was once home to some of the most extreme biological weapons testing oh of the God, 20th century. Oh, God, we can't go here either. The British Army peppered and doused the islands hundreds of times with weapons like chlorine gas and oh. anthrax. The oh, anthrax in anthrax. particular anthrax. had a permanent effect on Grunard as it soured the soil and decimated the entire indigenous animal population. Oh. The island remains a wasteland, and only sanctioned government researchers are allowed to visit it. And oh. they must wear hazmat suits oh, okay. from the moment they step on the island okay, until they leave. Hide and seek in that. Any attempt by non-military personnel to land on the island is strictly prohibited. And even if it wasn't, you probably shouldn't go there anyway, as you wouldn't survive very long. Oh. Number two. Um, Miyake Jima. Okay, I'm, I'm, the I'm, 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 I'm all island chain that juts from Japan's southeastern coast is made up of a string of volcanoes, oh, no. all of which oh, no. are oh. currently active in oh, the last no. century alone. <laughs> Nearly oh, no, 200 no, no, people no, no. have perished due to major eruptions. Oh, wow. The most major of these was in 2000. I'd love to see a volcanic eruption in real life, you know. That's one thing, I like, imagine that. Bucket list. You know the thing in, where is it? In Iceland and stuff. They're like friendly volcanoes, the ones that spurt water. Geysers. Well, guys, geysers, guys, yeah, 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 geysers, yeah, yeah. geysers, geysers, I mean, geysers. They're like friendly volcanoes. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, it's a lot safer than yeah, 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 the yeah. yeah, but I don't know if you can even class them as volcanoes. No, it's it's a friendly version. Fair enough, sure. man. Wasn't there one in Iceland that did erupt? There was one recently. There was Didn't one. Like, oh, the one that flights. stopped flights. Yeah. yeah, the one that stopped all the flights. Yeah, because there was dust all over the gaff. That's the technical term. <laughs> dust all <laughs> the over the scientific. gaff. The scientific. The scientific. 2010. Uh... 2010. Welcome to Ethan's science lesson. <laughs> when the volcanoes erupt, it gets dragged in the wind and there's dust all over the gaff. Yeah, it was 20, 2010. We had a school trip that went there during that time. Oh, shit. Sure. Mm. You had a cool school. My school just took me to the fucking, <laughs> just to the, the coast. <laughs> <laughs> Looms over several small villages occupied by a few thousand people, spewed lava and lethal amounts of sulfuric gas upon the island for four straight years. Oh my God. While some decided to pack up and move, a vast majority of the population stayed. Right up now. until 2005, much of the island was restricted, and the people of Miyakajima were forced to stay inside with their doors sealed only traveling outside in their gas masks, if absolutely necessary. Oh my. Bro, <laughs> that's just like us nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Me, when I go to Sainsbury. <laughs> <laughs> and adapted to life next to this fiery giant by closely monitoring the gas levels and keeping gas masks handy in case the levels become excessive. Here we go, number one. Number one. Ramri Island. Just off the coast of Myanmar, in the Indian Ocean, is Ramri Island. At a distance, the island looks like the perfect place for a relaxing vacation. But if you were to travel inland, you'd most likely have an experience akin to a Jurassic nightmare. Oh! And probably end up in the belly of one of the world's oldest surviving species. What? Ramri is unique because it is home to the largest consolidated bask of saltwater oh. crocodiles. Okay. In World War II, after being defeated by the British in a battle on the island, the Japanese Britannia. army retreated through Ramri's swamplands, and over 400 soldiers were gobbled up by the nasty. Oh, oh my god, god, bro! <laughs> Look at the size of that guy! Thick. That's a unit. Bro! Thick crocodile, bro. He's been eating good. The fact they can fit an entire human in their body is crazy, you know? In the form of these 2,000 pound reptiles, <laughs> remains the event with the largest loss of human life due to animals. Jesus, jeez. If you had to choose one of these islands for your next vacation, which one would you choose? Ooh. The fucking rock. The fucking rock, mate. The fucking <laughs> what, rock. The rock, rock of Scotland. Top of a uh, rock. Get me over to the rock, mate.
is long, bro. That's... I'm losing my shit. I'm that's losing my head. What the one? How do you get told that? Just say, just say Saint Nicer, innit? Bro, no, right. I'm panicking, bro. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another Sideberry Hangs. Today we are going to be doing the reaction of Top Ten Most Dangerous Flights in the World. Josh and Toby, let's do this. Good. Slight voice crack will let you. <laughs> when you think of issues with planes, you think of getting stuck in a middle seat or maybe even your flight gets delayed. Now, what if you looked out the window and saw Ooh. gas spewing all over Fuck the entire plane out. while you were in it? Today, we're looking at no, the top you. 10 most dangerous flights in the world. Why do Americans call gas gas when it's a liquid? Big man, don't ask questions. Yeah, yeah. but that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the way I've always been taught in my life. <laughs> Big man, don't ask questions. Starting things off at number 10 is one of those stories that makes you just wonder, what are the odds? The 2006 thriller movie Snakes on a Plane turned into a reality oh. as passengers oh on board a flight what? in Mexico spotted a peculiar these passenger snakes? in the over these <laughs> <motherfucking> <laughs> the plane. A five foot venomous <laughs> green viper somehow oh, made its how? way onto the plane, terrifying the passengers Jesus. on board. The worst part, the plane was actively in flight. Passengers were trapped huh? in a metal tube, hurling through the sky at hundreds of miles per hour with a deadly reptile. According to witnesses, Whoa. the snake hung from the overhead storage area before dropping Jeez. on the seats and floor of the cabin. Luckily, nobody Imagine that's above you, snake. bro. Oh, bro, no, man. I'm punching You're every man. You're trying to sleep and you wake up and there's just a snake dangling. I'm, I'm like, moving. Oh. I'm telling everyone to move. Get out my way. I get bit sir, by remain this Remain seated. Thing. Remain seated, sir. <laughs> Hey yo, if there's, if there's I'm like, gonna sit in the toilet, bro. Like I'm, 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 I'm chucking a crying baby at that thing, fam. I don't what? care. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so so your thought process was instead of like moving away from it, you'll grab the nearest crying baby. Nearest yeah, crying. Yo, yo, they, they have to be crying, by the I, way. Yeah, they have, if gonna... they're not crying, it's blessed. If they're crying, yeah, chuck that thing at it. <laughs> Say there's a baby in row 24 and you're in row two. Hey, yo, I'll be like, you hey, yo, back 22 rows. Hey, yo, someone <laughs> bring that baby. baby. <laughs> Come along. <laughs> The flight attendants notified the pilot who requested an emergency landing at the flight's destination. Once grounded, passengers exited while the crew secured the adventurous reptile. In a statement from the airliner, oh. it is still unknown just how the snake Mental. boarded this plane. I have had it with these motherfucking hey. snakes on this, on this motherfucking plane. plane. Number Very 9. In March of 2018, a crazy storm rode along the east coast of North America, bringing heavy rain, snow, and winds along with it. Not the ideal weather to be flying in. While hundreds of flights no set doubt. in the area were cancelled due to the storm, a few which were destined for intense turbulence were not. One particular flight was set to land at the Washington Doolis International Airport in Washington, D.C. Unfortunately for the pilots and passengers alike, the descent into landing caused extreme turbulence, which led to motion sickness for almost everyone on board. To call this a flight from hell is quite the understatement. Even the pilot's logs read, pretty much everyone on the plane threw up. Even the pilots were on the verge of throwing up themselves. Oh, <laughs> Number eight. Imagine that. Did you picture. ever see those Final Destination oh, movies? No. Know where the characters oh. have visions of something terribly fatal happening soon before it actually does? Well, that's exactly what happened to this newlywed couple who were on oh, board no. a flight to their honeymoon destination. While United Airlines was preparing the plane for takeoff, it seems that the crew wasn't paying enough attention. Passengers Mike and his wife Rachel were actually the ones who alerted the crew that the wing of the plane was spewing jet fuel Whoa. all over the place. Of course, the flight was immediately cancelled, but the madness God. doesn't stop there. According to the couple, United Airlines praised them for ensuring the safety of the plane and its passengers, then promised to take good care of them. In reality, oh the couple claims that they were offered a measly food voucher, not even compensated <laughs> oh for their missed reservations, God. and on top what? of that, they were forced to sleep on the floor of the Newark International Airport. No, nah, mate, that's outrageous. If that was me, man, I've literally saved everyone on this plane. Give me you, a medal. You know what I mean? <laughs> mate, bro, knight me. <laughs> knight you. <laughs> <laughs> give me an MBE. Give me something, bro. I want to meet the queen. Is I that want your new goal, bro? Is that your new goal? I think, I think you've just released what you actually want to do. In nah, you know what? An MBE. You want to get yourself knighted. You're a little, you're a little title for your name, isn't it? <laughs> hey, you say, you say you want to meet the queen. He wants MBE KSI. Well, I heard a couple people say Simon looks like the queen. <laughs> Is that because he's old? Ask him, ask him. Oh, the, the money thing. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, God. <laughs> oh got you, got you. It's like peering through. Yeah, got you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Or <laughs> the Newark International Airport. This story does have a mostly happy ending, though. Good Samaritans, who were also on board the flight, thanked the two heroes and offered them a hotel and limo services to express their gratitude. Oh, there we go. Cute. Number there seven. Traveling to Miami is all fun and games until an alligator until decides to show up. Lose. The story wait, wait, starts wait, wait, off pretty wait, wait, normal. No, 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 no. I don't think we actually deeped what just was said. It's the traveling family's always fun. I said until Gib loses. Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait. I didn't hear that. Oh, yeah, nah. He's talking about the alligator. Oh, I was talking about the alligator. It says traveling time is always fun. And I was like, yeah, until you go there and give loses. Jesus Christ. I don't want to get to Miami ever again in my life. It's the first week of my life. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I lost my passport. <laughs> It was like a series of unfortunate events the whole week. Oh man. To Miami is all fun and games until an alligator decides to show up. The story starts off pretty normal. <laughs> a smooth flight set for the Miami National Airport is now, coming please. to an end. As the plane is finishing up the landing process, the flight attendant prepares her post-flight announcement when suddenly the plane slams into a 12-foot alligator <laughs> which found its way fuck? onto the runway. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Why is that? <laughs> Why is that alligator on the runway? <laughs> Yo! I oh, thank fuck live in the UK, you know, because there's like what? <laughs> there's like some ants and some foxes. Oh! Like, <laughs> oh my god. Wait, how close is Florida to Miami? It's <laughs> <laughs> like, just like. What? No, hold on. Have I done something stupid? Have I done something stupid? Press play! Press play, JJ. We got you, bro. Press play. What? You're not pressing play, JJ. Press play, press play, press play. Okay, press play. Okay. Please. No, but you guys didn't. Okay. As the front nose gear of the plane hit the alligator, causing the front tires to blow out and the wheel assembly to completely break off. As you can imagine, mm. passengers were terrified, assuming that their flight had crashed. Luckily, with its nose digging <coughs> into the runway, the plane skidded for about 100 yards okay, before safely coming to a stop. Mistake. It's at that point What's your mistake? Your mistake? Uh, Miami is in Florida. <laughs> Give him, a, give, him, give him the MBE. Yeah. <laughs> Get an item. An item. <laughs> If you've ever been on a plane, you'll know that one of the worst common occurrences is turbulence. But I'm willing to bet that you've never seen turbulence quite as bad as this. A flight destined for Malaysia was forced to return to its origin in Australia after a critical engine failure left the stability of the plane in shambles. Just an hour and a half into its journey, the captain was forced to turn the plane around for an emergency landing back where it departed from. Passengers compared the violent shaking to that of an unstable washing machine. To add on to what was already terrifying experience, the captain of the flight told passengers passengers to say a prayer and that their survival would depend on their cooperation. Luckily, Mate. the plane huh? made a safe Allow landing that. backwards. That is long, bro. That's, I'm losing my shit. I'm losing my head. One one how to being told that. Just say, just say St. Nicer, innit? Like, bro, I'm panicking, bro. I'm panicking. Just hold on and watch a film. I'm punching, <laughs> I'm punching <laughs> a baby that is crying. What? What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I oh, remind me right, if they have a kid and it cries on a flight, never go with JJ. Never go with JJ. Hey, yo, he's gonna eat it, he's gonna punch it. Nah. He's in a movement. Hey yo, no, no, on the road, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, I'm gonna send you on a bad holiday, you know. I'm gonna put you on a bad holiday. Joke. Don't take this out of context, don't cancel me. <laughs> it's not even out of context, it's just, it's just yeah, the context you're doing. You're saying you're punching a baby. <laughs> Luckily, the plane made a safe landing back where it started. I just hope that the passengers were all compensated well. Imagine spending three hours in the air, terrified for your life, and not even making it to your destination. Number five. If you haven't yet noticed, severe weather and airplanes just don't mix. So as you can imagine, a massive hailstorm posed a significant threat to a flight on its way to Phoenix, Arizona from San Antonio, Texas. What would typically be an easy two to three hour <laughs> flight quickly took a turn for the worse as a severe thunderstorm rolled into the flight's path. Unfortunately for the passengers of the plane, this storm carried out a lot of hail and it wrecked havoc on the front end of the plane. The passengers described this as one of the worst flights of their lives, <laughs> sickening like turbulence <laughs> <and> <laughs> 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 while others held on for their lives, hoping that they would make it to the ground safely. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the cockpit, things weren't all much better. According to the captain of the American Airlines flight, visibility was dangerously low. <laughs> the entire windshield of the plane had been demolished by hail. Despite the odds, the crew managed to land the plane safely. Once on the ground, they were able to see just how much damage was done. The entire nose of the plane had been caved in, and dents and paint scratches were all over the rest of the plane. 
Number four. Nice. A plane carrying 163 passengers had to make an immediate return landing after a nerve-wracking problem was discovered with the cabin of the plane. According to the flight attendants, passengers began to report a pain in their ears accompanied by a windy sound just an hour into their flight. Oh, no, your pain a is typically a sign of low cabin pressure, which is caused by the lack of oxygen inside of a plane. On top of that, reports no, of a windy sound and curtains flowing in the air led passengers to suspect that the plane door had not been fully sealed the oh. right they were. Aerophobia is described as an oh. abnormal or persistent and fear of flying, but I'm pretty sure that anybody would be terrified to be in this situation. Number three. What? It is normal for the human brain to expect the tiniest piece of a puzzle to a plane would completely Fucking ruin man. your flight. And the situation seems even more grim when you see the problem whiz by you. A passenger reported that he was enjoying his peaceful flight when he heard a pop noise and saw that a screw had broken loose from the propeller and busted through the outer pane of his cabin window. Oh. Despite this, oh. the pilot said that the flight Shit. will enjoy a safe landing due to the cabin being pressed. But that didn't stop the passengers from hounding the scene with their phones and snapping pictures. Can you blame them though? That's a pretty close call. Jeez. Number two. We all know that the two scariest times for passengers during a flight is a takeoff and landing. This, of course, is just as daunting to the pilots. That said, if these two situations were to ever coincide with each other, you'll see a situation similar to what happened in Newark, New Jersey in oh 2014. My. Two planes were less than just 400 feet vertically and 150 feet horizontally apart from each other, leading to a few moments of panic amongst the pilots. This too close for comfort distance could have easily been avoided if the plane taking off had done so when reported that it was ready for takeoff, which is when the plane in air would have been three miles away. One of the pilots could only manage to describe it as real close, but I would have loved to hear what a passenger of the flight had to say if they were aware of, of the situation. Yeah. <laughs> Number one. Not this stock footage. In April 2018, a Southwest Airlines customer was blown out of her seat when an engine blew what? and shattered Fuck her cabin that. window. Oh. It was said that the fan blade suffered metal fatigue, which ultimately led to the engine's destruction. Although our hearts are heavy for her family's loss, this incident resulted in a total recall where a major flaw was discovered in the cabin decompression mechanism of the entire Boeing 737 fleet. This oh being the first God. loss of life. Wait, did she get sucked Airlines out the window? The yeah, bro, bro, she ain't surviving, man. How's she gonna survive that? Oh my. Bro, she fully got sucked out. Why are you saying that kind of way? What, what do you mean? No, no, I'm not saying any sus way, bro. She just got sucked <laughs> out. Yeah, it's fine. Out of the plane, yeah. My, bro, imagine, what are you thinking? You're just in the seat of your plane. I mean, what? In the seat. In I'd find a crying plane. baby and I'd, I'd pee at the window to make sure it like, blocks out the window. <laughs> Before I get sucked up, give me that baby, fam. <laughs> give me that baby. Hey, your man's hotel back him in this shit. Come here. What the fuck? Oh my God. Grab the tea. Hey, right, yo, I'm taking you with me. I, was, I know, I was trying to use the baby as a plug on the window, like to. Oh. Not, not chuck it out the window, not take it with me. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. I mean, that's probably a smart idea. I'm not gonna yeah. keep that the baby into the air. <laughs> Plug the hole. <laughs> it was also what got the Boeing crew to get their stuff together and ensure the safety of all future passengers. Yeah, I, I hope if um if I die a hilarious way, or if it's not a hilarious way, people make jokes of it. Like I wouldn't want people to take to take my death seriously. You know what I mean? They can take it seriously, bro. Nah, man. If I get a heart attack, I want you to make jokes about it. Be like, bro. I, I don't think we can. I guess he really was a fat neek. I don't think. Yeah, maybe you read it well. I don't think Cal Simon Sunday would be like, oh, yep. He was a fat leak after all. <laughs> we'll we told we'll him to lose weight. Alright, bless. Alright, calm, sweet. And they have to be funny, okay? <laughs> you right. can't and fucking pussy out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go to the next one. We're going to go to the next one. We're going to go to the next one. We'll do it, you laugh, you lose if you're ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Hey, your mama's got money, 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 your money, your money, your money. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Sad Men Reacts, where today we are reacting to the 10 biggest houses in the world. Basically, we're looking for a new side men house because we're going to go I back. I haven't even introduced you yet, mate. They don't even oh, know you're here. Okay, hello. It's just me right now. <laughs> Damn. I'm here. I'm here. Damn, Toby. Josh, Josh is here. Smoke. <laughs> Man's on smoke. 
was but as I was saying, we're, look, we're, we're looking, we're looking for some new Simon houses because we're gonna move in together again. I would actually love that. I missed out on that whole thing, man. We're doing all seven of us in a huge house. Hey, yo, we should all just have a massive orgy. Oh, here it goes again. You that was. Why do you guys do this, bro? bro? We just like in the living. So this room. is why I moved out. You see. <laughs> JJ, play the video. That's why Simon stayed with you, I guess. <laughs> A volatile real estate market has made most people cautious about buying a home. But for the ultra-rich, opulent real estate is a must. These homes redefine the meaning of luxury, with amenities fit for royalty and price tags that royalty. restrict these homes to individuals with well over a billion dollars. From French uh -huh. chateaus to uh -huh. Indian Jeez. mega towers, these homes sprawl to unimaginable sizes. Today, we are counting down the top 10 biggest houses in the world. Ah, I'm obsessed with houses right now. Antilia. Mukesh Ambani is one of the wealthiest people in the world and holds the title of India's richest man oh, with I a know. net worth of more than $40 billion. Oh. Hence, it doesn't come as a surprise that his residence Ow. in Mumbai is a mansion worth a whopping $2 billion. As Fuck you do. Antilia, the Ambani residence is the most sought after house in the coastal city of Mumbai. And is it is the whole world's most expensive house, according to some reports. The Antilia is so huge and grand that it's visible throughout Mumbai. Wait, it's the, the house. It's the whole thing. The whole also a major door. attraction thing, for its odd and uneven shape. The building reaches is 550 feet with over 400,000 square feet of interior space against the Mumbai skyline, boasting several huh? rooftops and helipads. Quite the structure was designed by American-based architects on 48,000 square feet of land in downtown South Mumbai. The building's right. construction took four years to That's complete. A house. There are three helipads on the roof, <laughs> an do? entire floor three. dedicated to servicing Ambani's many cars, a health floor with a Hey, your mama's got money, money. Ice room for the family to experience money, oh money, oh money, oh money. Bro, his money's floors, got money. Out of which six are reserved for <laughs> huh? that can What's that? Up to That's his car park. Cars. Among what? many other indulgences, Damn. the house has four dedicated He's rooms for Batman. gardens, where residents Jesus. can go to relax. It is certainly an impressive property. What the... Hey, yo, I'm loving this music. The Biltmore Estate is an enormous <laughs> private home and tourist attraction. Bro, in hey, Nashville, yo, that's, that. the that's a castle. The main is a oh chateau-esque style mansion built by George Washington Vanderbilt II between 1889 and 1895 and is the largest privately Whoa. owned house in the United States at 178,926 oh, square feet oh of floor God. space and 135,280 square feet of living area. Huh. Still owned by George Vanderbilt's descendants, it remains one of the most prominent examples of the Gilded Age architecture. George Washington right. Vanderbilt II was an heir to the Vanderbilt fortune, which was amassed through steamboats, railroads, and various business enterprises. Construction of the house began in 1889 and continued well into 1896. In order to facilitate such a large project, a woodworking factory and brick kiln, which produced 32,000 bricks a day, were built on site, and a three-mile railroad spur was constructed to bring materials to the building site. Mm. Construction on the main house required the labor of well over 1,000 workers and 60 Men. stone masons. Oh. Vanderbilt went on extensive Whoa. buying trips overseas as construction on the house was in progress. He returned to North Carolina with thousands of furnishings for his newly built home, including tapestries, hundreds of carpets, prints, linens, and decorative objects, all <laughs> dating between the 15th ridiculous. century and the late 19th century. Bro, Jesus. this is number nine. Did they get bigger or is it just like... I think it's... Because one's ten. Gets we might be getting smaller, you know? But the first one was bigger than this one. The first one was two billion. I think it's just, it's just top ten. It's like there's ten of them. It's okay. not in order. Okay, all right, cool. And the estate is valued at about $300 million. <laughs> <laughs> According to Forbes, Joseph Safra is the second richest Brazilian and the world's richest banker with a net worth of $15.9 billion. He heads the banking and investment empire Safra Group. The Safras are one of the most prominent Brazilian families. At their magnificent estates in Sao Paulo, Brazil, business deals are sealed for massive sums. Family affairs have always been conducted far from the spotlight's glare. The three that brothers never betrayed now, you know? any hint of internal conflict that mm. is bound to exist with family ventures in massive financial dealings. They have a policy of resolving differences by coming to mutual resolution, always within the family, away from public scrutiny. That's Though good. the Safra palaces are not open, yeah, one, those close to the family <laughs> describe them as extraordinary. Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, it was there. Yep. It was too easy. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, sorry. no. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I heard that loud and clear, Toby. <laughs> Even by the standards of Sao Paulo's community of millionaires, this Californian-style residence spreads over a vast area of 230,000 square meters. It comprises 103 rooms, 24 of which are bedrooms. With you imagine hide and seek one of those 103 rooms to search. House also nah, bro. Beautiful if you make me the fucking seek, I'm gonna be. Pissed, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Or if you're hiding, you'll just go to the kitchen and start eating and then fall asleep. Yeah, but yeah, then you're it... gonna find the room with the best signal and just sit on your phone and then fall asleep. That's what you play you're Dragon Ball Z. That's what you're gonna do. I don't even play Dragon Ball Legends anymore, man. I'm sorry, is what it? What are you playing too now? Cool now? These days? I'm actually just playing with my dick. <laughs> Alright. For fuck's sake. 
Because it's cheaper. In addition to its renowned feature, a $3 million heated marble driveway. And you the just, no, you just don't. The driveway's why heated. The driveway you heated. don't need that, bro. You have to sleep on the driveway. Hey, I guess it stows there a lot, it makes sense. Yeah, but what's this being like Africa or some shit? Like, <laughs> no, I think it's, this is in Sao Paulo. This is like the Brazilian. Oh, bro, it's snow in, it's it's snow in Brazil. Snow in Brazil. Uh, to make sure, no, just to make sure the cars are warm, you know what I mean? Cars have feelings. Million <laughs> dollar heated marble driveway. And of course, a house this big does not lack for a swimming pool. There are five swimming pools in the mansion, including right. an infinity pool. And if swimming mm. is not your sport of choice, mm. the house also includes a it's fully not. automated oh, yes, no. bowling alley, a squash board, and a yes, tennis no. court. Yes, if no. all oh, that's bro. not enough, this giant ah! mansion includes a customizable cinema okay. with a 50 seat capacity as well. Okay. The estate is valued at $138 million. Understood. Understood. Wittenhurst, London's largest private house, was built between 1913 and 1920 hey. on an 11 plot in Highgate, a wealthy hilltop neighborhood north of the city center. First owned by Arthur Crossfield, an English soap magnate, the mansion was designed in the Queen Anne style. Wait, wait, and he, contained he made soap? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And was able to... Mad. Hey, we're, in the wrong, we're in the wrong industry, lads. You know what I mean? What, what, what you forget is everyone, everyone needs soap. Not everyone <laughs> needs a hide and seek video. Yeah, oh, shit. You have to go, you have to make something everyone needs. Alright, I'm gonna start making my own soap, but it'll smell like me. Hmm. Yeah, so no one's gonna want that. No, 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 no but it won't, it won't smell like, like, it'll smell like certain parts of me. Oh. So oh. It'll smell oh. like my dick juice. Yeah, there we go. He's at it again. He's just woke up on crud every day. <laughs> you know, like, the juice that you get from under the gooch? Just... Oh, just, we're talking about, talking about fucking mansions over here, bro. <laughs> what, what, what's happened? <laughs> You're from soap into like dick juice. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, is why, this is why we can't ever get an American audience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is why we're just stuck here. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not well. I'm not well. The views from its gardens over Hampstead Hearth and across the capital were among the Wait, loveliest from in the London. Sticks. For decades, Did you go back? Did you say Hampstead Hearth? The views from its gardens over Hampstead Hearth and across the capital? Yeah. <laughs> Hampstead Hearth. Hampstead Heath, Hampstead Hearth. Heath. <laughs> okay were among the loveliest in London. <laughs> For decades, did. parties at Wittenhurst attracted potentates and royals. Look, massive orgy, JJ. Elizabeth, the future queen. Wittenhurst Jeez, was bought the by the family of the Jeez. Russian billionaire Andre Guryev through an offshore company called Saffron Holdings, located in the tax haven uh, of the Andre, British can we do hide and seek there, what? please, lad? Yeah, yeah, that, uh, please. That's what we call it, biggest house in the UK. In the UK, hide and seek. But then after that, then how do we level up? Let's do hide and seek in other weird places and from that point onwards. Yeah, just weird places, not big places. I want to do one in a tube station. Okay, hide and seek in uh, a political place. That's the <laughs> Is that the title? Uh, hide, hide and seek. Hide and seek in, in a political place. No, no, hide and seek in the House of Parliament. No, no, bang, you know. I'd do that. I'd yeah, do that. It would do well. Yeah, it would do well. Located in the tax haven of the British Virgin Islands for fifty million pounds in two thousand eight, it has sixty-five rooms spread across three floors, including Ooh. twenty-five bedrooms. Ooh. One of the largest is the ballroom, Ooh. measuring seventy feet long. I appreciate hide, hide and seek. Looking at it, it has oak flooring. <laughs> And the timber wall panels are in wall. <laughs> bro, I can hide. In the, hide. I can hide in that little corner, you know, on the, the left. There, bro. Just lie on the floor, Just like you can't see me. Bro, you, you ain't gonna see me. You're gonna be like, oh, I don't see anything because I'm brown <laughs> and it's brown, so I'll just camouflage. So you'd be oh, naked, so. essentially. I'll do what I have to do. For the hide and seek <laughs> 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 For sake. Other rooms are the drawing room, study, entrance hall, and staircase. And most of the bedrooms are all in an opulent classical style. Other richly decorated rooms include the dining room, Chinese room, billiard room, and the gallery hallway. Access to the Wait, property the, is via the Chinese a room. <laughs> China. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's via a three-fingered gatehouse. When remodeling is complete, right. it will spread Wait. over 90,000 huh? square feet. Second in size huh? only. Wait, well, hold on. What was that? Look, look at the car lift on the left-hand side as well. Oh my God. Jesus. Fuck. All right, can we do a hide and seek there? All right, Andre, please. Hey, Andre! Bro, they got a two-tier cinema. What? <laughs> There's a hair Second salon. Size only to Why the fuck? Palace. Wow. Versailles. David Siegel wow. made his money in timeshares, but ironically, when it came time for his own place, he decided to build the property. In fact, he's still building 10 years later and is not quite finished. 
By some estimates, his Versailles will be the single largest residence in the country at around 90,000 square feet. Ooh. The name is an apt choice as it's modeled on the famous French palace and it's indeed palatial. The waterfront estate on a 10 acre Lake Butler Peninsula with almost a mile and a half of shoreline is scheduled to have all the usual bells and whistles. Two theaters, <laughs> 10 kitchens, a 20 car garage, okay. two elevators, okay. three pools, okay. and a bowling alley, all indoor right. roller rink, right. and arcade. I think we need to do Beach. more side vent channels. Can we make some more side vent channels, please? We can't have, I don't think at the current rate, I'm not, we have to get this house. <laughs> I don't know. Give, maybe, what, 80 years? 80 Happy years? In 80 you think I've got 80 years left? Yeah, no, you, we got 80, bro. I'd be 108. Uh, yeah, and then we can enjoy life. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> then it'll be so, I, so I shit myself daily, but as long as I got a big house. <laughs> Now you'll be on a USB drive by then, bro. <laughs> True, actually. It's very possible. I've got my Neuralink installed. I'll probably like install some new languages to my head. Wait, why are you, you're going to install a house in yourself? What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, because you installed the memory of it. They did it to snails before. What? What? So, scientists have been experimenting with snails and they've been installing memories and deleting memories from them. Bad. Oh, poor snails. I don't know how, the, how do you know that the snail remembers it or not? I don't understand. <laughs> oh my god. At a cost of $4 million, <coughs> exterior walls are precast concrete with Papadazzo marble veneer. The entryway will feature a 30-foot stained glass domed oculus, and the residents will have 10 staff quarters, each with a jacuzzi and a kitchen. The 13-bedroom home is expected to sell for more than $100 million when construction is finally complete. The project will be the fourth most expensive home in the United States. My Whoa. God. Wow. The world's next largest home is Via Leopolda, located on the French Riviera of France. It has a total of eight hectares in land, what is equivalent to eight football fields. The house was built for the Belgian King Leopold II, who paid one franc for the land in 1902. In 1915, huh? it became what? a hospital, and later in 1950, it was bought by Giovanni Agnelli, owner of the Italian car brands Fiat and Ferrari. Later on, the banker Jeez. Edmund Safra bought the house, but after his tragic death, the mansion was owned by his widow, Lily, which she eventually sold to Prokhorov. Oh, Via Leopolda is currently owned by a Russian tycoon, yeah. Mikhail Prokhorov, who bought the mansion for 300 million euros on August 8, 2008. The mansion is located in the hills of villefranc sur mer and beaulieu sur mer a few kilometers from the Mediterranean city of Nice. It has a garden of almost eight hectares with different olive, lemon, and orange trees that require more oh, than fuck. 50 full-time workers to take care of it. The mansion, amongst others, has a room of 400 square meters and 12 pools. The main house Whoa. contains 19 pools. deluxe rooms, 14 bathrooms, Why? antique furniture, and terraces. You can also find sports courts, a bowling alley, and even a movie theater. As expected, it also contains valuable marble and old period artwork. It's been featured in many TV shows and has appeared in Forbes magazine, as it's considered one of the most important properties in the history of Europe. That is nuts. The one. The one. <laughs> That's How shopping it. millionaires can almost always have their pick when it comes to real estate, whether it's a sprawling Georgia manor or a space in a ritzy DC suburb. But a new mega mansion recently hit the market with a price tag only the super rich can afford, $500 million. <laughs> When it goes on sale, it would become the most expensive oh, home in the United though. States, oh, including oh, the Chartwell Estate, known as the setting of the Beverly Hillbillies, and currently on the market for $350 million. Sweeping in every direction it's is a panoramic the one. view of Los Angeles and the Pacific yeah, Ocean. So Beneath so the main nuts. building is a gargantuan glass and marble residence with moats, oh, four swimming pools, 20 oh, bedrooms, a nightclub, a bowling alley, it's got a nightclub circle, in it. and walls and ceilings made oh, of jellyfish God. aquariums. The developer bought the lot, which included a 10,000 square foot house for $28 million in 2012. Six years and lots of bulldozers later, a 105,000 square foot behemoth fills the site. LA has since tightened building regulations, so another home on this scale is unlikely. This was a huge gamble for the developer, and seven years later, he still hasn't found a buyer. However, the one surprised. is certain to be someone's dream home someday. Yeah. I need to hit them up. That could be that could be an American holiday video, bro. Imagine. One billion Chinese yuan, or $149 million. This mansion is the most expensive home ever sold in mainland China. The 1,663-acre estate is named Taohua Yuan, which translates to Utopia, or Peace Blossom sick. Land. Located on a private Jesus. island on the city of Suzhou's Dushu Lake, it comes complete with 32 bedrooms, a cavernous huh. wine cellar, a lakeside swimming pool, and breathtaking gardens by the UNESCO World Heritage Bro, Site. Bro, imagine this the type of music videos you could do here. Holy fuck! Yes, you can. You think? You can hire it out, man. You got money. To rent it out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you haven't got to buy it to do a video though. UNESCO World yeah. Heritage Site. This record-breaking home is surrounded by Dushu Lake and covers a staggering 1,663 acres. Traditional Chinese Damn. landscaping gives this three-year-old home a heightened sense of age and grandeur. All 32 bedrooms are south-facing for optimal sunlight. The 72,441 square foot mansion took three years to build, and all brickwork was handcrafted by Changshan Bang traditional architectural and building workers. 
The interior is equally as spectacular, with a beautiful wine cellar which looks large enough to store a lifetime supply of alcohol. Because of China's privacy laws, no one knows exactly who owns this incredible mansion, Man. but it's certain that they have money oh, to man, burn. That's sick. I love how he could pronounce their name so well, but he couldn't say Hensmore is one of the largest <laughs> yeah, no, it's weird, isn't it? states. He practiced that one as well. The Ozark Mountains near Highlandville, Missouri, that spreads more than 72,000 square feet, Ooh. reaches five stories, contains 14 baths, 13 bedrooms, has exterior walls 12 inches thick, and was designed like to survive earthquakes, That's tornadoes, the same and bomb blasts, and whose construction though. lasted from 2008 to 2016. With its owner Stephen T. Huff telling the Kansas City Star in 2015 that the house should stand for 2,000 years, Huff says the house will withstand an earthquake. Quake, bomb blast, and a direct hit from an F5 tornado. Whoa, Turrets reaching high from that Christian what? County mountaintop practically spit in the eye of the twister. This is how homes, hospitals, schools, and retirement facilities should be built, he says. Seen for miles in all directions, this mountain crescendo, one of the largest houses in America, reaches into the Ozark sky like a mix of Bro, French chateau. It looks, it looks hella lonely, though. Well, you have all your friends there, I guess. That's a different. You have to like, yeah. live with your whole family and friends. Imagine living in that yard on your own. That'd be the most depressing shit. You have to be like your alone time, I think. A herd of exotic hogs roam the surrounding woods, and rumors about secret tunnels just thicken the plot. Conspiracy exotic theories hogs. abound that this property will be used by the Illuminati in the case That's of the apocalypse. On the roof. That's sick of yeah. Fat failed. Junk bond billionaire Ira Rennert has a massive house in the Hamptons. It's also pretty controversial. The business mogul, who Forbes says is worth $5.9 billion, was cool. recently in court defending Shoot the funding of his money. Sagaponyak estate. Representatives of a now-defunct mining business he used to own claimed he looted the company to build it, and in late February, he was ordered to pay back at least $118 million in damages. But the mansion, constructed for about $110 million but now valued at closer to $400 million, uh. has been the center of a number of controversies since Rennert built it in the 1990s. The estate it actually includes four different houses for a total of 110,000 square feet. The main house alone has 29 bedrooms, 39 bathrooms, a basketball court, movie theater, and bowling alley. In addition to three swimming pools and miles Jeez, of private shoreline, different. there's a hot tub valued at more than $150,000. The oh property taxes alone are $650,000 every year, more than oh enough to buy incredible homes somewhere property else. Tax? The fuck? Well, they just hate on tax a year. $650,000 a year? Well, don't don't you have to pay stamp duty? Yeah, but that's when you buy the house. Yeah, this this is he pays it every year, just property tax. Do we have that in the UK? What? Unless that means like council we tax. We got council like... tax, council tax. Yeah, 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 yeah. Six hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, bro. <laughs> right, but well, we need to get we need to, get to work, so we need to make some more videos. So we probably out of this one now. Bro, what the fuck? Oh my god. That is too much. That's too much money. Yeah, that, that is... is too much money. What the fuck? Two percent of the problem. <laughs> Sugar, salt. What calcium, is all of this shit? Sorbic acid, calcium, phosphate. Hey, yo, America! Hangovers, I America, man. Did they just get a pot and go, yeah, fuck it? Welcome back to Simon Reacts today. Myself, Toby, JJ, and Ethan are reacting to Food Wars again, but this time we're talking Domino's. Oh, yeah. We're gonna see the difference between the UK and the US Domino's. When at the old Simon houses, bro. Everyday Domino's, bro. Yep. Everyday Domino's, yeah, bro. Was, Anytime was, we came Sideman House, Domino's, bro. Domino's. <laughs> Domino's. <laughs> I, Domino's. Don't even, I don't remember this. What? What? Simon. What? Sideman House. All, Chi all, all Chinese. Chinese Maybe. was a shout. Ooh. Bro, it was so funny. See, but this <laughs> is the thing, but Ethan and, Ethan and Toby are like, yeah, all the times we bro, were there. Bro, it was. Like, Anytime we came over much. for a shoot. Yeah, but you weren't there that much. <laughs> no, I we did, bro. I remember. Hey, Simon, you know I spent two and a half bags? Every month coming to the Sideman house on that lease before I had a car. You're a baller. I was from Rom Thanks. from Rom you gotta remember, from I Romford little... to Chiswurst, bro. You, you gotta remember, I I might not have even seen you when you came out. I had my little gremlin at it. True, 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 true. true. Bro, you gotta gremlin listen, bro. It. I listen. I need compensation for those years, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Who do, who do no, I hit hey, for? Hey, hey, yo, nah. When are we gonna get our dividends, fam? Hey, hey, Josh. Hey, Josh. Start the video. <laughs> right, portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Domino's Pizza in the UK and the US. This is Food Wars. 
Oh, margarita. This is the smallest oh, pizza you can actually... get in the UK. It's called an individual, and yeah. it measures seven inches across. Oh, called personal. Our smallest is... I can get a brown pound at uni, bro. And Here it, it is. is called personal. Oh, shit, I forgot to say. Do you know what someone clocked last time we watched this guy? Bro, what? he looks like Mr. Beast with long gray hair, bro. Watch now. Watch. You'll clock it wow. now. In diameter, 10 inches. The next size up is a small, which measures 9.5 inches. That's the small. The next size up for the US bro. is our Look medium, which is 12 it's inches. Mr. Beast, bro. I, I don't see it, it, bro. It's Mr. Beast, bro. This is 11.5 inches. Why do we lose half an inch? Half an inch is very well, important in life. I mean, we aren't as big as America. Ours actually look nicer, by the way. I just want to put it out there. Ours look like they've got a little bit more pizzazz. A little bit probably, more. Probably probably love ha, 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 it's, ha, ha. it's probably because more we... Pizza. Did you like what I did? Yeah, yeah very nice. It's probably Track because got less salt. Salt doesn't change size. <laughs> right. oh, I'm talking about how it looks. <laughs> Salt really changes More, the appearance. I, well, I mean, Maybe I an just, extra inch, a half inch of salt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to be honest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I grabbed the slice. I'm starving. This pizza smells so good. I skipped breakfast. I didn't see the Mr. Beast thing, bro. Uh, yeah, next I, I don't see it. Next up for the I US mean. is our large, which is a 14 inch diameter. Oh, that's 14 oh, inch. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, Bro, look, ours looks nicer, isn't it? Look nice. at the way they cut your large pizza, Harry. It's ridiculous. Look at that. <laughs> and not to be outdone, the US has one more size, the extra large. Oh, diameter 16 inches. Oh, oh, look at the middle. Look Ooh. at the size of this thing. That's just Ooh. crazy. That's, that's look at a 2.5 inch difference might that's not sound like sober. a lot, but if you factor that into the surface area, it's actually 58 square inches oh. wider than the UK's largest pizza, Fuck which is up. almost a third of an increase. Oh my God. Am I looking at this right? Is it supposed to be six slices? It's six slices. That can't be right. Bro, you remember when we used to always say Domino sweats, doesn't it, bro? Dom like you get your Domino, <laughs> bro, Domino oh, yeah, sweats, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like you get the box, bro. That box is sweating, bro. Oh, oh, so look at look at by his hand, right by his hand. That <laughs> is sweating. And, but the thing is you go Pete's Hut or something like that. It don't sweat as much, bro. What are you doing, Domino's? Why does it sweat? <laughs> what? Well, Domino's is apparently the saltiest. It has the highest salt percentage. Out any takeaway in the UK. Sodium Royale. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Half inch. It's just salt. In the US, <laughs> at a Domino's, an extra go. large piece of cost <laughs> a very reasonable so, so. $13.99. $14 for <gasps> extra large. Jesus, no wonder. No wonder they're so that fucking. Wait, for extra is large? 201 square inches, which breaks down to roughly seven cents an inch? That's yes. ridiculous. That's. that's, that's why? Either. Why? I would be fucking huge if I was. Bro, bro, we would all be fucking huge. Bro, I would be. I wouldn't. Me. I wouldn't be boxing at all. Bro, imagine like 2016 English Bazinga. Imagine if 2016 US Bazinga, bro. bro I would be man. monumentally bro, 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 massive, bro. bro. You'd be. You'd be on those docks, bro. Bro, I'd be alive. Bro, I'd be leaking, bro. You'd be on TLC, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Your mum would be sneaking you in pizzas to the hospital. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Secret. He's only been eating what you told us, doctor. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm fucking hiding pieces of pizza in my fucking roll. Look at roll. these crumbs. <laughs> oh, man. 13 99 will only get you a small pizza in the UK. Respect. Oh, a small soft. pizza is 9.5 no. inches across. Looking and that gives it a surface no. area yeah. of 71 square inches. Now, if you divide the $13.69 price tag by He's the having... 71, uh -oh. you find out that you're actually paying 19 cents per square inch. Oh. <laughs> Ultimately, it means that if you went into a US and a UK Domino's with $13.99 to spend, you'd be able to get more than double the pizza for your money in the US <laughs> store. Damn. He's Vic. He is still Vic. <laughs> yeah. More than double. Let's compare large Galleries. cheese pizzas in the two countries. This is what a UK large cheese looks like. And this is what a large properly cut Domino's <laughs> cheese pizza looks like Damn. in the US. It's the cut shots. into 10 pieces, and each slice contains 176 calories. That means that what? in total, the pizza in the UK is 1,700 calories. Jesus Christ! Instead of 10, we got eight slices. That uh. means each slice is roughly two. Oh, it! The whole pizza, 2,200 oh, calories. And according to the thing that was written for me, that is almost 480 calories more wow. than the UK large. But why is that exactly? Let's see if we can get any clues from the ingredients. Oh, have you seen the thing on? Have you seen the thing on TikTok? So see these like see air bubbles in pizza, 
Apparently they contain like dangerous gas, so you're meant to pierce all of the air pockets on your pizza oh, and cut no, them off man, at least. That, that's BS. Bro, if you're yes. eating this, you may as well accept the gas. Do you know what? You're absolutely correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah fuck it. Which is the dough. In the UK, the dough is made of wheat flour, made this a wheat and milk premix, rapeseed oil, right water, and <laughs> yeast. <laughs> yes, but here in the US, our dough is made of enriched flour, wheat. Oh, God. I hate reading this stuff. Enriched flour, which is wheat flour, iron, thiamine, mononitrate, niacin, riboflavin, iron, niacin, what the fuck? acid, what the fuck? Two percent of the flour. <laughs> Sugar, salt, whey, There's the salt. maltodextrin, dextrose, dough conditioners such as sodium. What is all of this shit? Lexa what? what the fuck? The screen. You read it out loud. Damn, bro. Enzymes. Calcium, salt, hey, yo. sorbic acid, calcium, phosphate, hey, yo, America! For hangovers I hear. America, Yeast man. And cornmeal. Did they just get a pot and go, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. No, legit. Hey, yo, what, you got some iodine? Yeah, fuck it, put that in. Yeah, uh, bro. What, you oh. want some of that L16? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> wow. Wait, let me look at the periodic <laughs> table. Hey. Let me... <laughs> hey, fuck it. Just hey. taking random shit elements from the periodic table. Yeah, As corbic acid in this bitch. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, much different. A lot more chemicals. <laughs> Who saw that coming? <laughs> How about the cheese? Oh, Domino's okay. in the UK refers to its cheese simply as mozzarella, oh. and it's mostly because the ingredients are just that. <laughs> in the US, oh, no. Domino's go. doesn't go. Go. possibly can't call their cheese mozzarella. Instead, they refer to it as pizza cheese. So, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Part skimmed mozzarella cheese, okay. Pat, which is pasteurized milk, cultures, salt, enzymes. Cultures, you cultures. How do you put cultures, cultures into cheese? You can't just put black cultures into a oh cheese. God. What the fuck's oh going God. on? Just put the Let me just put it's heritage in the in cheese. <laughs> Bro, listen, it's only got white culture in there. They use salt. Come on, come on now. Oh my God, I said heritage in the cheese. It's just white. It's just white culture, bro. They put salt in it. Come on now. Black lives matter. Just put in the cheese. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Cellulose, 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 milk, whey protein what? concentrate, what? natural flavors, whey non protein, non-fat milk, just so you're healthy. Prop ioni. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Prop ioni. Uh. Now let's look at the pepperoni. Most of the ingredients yeah, in US surely. and UK pepperoni are actually Simon's favorite similar. pepperoni pasta. No, stop it. Dextrose, <laughs> spices, sodium nitrite, citric acid, flavorings, and starter culture. Oh. oh, you know wait, the wait, only wait, difference wait, is that our pepperoni contains pepperoni. beef. Wait, he has just said that pepperoni contains beef. Wait, yeah, he, he there is beef written there. <laughs> wait, in just, oh, wait, pepperoni, is, zoom in to the beef. Pepperoni contains beef. <laughs> Do you know what they're gonna do, bro? They're gonna start listing horse and stuff like that. Remember? <laughs> Can you rewind it like five seconds? You know, the only difference is that our pepperoni contains beef. Also, preservatives, butyhydrate, oh hydrolazanase, and butyhydrate, blah, 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 blah. BHA and BHT. And beef. I can't pronounce them. What animal are they making? Do they breed pigs and cows together and then. They probably put a bit of dolphin in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's <laughs> lost his rag. He's lost his rag. <laughs> I, I, but I don't know, man. Hey, yo, we, they, it's, in it, there, bro. it's pizza meat. That's what, <laughs> pizza meat and pizza cheese. <laughs> hey, yo, America, man. You're a little different. Um, They're bad. You know. It turns out BHA and BHT are actually subject to restrictions in the European Union and can't so be added illegal, to foods yeah. such no, as... No, no, no. We're not, we're not in the EU no studies more, Studies have shown that BHA can cause tumours in rats and is therefore reasonably anticipated <laughs> when it does what? the rest of the screen. <laughs> oh, well. oh, man. I'm gonna die doing what I love. <laughs> Eating banned chemicals. Mm. <laughs> we reached out to Domino's to get some clarity on the pepperoni situation. We got our info from their <clears throat> ingredients webpage. However, when we checked with them, they told us that their information was incorrect, and they've updated <laughs> it since to say that BHA and BHT have now been removed from the pepperoni. I think this happened at some point during 2018. They couldn't say exactly when, but Joe, it sounds like you're okay after all. Oh, nice. I'm sure he doesn't care, man. <laughs> you think fuck? Yeah. Oh, let's go!
Exclusive. Here are all the items you can only find on the menu at a UK Domino's. Oh. And here are all the things oh, you can only get gosh. at a US Domino's. What's your favorite side from UK Domino's? Uh, chicken strip. Chick Mine's the chicken kickers. kickers. Yeah, Mine's the kickers. kickers. Oh, kickers are good too. I think Oh, the wings. Oh, JJ loved yeah, the wings. Right. That was expected. He doesn't, no, he doesn't that was order expected. the pizza. He doesn't yeah, he just gets really hella wings, don't you? Yeah, yeah a lot of times, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I will say, though, that American brownie on the left looks like it's talking to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, it looks like yeah, it's bro. got mold on. I didn't know Domino's did brownies like that, bro. I'm Ethan, don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. Ah, I got a little fucking semi coming on now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's start with the pizza itself. So, firstly, oh. it's the crust options. Now, in the UK, we can actually get stuffed crust, but what we've gone for here is the Italian-style crust. Apologies mm. to the country of Italy. No one orders one. this. No. Now, the Italian yeah, no, crust it's always is basically stuffed. the same dough, but just it's thinner and therefore a bit mm -hmm. more yeah. crispy. There are a few toppings that you, you can only get on your pizza else. in the UK. <laughs> These include <laughs> some options we've got here, like <laughs> meatballs, sweet corn, and red onion. But that's not all. You can I'm also hungry. get things like Catalan Bro, chicken, I was just which is a chicken <laughs> in the <laughs> I was just about to say, yeah, I am fucking starving. <laughs> Paprika spice. You can get tandoori chicken, which is Eat. chicken with some Indian spice blends. And yes, you can bit. also get tuna on your pizza. Whoa, wait, did he say Fuck tuna? No. Tuna on a pizza? <laughs> no, no way. Cultures, man. So this right here mm -hmm. is a pizza that has everything you can only get at a US Domino's. First of all, the crust. It is our thin Brooklyn style crust. So then. tomato sauce, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> that reminded me of the soldier boy, Drake. <laughs> then, <laughs> then. Uh, we got banana peppers on here, salami, feta cheese, uh, and also Parmesan and cheddar. Oh, Parmesan. This should be known as the U.S. only. Like Pizza Hut should have this on the menu, and you go, "Give me the U.S. only." Surely, this is the pizza they give menu. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did he, did he make a mistake? Yeah, he, he messed He's up, he messed up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> don't get this. Brilliant. <laughs> America's too lit, you know, they don't care, bro. Yeah, bro. Bro, yeah, they just that. exist in them vibes, bro. They don't give a fuck what they're doing. <laughs> How have you messed it up? The whole video is in there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was like, hold bro, on. Bro, no brain, just vibes. <laughs> That's what they're on, bro. <laughs> Grab a slice, see what you think. So here are some UK sides that you won't find oh. on the menu at a US Domino's. Let's go. First of all, we've got the garlic cheesy bread, chicken kickers, Ooh. which are just like Bang nuggets Come with on. a spicy coating. Pretty recently, they've added mm. these poppin' chicken bites to the menu. Ooh. Which they kind of similar to those. KFC's popcorn. You know, I haven't chicken. had Domino's in so long, you can I didn't also know they get existed. chicken strippers, which are just yeah. kind of like yeah. chicken tenders. Potato wedges, if you wanted some like potato well. options to go with the pizza. I fucking hate their potato wedges. a tub of Disgusting. Disgusting. I don't think we have garlic no, cheese, but we bread. do have this, which is like a stuffed oh, cheese that? bread. Also, the side, they have these uh, chicken pieces. Oh. And then these right over here, these Parmesan cheese kind of bread knots. Those all look a lot worse than ours. Also, yeah, I think it's yeah. pretty cool. This Domino's will hook you up with a side of grated Parmesan. That's pretty nice. Oh, that's cool. Chicken oh, carbonara, wow. which is a uh, pasta like dish, but it looks like oh, obviously chicken, uh, bits of. It's a. Bro, it looks like dog food. Bro, remember when we went and did the Russia episode and they made the food, bro? That belongs oh there, bro. <laughs> that belongs there, bro. You're a pizza restaurant. Put a carbonara back in the bin, bro. It's a bacon, onion. In the US, Domino's offers a lot of different varieties of sandwiches. Um, I just picked one. I got the chicken parm sandwich. Let's take a look at that right there. Look at that chicken parm. How good does that look? Classic garden salad. All right. We found something green on the menu, Whoa. which is nice. Um, Domino's we got tomatoes, <laughs> onions, <laughs> cheese, We had this conversation lettuce, last time. Croutons. In it, um, I, it pisses me off every time. Who cares? Now the default dipping sauce that will come with your oh. pizzas is this garlic and herb oh. dip in the UK. The big one. But there are also oh, a couple stuff. of sauces which are exclusive to the UK. These include a little pop of Frank's red hot sauce. Yeah. And we can also get a honey mustard. The Domino's in the US has their mm -hmm. own exclusive sauces. Uh, this kicker hot sauce. Right. Um, the sweet <laughs> mango habanero sauce. This one is so really hungry. good. Uh, ranch. You guys don't have ranch? Thought ranch. you did. Guess not. Love Blue cheese ranch. dressing. Mm -hmm. And ranch. of course, marinara sauce. And finally, if you're someone with a sweet tooth, yeah. Domino's has some exclusive dessert items to the UK. Firstly, we've got Domino's cookies, which are actually like really good, especially if you get them when they're warm and they kind of stay warm when they rest on the pizza boxes. And then you can also get a range of Ben and Jerry's flavors from. Give me that cookie dough ice cream, bro. Which is cool. Oh. 
And for dessert in the U.S., you can uh, get either these marbled cookie brownies uh, or these chocolate lava cookies. Uh, they also threw in this the sweet pudding. icing. <laughs> I'm sure it's amazing. So you can pour more sugar. Come on, Ethan. All Let it go. You're a new man. Let You're go. a new man. <laughs> Listen, you should find oh, no, someone to look at you the way I'm looking at these puds oh. right now. Oh. 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 That's too much. Stop. Oh my god. Uh, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get this. I'm gonna like eat this whole tray. I gotta get this out of my face. <coughs> I'm ready oh. to destroy these brownies. Oh my god. Wow, I really want that. That was uh. Bro, I would lips those fucking Ooh. chocolate puds. I would make love to those chocolate puds. Oh. So what we learn is America are huge. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. And that uh, you should bring up Pizza Hut if you want Whoa. to do this. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Domino's in the US are trying to kill their 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 people. Allegedly. Right? Allegedly. 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 I'll get you. I'll get you. They're putting in all that acid bro. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Listen, I could market a new acid to them and they'd put it in the pizza, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye. I want to go to a theme park. Exactly, that's what I was saying. <laughs> all right, myself, Harry, Toby, Josh, we all love roller coasters, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Well, this is the 10 scariest roller coasters in history. Whoa. Do you think you've been on any of them before we start? Huh? Do, we, do I think I have been? Yeah, does anyone think they've been on one of them? I highly no. doubt I, re I hope, I, I don't want to have been. Oh, I reckon we all have, actually. Which one? Who's been on the Smiler? Me. I, I, I've been on the Smiler. But is that scary? That's the one. No, I feel like it's going to be. Cool. Yeah, obviously now it's scary. I get that part. Does this one? Is... I want to know if this one counts as a roller coaster. You know the one where we all filmed ourselves in that ball that gets flung into the air. Oh, that like catapult. No, no, I don't think that counts as a roller coaster. No, it's not a roller coaster. No. The Gravity um, Max is a tilt coaster based in Taiwan, and if you want to give it a ride, you might want to bring a spare pair of underwear along oh, with you. Oh. Most coasters start from a stationary position and are then lifted oh, up a slope shit. by a chain lift. So what that means is you pretty much know what you're getting up to and have time to prepare yourself for the eventual Wait, drop. That's sick. Things are a little bit different with that's the Gravity terrifying. Max, though. I will do the platform love to you end it. up on basically tilts forward until it angles the coaster and its occupants at a 90 degree angle before dropping the coaster into a free fall down a long Cold. tunnel in a single loop and a couple of bank yeah, turns. Sick. It's not the, so the coaster is itself terrifying? isn't really that impressive. Well, I guess it's that part is terrifying. You're hanging off a track with nothing left. Which is pretty damn terrifying either way. Yeah, Because it's gravity based, right? What if, it, what if it goes too early? Nah, don't stay there. Yeah, that could be an issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That would be quite, it would be crazy. Yeah. Alrighty, we're doing this. What's this we're one? here on Gravity Max. Oh. This is that. that, was that. Well, why, oh. did, why was that oh. intro in? Oh. The well, Wicked Twister is a dangling coaster, which means that you're sitting in a chair with your legs dangling freely Ooh, beneath you instead yo. of being in a complete Oh, 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 oh I don't know about that. Wicked Twister or Dangler. <laughs> It's supposedly the tallest and fastest dangling coaster in the world. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's not some of the coasters oh, we've got I, on this list, but it is pretty terrifying. Back, you know? Powered by electromagnetics that send pulses of energy into the coaster, it flings riders up a That's long cold. spike, Look. which then allows That's them to fall back down sick. again and then go back up a second I spike. Back oh, so you the back, yeah. back. Yeah. You go backwards and forwards yeah. up two different like, towers. You go up and you're like, whoa. What just happened? You're like, whoa. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? I'm on a roller coaster, lad. A long chain of electromagnets laid that is along sick. the track. Fire That's a sick view at the front. Succession. Yeah, like if you're at the front, if you're at the front, you're winning, yeah. Quickly building speed with every yeah, when you, when you go down as well, left side, you're at the front again. Number eight. The Ultra Twister is a coaster from Spa Land in Nagashima, Japan, and if you ride it, be prepared to get dizzy. What this the coaster heck? goes backwards and forwards through a chain of never-ending spins. What? The ride moves at ending. total of 44 miles per hour and only lasts around a minute and 20 seconds. But in that time, riders are flung through three complete inversions, two of which are experienced backwards Ooh. after a 90-degree vertical climb oh. and an 86-degree drop. So to put that into basic terms, right. you're gonna oh, go God. dizzy. Oh, really oh, oh, that oh, fucks your eyes. <laughs> oh, and then you just go back. Well, he just flings you back and forth. Okay, no, no, that was that. Was, no, I think I'm a bit sick on that one. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, so do you do that same loop that you just. No, I think you go back down another bit. 
I think the tracks. I think the tracks moving behind us. Yeah, look. Oh shit! Wait, what? We're now getting down to like going down a level. Oh. And now you're going backwards as well. Yeah, you go down to next level and do this bit. Ah. 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 Hundred percent. People are gone. <laughs> oh, you're sick though. Let's go to Japan, man. True. The Slingshot is another Cedar Point ride. Oh. Opened in 2014, the Slingshot is less coaster and more well adjusted. Yes. 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 Oh. The new riders are tied into a chair that has two elastic cables attached to it. Well, and those elastic cables um, are actually attached to seven. You did it in a more sketchy place, place, so this is actually the, the Cedar Point. The probably strapped in the capsule. It's yeah, launched up to 100 meters in the air sketchy. at around I can't believe you actually did it. I'd say no, I was like, that was scary. Probably shook me up. Yeah, yeah, unless this one's higher or something, I guess. Even if this one's bigger, the... You know, you're you're scary. Really you're scary for right. safety reasons. This yeah. is scary just based on. This is like, oh, we're going higher up. I was just like, there might be a bolt missing. <laughs> uh, you're, 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 you're trying to say this dodgy iron apple like handmade <laughs> yes. theme park is not. This, have you, you said, said it. This dodgy it's iron handmade theme dodgy park. Dodgy iron apple place. <laughs> And you basically bounce up and down until it comes to a stop. Mm. This ride is literally two pieces of string attached to two really tall towers Have and a ball for people to sit in. And it's pretty freaking yeah, sweet. Yeah, yeah, now, if yeah, you didn't yeah. know, I absolutely hate any sort of ride, whether it be a roller coaster or just a slingshot thing like what we have here. All of you are absolutely insane for wanting to go on roller coasters. It's like you're asking for death. Let me know in the comments if you like is to it? ride on roller coasters or if you hate so them like this me. Is more like I mean, they are so terrifying. Who'd want to go on one? Yeet. Yeet. Do it. Yeet. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, It's so sick. It's so sick. Oh, oh my god. I, I don't know if I'd enjoy it anymore, you know. I think I might have lost my edge on that kind of stuff. Like, I feel like. What are you told now? I'd be shook. I'd be so <laughs> shook. I'd 100% do that again. What did you say, sorry? 100%. I'd 100% do that again. I'll do I want to go to a theme I'll park after COVID, please. I want to go to a new one. I don't want to go to bloody Fort Park again. I know, like, we love Fort Park, don't we? No, I shouldn't say that. But like, I, want, I want new rides. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want to go to a Six Flags in America. Because I've done all the Fort Park rides. Number six. The Stratosphere Hotel in Las Vegas oh, is home to one of the oh, scariest no, rides. No, 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 I've been Vegas no, like no, five times. No, no, it's at 270 oh, meters of the pavement. I mean, riders You'll are see, really dangled out in the open stratosphere above the freaking pavement off the side of a building and then spun around. I really What's crazy see is that in 2005, I would dangling for nearly an hour and a half while the ride mostly. had a fall. Imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging there above Las fair. Vegas waiting for the ride to get fixed. I mean, I guess at least the view would be nice. Oh, ah! Why do you not do this? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is the, I think it's a bit of heights. I'll do it. There's, 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 there's other ride as well, right? That hangs off the edge. Yeah, it's quite as well. That looks so sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Get, get ourselves our little like frozen, what's it called, slushy cocktail things. Get a little bit pissed. Go over to the stratosphere. It'd be no, a great day. No, you do this first, and then you drink to celebrate the fact that you live. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm down. I'm down. Number five. Galactica at Alton Towers in the UK oh. was originally another ride called oh. Air. I've never done this! It's Air. It's Air. It was a fling coaster that had two inversions and traveled at the pretty slow speed of 47 miles per hour. And this ride is no it's different in terms of now, the specs. Though. What changed was the addition of virtual yeah. reality. Everyone's been raving about how VR would revolutionize well, gaming. Roller coaster when and in truth, one of the best the uses for the headsets yeah. has been yeah. on Galactica. They Riders are transported there, through though? space itself via Samsung Gear VR right. headset passing by sites such as Jupiter and the Coupier Bell. What are you saying, Simon? That's so freaking that awesome, man. It's like VR. I don't like it. This is VR when you're actually on the... Like, it's not VR. Yeah, so, so, so I guess the whole point is like... Around, yeah, you go yeah, around but, the road. Uh, to me, that's pointless. You may as well I guess the whole point is it gives you a better... It can move around. It gives you a better, what's it called? Um, environment, I guess. Makes more scary. Makes, makes things look scarier than actually are because... You may as well just get a chair that can move around a load and then wear the VR suit. You have to remember as well is like we're, we're done to have played VR. Like if you, if you never had VR before, that'd be like, and you were going, you only ever get to do it on a roller coaster. That'd be kind of wild. Yeah, I guess. I think there's, I think there's non VR seats though. Surely, right? Let me show you what it looks like on the screens. Oh wait, they're not wearing VR. Yeah, so it's like, oh. down to go. Oh, is it a VR train and non VR train? Then must be. No, they took off. Oh, yeah, just... oh, it's in their hands. I want, to be, I want to see what they're seeing. Yeah, I can't, same. I can't imagine it. So I've been on air it's several bright, times. Very thick ride. Do you reckon that helps your core? Like, do you reckon they came off with like a strong... They got a six pack instantly. <laughs> yeah. Till James and I would be there every day. 
Because it looks like a very, it looks like a kid's roller coaster. Oh, no, it's sick, no, it's sick, it's sick. No, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty decent, yeah. Oh, it was going decent. slow, they even said it was so slow. So I guess roller coasters itself aren't scary it's enough. It's not a fast part. They had to add in the whole serial no, killer aspect to it just to make it that much worse. I saw. saw a ride could be found sure. at Thor Park <gasps> in the UK. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the incredibly well- <laughs> Mate, the UK's cleaning up. We've got loads on this list, I'm loving it. The waiting line that leads up to the ride, all the way to the theming of the ride itself, saw the ride just screams cool. Riders start off going through a dark tunnel filled with a couple of dips and plenty of this props before being forced well. to a slow inversion leading up to a chain link hill. Before you start going up that, Jigsaw has this a message for you. Game just, over. Yeah. Riders then go through <laughs> a steep drop like, ah, saw blades, a couple of Harry, blade Harry turns, and another inversion. <laughs> it's actually pretty damn cool. This is freaking as well. It is very sick. I mean, on, on this lift you hear everyone's like coins out of pocket back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was, this was always the scariest bit, just the, 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 the bug going up. You know it's what? Nice, Stealth might actually be on here. No, King Dakar is doubled size then, America, isn't it? Look at that. Really? Same thing. Yeah. Oh, I miss it. We're having fun, lads. Put your hands up. Woohoo! <laughs> I want to go to a theme park. <laughs> exactly. This is what I was saying. Well, we we'll eventually do our America trip in like 2027. Yeah. We can go somewhere. Because they have. Can we go Six Flags, please? They're trying to go Six yeah. Flags for a long time. Oblivion is another classic UK ride Oblivion. at all. I've been on this. It's not as long or amazing nah, as some is, of the other rides be, on our what? list, but that doesn't make it any nah, less this cool. Drop is, this Riders drop start is by quite... going up a chain lift yeah, before being treated to a lovely ride. Not in the world. Yeah, yeah. It's much worse stuff than this. And that experience is kind of ruined when you dip down at high speeds before a dark and dingy tunnel and coming out a bank turn. And that's the entire ride. Unfortunately, sometimes things go a little bit wrong. The clip we have shows the seatbelts oh, on yeah, where the rides coming loose and falling straight out. Huh? So yeah, oh, I guess that adds an extra layer of fear to the whole ride. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, is the girl's seatbelt gonna come off? Apparently. Oh, oh shit! Oh, it's just that. the seatbelt though. The thing's locked in. Fuck she's that. fine. She's fine. Is she fine, bro? Seatbelt's come that's, off. That's, that's nah, a sh the... I guess human error. Oh, she looked down. She's seen it. Oh my god, <laughs> that would Number terrify two. you. The Meter's Alpine Coaster is part of a huh? rare breed of roller coaster. Oh, it's a type of coaster that literally runs down the side these of a sick, mountain. These things. I love these the track things. is 2,800 like meters resorts. long and runs down the mountain and through the forest and the Alps. What's really cool is you're actually able to control your own speed up to 25 miles an hour. Now that doesn't sound very fast, but when you're on a solo coaster car that has barely any protection on either side, it's gonna feel pretty speedy. The guy in the video we're showing doesn't activate the brakes on any of the drops or the corners, so he builds right up to the full speed of the coaster. You, you're watch out for sure he regrets more than once. I'm sitting you here got, wondering if belt. anyone's died on this thing. Like, I'm sure someone had to. Well, a bit morbid. I'm sure they someone had, had to. to die. <laughs> Great picture. He's at the footage we've got, and he showed us a picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. What's going on? That, uh, what is, that, what that, footage that, have we got? Sound, <laughs> the concept what? sounds sick. Nah, it's going it's to show us a first person shot in a second. You wait. Surely. You wait. It's coming. It's coming next. This is just trying to get to 10 minutes. Number one. Oh, what? what? what, what that? That? The footage we've got. got. A steel accelerator coaster that's based at Six Flags Great Adventure Told you. in New Jersey. Yeah. Oh, this it's is the tallest roller coaster bigger. in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And the second fastest coaster traveling at 128 miles an hour. It's twice right. the height the scariest and more. Thing about King Dakai is that the train may experience what is known as a rollback. This is what I want to go on a rollback. So when the car coaster quite literally rolls backwards off of a point instead of forward. What do you mean? Imagine goes to the top of that and then comes back down. Yeah, yeah, just make over. It all the way back to the station and causing some kind of This one rotates when it goes down there. That's really the fear factor of this ride. Not only are you traveling at over yeah. oh, hour, the there's no way that you can know whether you're going to make it all the way over the hill or back down the way you came. Oh. Don't you get another go if it, if it rolls back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think full part doesn't happen anymore, really. And you get you used to get, get a t shirt and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, full part used to get a t shirt saying that like, I survived the rollback. I've got a bonus video for us, lads, if you want to see it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Look yes! how scary this ride is! <laughs> Oh my god! They don't know what's coming. They don't know what's coming. Yes! Come on! <laughs> this might be the greatest video of all time. Oh, what Come is on. it? Such a scary ride. Oh! Why <laughs> <laughs> is he asleep? Wait. Why is he like that? This is Storm at Thought Park for those of you who don't know. This Ethan is just like. <laughs> He doesn't Why like this ride.
Jesus! He's, He's so out of it. it. He's so out of it, bro. I'm crying. Look at him. Look at him. No, he smiles, he smiles a little bit and he goes back. Oh, he oh. Back. Oh. Oh. I'm actually crying. Oh. Oh. Eve had a great time the whole way through. Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god. Amazing. Okay. Thank god he bought that video, you know. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheers, guys. We'll see you next time. What? He didn't really drink piss in the Sidemen show? What? No way. Hello and welcome back to some more Summer Reacts. We, 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 <laughs> it's your boy Joshua, uh, Vic and Simon. Today we are watching photos that prove your life is a lie. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're gonna find out. But apparently our lives been lies. Um, and these photos are gonna prove that. All right, let's get it. Every single day in ways that you never imagined, you are being lied to. Whether it's by that advertisement on the TV showing you that succulent, juicy hamburger, which in reality consists of a stale bun and chewy patty, or the skincare product that promises to have your skin looking radiant and younger in just two weeks. Today, we look at more ways that you have been deceived over the years. 32 photos that prove Ooh, your life 32. is a lie. Jeez. Right. Dang. Number 32, Ginger Ninja. It came as a disappointing <laughs> blow to learn that the Weasley twins from Harry Potter are not oh. natural gingers. Ooh. The boys actually have regular brown hair. Boring. Number 31, things okay. are not always <laughs> what they seem. Think it's always <laughs> impressive to see how beautifully they stack the towels up in department stores, something that you can never seem to achieve in your own linen cupboard. And let me reassure you, there's a reason for that. They use phone oh. blocks and one towel to create that flawless look. Is that true? I don't think that's true. Yeah. I've definitely uh, pulled yeah. out a towel. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not very useful, is it? If you're going to go... I want this because you pull the top one out, yeah. and you look at it, and then you realise, oh shit, I've unpulled Yeah, you put it back and you mess it all up, yeah. yeah. Do you know what that looks like? It looks like it's the set of like a shop or something. I don't know. Like they haven't been bothered to do it. I don't know. They've not done their research here, have they? Yeah. Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner was released in 1949 and shows Jesus. the tumultuous relationship between the Coyote and the Roadrunner. In every episode, the cheeky Roadrunner outruns the Coyote. The biggest lie ever. Whoa. The top speed of the Coyote is 43 miles an hour and the Roadrunner just 20. It's, it's a, a cartoon! <laughs> it's a special Roadrunner. It's not that. It's not a normal Roadrunner. He's got different perks. Look, he's got the kicks. Look. <laughs> We've seen three so far. One of them's been a cartoon. <laughs> One of them's been two Donnies that just dyed their hair for a film. No, Simon, your whole life is a lie. In this video, will prove that, as we've seen. Number 29, false advertising. I think we all kind of knew this one anyway, but it's so much nicer to believe that they are genuinely baby carrots that we're eating. The reality is so much more unexciting the and cheetos. unappealing, isn't it? Number 28, you're... Oh, well, I think she's what? implying that they're not baby carrots. They're just they're not babies. cut up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who <laughs> they made this video for? All right, let's keep going. There is no point lying because sooner or later you're always caught out. Captain Crunch is no captain, as according to the three strikes on his sleeve, no. he is actually a commander. However, Commander Crunch doesn't quite have the same thing to it. Fucking Dang Commander it, Crunch. Commander Crunch. When it comes to advertising, we are subjected to many little tricks of the trade that are used to make that product appear flawless. Hair commercials are no exception, but what many of us believe just to be strategically placed fans is actually a man That's in a funny. green screen suit, <laughs> making sure everything is in check. That's funny, my God. Number 26, cost saving. Oh These days, God. it's all about cost saving, but if your product is called Powerball, then at least one can expect to find an actual ball inside. Otherwise, what it should have been called is Power Circle, which would have at least been the oh. truth. Oh my. You know what? Fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. You fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Number 
2025. You're doing it all wrong. We doubt that this is what bakers had intended when they delivered the final product, but it's most certainly worth a try because breaking and like squishing ninja. the bread and cutting it is terribly annoying. Next <laughs> time, turn it upside down and let us know if it works. Number 24, no one likes a liar. And these crackers let us down every single time. In fact, we're not sure we've ever managed to crack them down that perforated line. <laughs> How does that mean your life is a lie? <laughs> We are all familiar with the story of Isaac Newton and how an apple fell on his head which led him to discover gravity. Only problem with this story is that the apple didn't actually fall on Newton's head. In his original manuscript, there is absolutely no evidence of the apple incident. Instead, what you find are notes about how apples fall straight to the ground. Aww. Number 22. Not as bad as you think. You know, that actually, that actually that actually is different. That's actually something, yeah. yeah. That's actually something. It doesn't change anything about my life. But uh, we, we weren't like well, you, for sure, yeah. We learned something new, though, yeah. Yeah. Many kids had an innate fear that their fingers wouldn't return to normal thereafter, but it was probably just a ploy by tired parents to get their kids out of the tub, <laughs> into PJs, probably into just bed. A ploy. Fingers naturally wrinkle like this to allow the person to have extra grip underwater, which is actually pretty clever. That's an evolution, mate. That's definitely true as well. Like, parents are like, your fingers are going to stay wrinkly when they get out of the bowl. Of course out, it is. Yeah, yeah. I never knew that's why they went wrinkly. I thought you just... Age quicker. <laughs> 21. Wait, what? Strawberries are red. We all Wait. know that. So why on <laughs> earth would the green gummy bears be strawberry flavored? To add what? to that one, the red one, yes, the ones you would assume are strawberry flavored, are actually raspberry. Number I mean, they're 20. also red. Truly a revelation. Right. Despite they having whiskers, have it turns out that Hello Kitty is not a cat. Apparently, what? she's actually human. We don't know about you, but the last time we checked, humans didn't That's have not a human, mate. <laughs> Brand owner Sanrio says Hello Kitty is a cheerful and happy little girl with a heart of gold. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I'm looking they've at that cat views. and it's cool. <laughs> Just because we said it's a girl doesn't, it could be a girl cat. Oh, they've had a Lost shocker Marvels, there. Mate. Next, Joe okay. Weller's going to tell you his songs about a girl. Maybe, maybe Probably yeah, is. That's what it is the whole time. <laughs> oh my God, he's done like one he's of those like, songs. He's like, girl, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Bobby pins have been around since the 1920s and were invented to help keep the newly fashionable bobbed hairstyles in place. Many sites have recently come forward to say we've been wearing them incorrectly all this time and that in order to get the best grip from your bobby pin, you need to have the curved side facing downward. Number I don't 18. care. Oh, <laughs> that's big. Doesn't change I, I, thought it, I thought it was going to be like, um, it wasn't invented by Bobby or something, you know, just like, you're funny. But well, it wasn't actually made for your hair. It was made for like, picking up masturbation. Uh, sure. Taste <laughs> sensation. Not quite. The colorful oh, fruit loops all fruit taste loops. exactly the same. So which fruit are they supposed to taste like? Or fruit. are all the flavors mixed with so much sugar, it doesn't actually matter what flavor <laughs> that's the loop true. is. There you we'll go. let you decide. Number yes. 17. <laughs> Remember so the time? When we all believed Michael Jackson no. was able to defy yes, gravity, hate to be the one to break no one believed Michael Jackson it. had a little trick said, How he did he do it? called anti-gravity shoes. Number 16. Cheese okay, cake. Shoes Who decided that it was a good idea to put cheese in a mousetrap in the hope of attracting a mouse? Because whoever made that decision had it all wrong. Studies reveal that mice don't actually like cheese. They lean towards things with a higher sugar count, like grains and fruit. Cheese isn't something that's in their natural environment, so they would shy away from it as opposed to being drawn to it. I didn't know that. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. That, I've actually learned something today. Life is a lie up until today. Put a strawberry in a mousetrap instead and you live in. And now you know. This could be one of those hacks that someone has discovered, which will ultimately save your nerves when you're pouring milk but whether the product was manufactured to be poured this way i knew this one open to discussion number 14 makes sense they didn't, they didn't explain it's it, but. not something <laughs> one really thinks about but after seeing this image it makes total sense sidewalks are stamped and not tiled it saves time costs and labor and this is america right all yeah. around Number Smart. 13. In the UK, there definitely are the actual pavements. Bear like Grylls, each one. the man known for being able to show the oh, wild. The man who has battled oh, all mate, the yeah. elements nature could throw at him. The man the who shows you how he's a liar, though, the look. wild has to offer lie. is seen off camera tucking into yeah. what looks to be a delectable Come feast. On. Number 12, <laughs> tricks of the trade. Photographing what? Food can be challenging. Wait, Bear Grylls? <laughs> what? He didn't really drink piss in the Sidemen show? What? <laughs> I thought he just ran off into the woods and was never seen again. You're telling me that <laughs> helicopter that turned up was for him? No way. Wait, no. There, there's camera people that he follow him? to go to after. <laughs> trick to ensure they get the perfect shot. You know how it goes when you pour milk into your cereal. The little crumbly bits float everywhere and the cereal sinks. So this is how photographers get it right. They use glue. Number 11, <laughs> for the love of pizza. Tasty. Hawaiian pizzas yes. were not invented in Hawaii. So why would a pizza <laughs> invented in Canada be called in Hawaiian pizza? 
Sam Panopoulos, who was she born said in Greece and Hawaii. but moved to Canada when he right? was 20, was Anna, trying to entice Anna, people Anna into his pizza, pizza shop. Sounds he weird. added the pineapple to his pizzas and loved the contrast of the sweet and savory. They called it Hawaiian pizza. It's definitely the French canned Canada. Pineapple definitely they were part using French at the Canada. time. That ain't, that ain't Number good 10. Part. The good part of Canada ain't doing that. <laughs> okay. that's, that's French Canada. So what's the bad part? Oh, okay. It's French Canada. Wow. 100%. <laughs> I hate it. Appreciate case, it, man. But it may surprise you to find out why the grass <laughs> is painted. greener on the other side. That's because there's a good chance your neighbor is actually spray painting yeah. it. So don't feel <laughs> bad if your grass is still a shade of brown. Go on. At least it's natural. Have them. Number nine, just a rumor. About two years ago, there was a bit of hype on the internet about how the numbers on the toaster related to the amount of time that the bread will be toasted and not the degree of toastiness you prefer. For example, two meant two minutes in the toaster. However, as solid as what that may seem, Mental Floss used several toasters to test the theory and it was disproved. Number so eight. what does it represent? T a degree of toastiness. The heat. Tom Scott did a video on it, and it, I think, as well. I can't remember what the actual, actual answer is, but it might actually be degree of toastiness. Yo, have you seen that toaster that literally- Digital you, one. You pick, yeah, you pick the picture of what you like it as, yeah. and it does it. I want it. I'm buying it. These Star Wars cookie cutters have promised the buyer that they will end up with the most fabulous Star Wars cookies. And as the they circles. say, the proof is in the pudding. And this pudding is a complete failure. <laughs> Wait, was that it? That was it. Yeah. Yeah. That was. They were the Star Wars cookies. Oh, they're Death Stars. They're Death Stars. Yeah. Someone is, and the results are not good. Ethan. Subway actually had a lawsuit <laughs> against them that lasted I remember two this. years. As someone on Twitter said, great. footlongs are really only 11 and a half inches. I did some math and figured out that Subway owes me $84 for 14 years To be fair, an extra inch is a lot. <laughs> After the lawsuit, they promised to ensure their sizing was correct in the future. Number Could it six, stretch when being toasted, though? Uh, that's stretch. Uh, shrink. I'm sure. Possibly. I'm sure if they did this lawsuit, I'm sure they bought untoasted ones as well. Yeah. True. I don't think it would go on for two years, and you've just thought of it in seven. <laughs> seven. Imagine. Imagine. They should have hired Josh as their defense lawyer. Subway watch this video. Somebody like, just go. Somebody just go. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Subway punching walls right now. <laughs> when you buy a product, and on the packaging it states calcium, the very least you expect to find inside the product is. Call is crazy, but calcium. A little strange when you read the fine print on the back of the Hershey syrup, <laughs> it clearly states 0% calcium. Number five, right. going forward. Okay. All right, this Where's one isn't so much a lie as opposed to just not knowing. And now that you know, it's going to revolutionize your Asian dining experience. All right, here we go, I'm ready. Instead of having one chopstick sporting that broken off piece of wood that kept them attached, it seems we were meant to snap the whole piece off and use it to rest our chopsticks on oh, yeah. in between eating delectable morsels of sushi. We just want to eat sushi now so we can show off our new skills. That way I normally die and I get given a stone to do that with. Ooh, you fancy, huh? <laughs> this juice carton claims to contain 100% pure squeezed orange juice. However, literally like right below it, <laughs> it says that it's made from concentrate <laughs> along with other added ingredients. The list of lies that we're being fed daily seems to just well, that's grow, the truth. doesn't it? That's a photo that shows the truth. Yeah, true. I before E, except after C. Oh. That's a rule that a lot of us were taught in school. Until With this information, we could successfully spell words like receipt and receive. However, this rule doesn't always apply. For example, the word efficiency sees that rule fly out the window. There's lots of words. With the I before this, the where e is the photo? Why is this to do with photos? That was just a generic statement. Photo of the word efficiency, mate. It's a lie. If you're looking at the word efficiency, it's a lie. Leaving a road brick for brick is so old school. These days, we're all about cost cutting, time saving, and efficiency. And this clever way of doing it ticks all those boxes. Number oh, one, <laughs> the disturbing like film sets again, it's not gonna lie. Alligators can stand just like a human. What? Mind you, what? they are no. certainly able to That's slip, a good one. but if the water is at the right side, they, they can just as easily stand. No. When you see them jumping out to catch their prey, they're pushing themselves off with their very that's, strong No, that's no, 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 <laughs> no, no, that's not, that's not them standing. They see I, I want to see them stand on land though, stand on land and come that's back to me. That's not standing like humans. Dogs can stand like humans then. None of these photos are really. My life hasn't been a lie actually. Yeah. I found out my life has been pretty much the whole truth. Yeah. Nothing but the truth. <laughs> if you enjoyed, leave a like um, and keep living a life free life. Peace out guys.
His name is on the That's planet, bro. His name's on the planet. <laughs> like, his name is that on is the sick. planet. Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sidemen Reacts. Today, you've got a quad. 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 Myself, Zerka, Harry, Minta. And we're reacting to the weirdest things on Google Earth. Ooh. Come on. Did ever, do you ever used to do that at school though? Like zoom down the roads on like Constant. Human Street View? Yeah, bro. I love Google Earth. Right, I used to do, do it. Uh, flight Simulator. You wanna play that Ooh. one? Google Earth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Trying to play actual flight simulator these days is sick. It's not yeah. sick. Hey. It's not sick. All right, DJ, spin that shit. From hidden messages oh. to possible murder locations, I've seen that here one. are 13 bizarre things found on Google Earth. Oh, that's that Ooh. president that got his name carved into the land. Ooh. That's what I can ask <laughs> Number 13, oh, billionaire. Gobi oh, Desert. Sorry. Google Earth has revealed a multitude of images of strange mm. titanic structures and patterns carved <gasps> into the Earth. Why is China building these structures in the middle of Whoa. nowhere? Perhaps the most visibly strange section of the desert is an elaborate grid of perfectly straight lines that what? weave back and forth among themselves every few hundred feet. This particular design is 20 miles long. There are many hmm. others in circular shapes. What are people doing? He's doing the dance. You think, no, I think they're setting something up. Donnie's going to flick okay. a light switch and Mongolia is gone. Can I, can I, have, <laughs> can, can I have a confession? All right. I'm, I've a confession. Managed, yeah, I've managed to find myself on uh, the pyramid conspiracy theory TikTok algorithm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. and and I've seen now I've seen about sixteen of these now, and um, and I believe there was some juju going on, bro. I'm telling you now, I'm 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 fully bought in. The pyramids are just tombs. What, 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 They're lined what? up with the stars, bro. No, it's not even that, bro. Like the inside, bro, is all made. They got like, copper like, wiring in yeah, there. Like, yeah, wiring. yeah, yeah, bro, bro. Are you on it as well? Are you on the algorithm? <laughs> no. Oh, well, so you, just... oh, okay. These guys have their weird. purpose. They can You're include, but are not dickhead. limited to, secret <laughs> military bases, although not so secret with Google, weapons testing, Ooh. spy satellite calibration, and radar instrumentation tests, as Ooh. well as sensors to control the weather. Is anyone else getting kind of nervous about this? Humans are doing judge. Number 12. Control it's in the back the weather, you know. In 2011, an extreme this one. project began on a this small is, this island is near Abu Dhabi. Yeah, this is the... Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayyan, a billionaire. billionaire and member of Abu Dhabi's ruling family, had his name carved <laughs> deep into the city. <laughs> See, I respect this. That's I respect this. I respect I've, done, I've done that at South End, but not this on this <laughs> end. Can we, have Why? Like a, can we have a Simon logo carved into the floor somewhere? Correct. Should we ask Hamad? Hamad, whack an SDMN up there, please. Of Al Sea Island. He also owns the island located in the Persian Gulf, so of course he can do whatever he wants with it. <laughs> the letters are an astonishing half mile tall and together Jesus Christ. two miles from H to D. Do you know how much of a flex that is, so bro? Big, Jeez. Would that not annoy you, though, if you have all that money and you can't even, like, you see how it stops being filled in on the end? They'll be affiliated eventually, surely. Do you know how much of a flex that is? Imagine, okay, I'm not, I don't imagine he goes to bars and speaks to women. But say he does, and he goes, Yo, go on Google Earth and type in these Island, coordinates. Yeah. Bro, his name is on the That's planet, bro. His name's on the planet. Like, his name is that on is the sick. planet. That's it. Imagine he spelled it wrong. From outer space. Oh, this is no one knows why he embarked on the bizarre project in the first place. The marine dredging company hired to do the work was told not to ask questions. I think man, not ask questions. In 2013, the letters vanished, hastily <gasps> filled in with sand. Rumors oh. are that the vast canal project spelling out someone's name did not fit in with the image Abu Dhabi wants to portray to the world. Oh, Number 11, his name? Ghost Island. In 2013, researchers went looking for Sandy Island in the Coral Sea east of Australia. Oh, this Scientific exist, right? databases showed the island to be about the size of Manhattan. Discovered Ooh. in 1876 by a whaling ship, Sandy Island has been included on maps for more than a century, including, obviously, on Google Earth. When the Australian scientists arrived at the location, the only thing they found was Ooh. open ocean. There was no, no other uh, island that could have possibly been Sandy. What? in sight it just wasn't there Global so what happened lads. to it did it sink beneath the waves was it just a figment of our imagination it's possible that what the whaling ship had seen was a pumice raft a floating raft of frothy light rock produced by volcanoes oh. that can float around for years before breaking up the island had gained so much right. fame it actually had hey, an well, obituary published for it in april 2013. Yeah. in it the researchers explained how the phantom island could have remained in geographical mind and maps due to human error this right. undiscovery mm. made head Lines around the, the world and one. reminds us that despite yeah, I don't like it. That was shit. What? What do you mean? That was sick. There was, was an that island sick? that they thought were there for ages, and it was there. Nice, bit leaky in it, Harry. What? 
stuff. Harry, I'm, I'm, <laughs> Harry, I'm, I'm upset with you. Bro. What? That was, that what was was there was a bloody island that they thought nah. from hundreds of years was an island, and they've gone to look for this You're island. Just and the sand, island's there. It was just oh, some sand, mate. It was just sand, bro. And floating sand. Google and national. I mean, headlines around Quickly the world, boys. I've got the island <laughs> spit on my screen, map. so I'm having to clean it. Number ten, giant what? advertising. It looks like people have discovered the marketing advantages of Google Earth. Ooh. In Nevada, off the Lahamad. extraterrestrial highway, yeah. lays an 87,500 square foot likeness what? of KFC. Oh, oh. Up, <laughs> up at the sky. Oh my In God. full color, it's surprising his face isn't blurred out like his other likeness around the world. That is quite you cool. You can learn more on my other That's video. Eleven Hamad. things Google Earth yeah. is hiding from you and on a hillside in chile you can oh, see the world's ooh. largest coca-cola logo constructed of seven oh that's it empty coke bottles. i want to see what it looks like this map advertising is from a the great floor. idea for They're from the floor recycling. like it's coke bottles number nine super shipwreck no that isn't a glitch in google's oh, programming oh, or sick. hardware and that's not that's Photoshop. Sick, that's sick. in 2003 the ss hasim a bolivian cargo ferry ran aground and sunk on the wingate reef off the coast oh. of sudan the ship is 265 feet long and is one of the largest shipwrecks that is now visible on google earth i'm googling this now has estimated that there are over three million shipwrecks lying on ocean floors around the world you see how that's visible on google earth the human mm. that did that has had a howler, bro. Like, you're forever remembered, bro. You crashed that <laughs> crash ship. Into an you, 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 the captain has led this ship onto Google Earth, bro. Like, you're literally <laughs> hanging, <laughs> you're hanging out of an island. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Oh, oh it's gone. Oh. Oh. Lie near the surface of the water or only partially submerged can be seen with satellite imagery of the Earth. Number eight. Pigeon people. What? This is what? One I've of seen this on GeoGuessr. <laughs> Google Street View, and it is definitely creepy. The group of pigeon masked people. Is a, are I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot less cool than I wanted it to be. Yeah, it's getting what's the They follow you down. They, they look at you the whole down the road. You know, I wanted this yeah. to be pigeon, pigeon people. That day. I thought this was going to be something they amazing. Continue to stare at the Google car as it passed them. <laughs> Looks like some people <laughs> missed the memo. Number seven. Pentagram. Ooh. One thing's for sure, this Ooh. is no oh. problem like or accident. This pentagram was yeah. placed there on purpose. Located in Kazakhstan, oh. this is sure oh, to lead boy. any suspicious mind Kazakhstan to the devil's made. door. <laughs> the five-pointed star surrounded by a circle measures 1,200 feet in diameter. But wait, hey, there's a star next to it. Hey, look, 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 look to the left. Look, far left. There's another one. That's it. Wait, that's, that's, that's it, it. Bro. Zoomed in. Oh, my God. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's fine. Just press, just press play and we, we do, nothing happened. Diameter. Oh my god. The pentagram shows up crystal clear. It's red circle as well, guys. My head's in my hands, I'm in bed. Many were quick to look at it. The pentagram is a key symbol used by many cultures and is not always satanic. It's got a tiny little chod on him. It's simply a park. Archaeologist Emma Osmanova has worked in the region for so years embarrassed. and explained <laughs> that the pathways were purposely red. designed to create the shape of a star. It's okay, it's okay. The star is marked by roads lined with trees, making the shape stand out. The star was a popular symbol during the Soviet Union, and many guessed that the site may have been. Can we go to number six, please. <laughs> <laughs> number six. There you go. Yeah, Desert spiral. Google Maps has frozen this oh, double spiral in time. When people first saw the formation located in the Egyptian desert near the coast of the oh, Red the Sea, Egyptians again. all kinds again. of theories Tricky arose. Egyptians. Crop circle, <laughs> alien message, even a portal to an alternate universe. Oh. It's too large and perfectly designed to have been created by any one person. It's a Fibonacci well, actually, sequence or something. It was created no, by no. three <laughs> women. Known as the Desert Breath, it is a super-sized art sequence. installation <laughs> created by Das Art number. Team, a trio of Greek know, artists in March of 2007. <laughs> the piece covers an area of about Ten like hectares. The two numbers According before, to the artist, it it's meant to celebrate the desert as a state of mind and a landscape for the mind. The spiral nice. is made up of cones from the sand and is subject to natural erosion. Mm. Over time, it will disappear and become part of the desert plain once more. That's cool. Number five, yeah, it was a bit of a Syrian poles. Images of the current civil war in Syria oh. is by no right. means new to the internet. While the destruction on a human level has been caught by photographers and news coverage, satellites have also recorded the damage to hundreds of archaeological oh sites. All six of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the country... Oh, I have beef with Damascus, you know. Yeah, Damascus FC, bro. I have beef with Damascus. Bro, we lost money on Damascus. Damascus yeah. FC, I bet money on Damascus oh, FC. Bro, else we, and we had to load the game up on, uh, <laughs> on, on like a Facebook Live. It had 13 viewers. 
That's it. <laughs> Damascus, Damascus got packed in. I lost like 20 quid. I was fuming. <laughs> <laughs> Damascus all stars. Have been damaged or destroyed. You can see the destruction for yourself if you look up Apamia via Google Earth. The location of the ancient Roman city is now a sea of pockmarked holes stretching over the entire Fucking area hell. left Wait, by looters there. since the start of the Bombs war. Being That's Both looters sad, and treasure man. hunters have dug over 4,000 holes looking for uncovered oh, treasures wait, no, to sell no, 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 on the black for, market to stuff. finance the war. Okay. These holes are about two to three wait, meters They're digging for shit to finance and war. And in some cases, Bruh. are even used to store weapons. The fuck? Number four, okay. Scientology Bunker. Located in a remote area of New Mexico, Ago, this image of a mysterious well, these pair of two these large diamonds are weird, surrounded by should, overlapping yeah. circles are etched out. onto the desert floor. It so is believed you out. to be a navigation <laughs> you marker out. for spacecraft. What, what do you mean? The church you say boot you out, I'll creep you out. Book, they book me. Book it. Oh. <laughs> Booky Donny. <laughs> you said they boot you out as if you're like part of it. Well, they probably would boot me out as well, but I, I don't know, like... No, I don't know. There's something, something about. I don't know. What if they're just like massive trolls and they just do this shit? And take God, everyone. Where do they get all this money from? Them. Do all this stuff, though, bro. They're so rich. And in New Mexico <laughs> is shrouded in mystery. There is a building which leads to an underground vault and miles of tunnels Ooh, under the mountain. Right. The symbols on the desert floor are supposed Yo, if you to look help on the right, guide there scientologists well. to a safe <laughs> after returning to Earth from a planetary Armageddon. Sorry, the symbol is believed to be trademarked. It's a opportunity. I took it. Number three, so Monday. Japanese <laughs> ghost town. Hashima, Japan was a town. Someone said you hide and seek here. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, this. Yeah. 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 Does that not look like the pod map? But I was about to say, can we go and play paintball there? Stopped and all the inhabitants moved <laughs> Call of Duty Real Life. I hit Iron Seek quite nice there. Yeah, no, it's got like there. radioactivity or something. Yeah, is this, right? not, was this not was this not in that other video we did? Yeah. Dangerous yeah. Island. Unsafe. Yeah. You can still see it via Google Earth, and it was actually the location of Javier Bardem's lair in the James oh. Bond film Skyfall. Wait, they filmed so, there. We can. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty much James Bond. Same thing. Yeah. Oh, we, I mean, it's Brochure a show. James Bond. Do you know what? Let's do it. So I've been Japan trip. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. You can spend all the time you want there. Though, based on these images, I don't know Ooh. if I would want to. Ooh. No, Number okay, two, murder doc. Ooh. This image caused I've quite seen this a stir when it was discovered oh, on the internet. Yeah. Nothing like a nice sunny day on the lake with a little bit of murder. It looks like someone tried to get rid of an unwanted murder. body off this dock <laughs> in the Netherlands. And now for number one, <laughs> but first, Why is that just over subscribe so quickly? and share some other bizarre things well, you no. found on Google Earth in the comments. Number one, okay, yeah, airplane yeah. graveyard. This might be one of the this biggest and coolest yeah. graveyards you'll ever see. Located in Tucson, Arizona, the Davis Monthan Air Force Base is where U.S. military planes often find their final resting place. The cemetery stretches 2,600 acres and has been nicknamed Mad. the Boneyard. Bro, it reminds me of the COD mission. You know that last the, the, the COD mission, Modern Warfare 2? Is it Modern Warfare 2? The graveyard right. reminds me of uh, the crew. You can you drive oh. through it on there? I, well, I, was, I, I was too young to play Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, you're not a great really? veteran like I thought you was, you thrilled. Uh, exactly. My first COD was Modern Warfare 3. Oh my god, you're actually Uncultured so weird. Human. You're actually so weird, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Modern day technology holds nothing sacred, not even the dead, and images of it are available for all to see on Google Earth and other interactive maps. Cool. And it is something to see indeed. It is home to everything Mental. from enormous cargo planes to bombers, Hercules freighters, so it, A-10 Thunderbolts, and the F-14 Tomcat fighters made famous from growing. Top Gun. What can you do with Storage it? yards serve you several purposes. Yeah. To I like how it all parked really nicely and organized. Out of service, yeah, may it's quite satisfying. Fleet, like, how are they dead if they've been parked? Aircraft carcasses. Many of the planes <laughs> at the Boneyard <laughs> date back to the Cold War Vietnam, including B-52 bombers capable of carrying nuclear weapons. Oh. The B-52s were stored with their wings removed. Oh. And I don't really care around. anymore, lady. Can we just keep them moving? Satellites it was the last one, lad. You can't go to zero. The first retired B-52 so was they revived brought back it. to life in the Boneyard in February 2015, taking off after upgrades to return to duty. Jeez. That's cool. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. How are they fucked if they're dead? I've just successfully clowned my own week. <laughs> my, my Monday's off the half. My week's off the half. Thanks for watching Sidemen Reacts. Please leave a like. <laughs> Bye.
Howdy, ladies and gentlemen of the uh, United Kingdom and the other countries in the world. This is Cyber Reacts, and we have got myself, Haroldinho. We've got Mini Mint, and we've got Tobe Jizz, and we've got Bazinga. And today we're looking at crazy ideas that actually worked. Ooh, um, ooh. Interesting. Uh, there, there appears to be marijuana plants <laughs> on the screen right now. But, um, uh, that's a crazy <laughs> idea that worked. <laughs> and, well, mate, the first person to figure that one out must have yeah. been baffled. Buzzing. Time you're faced with a problem, surely you've racked a few stupid ideas through your mind before you found a practical solution. Yes. But mm -hmm. once in a while, it seems those outlandish solutions might just actually be solutions. Okay. Here's 15 times those crazy ideas actually oh, square worked. Square watermelon. Number 15, Saw it. tallest man saves dolphins. <laughs> what do you do when you're faced with two dolphins who accidentally ingested plastic? If you thought perhaps there should be animal experts or surgery involved, it seems none of that was necessary. At an All right, how would you guys do? I'd give them something that's gonna make them throw up. Intentionally, I'd give them like. Well, if no. you have nothing, it's just you and the dolphin. Heimlich maneuver. Just me and the dolphin. Heimlich. Heimlich. I'd, I'd sh bear, bear I'd shit, it. shit in its mouth. Yeah. Shit in its mouth. Right, shit right. in its mouth. <laughs> well, I pray that I never, I never swallow plastic, bro. Near bog. I pray. <laughs> near bog. Not just in general, just near bog. <laughs> yeah, just near bog, oh. bro. If I swallow it near you lot, you probably got the ability to save me, lads. Well, Simon might be able to, because we're all about to find out here. Look, look what he does. Oh, Simon might be able to do it. Why me? Because you're tall. you got long arms, bro. I put my arm down his throat. ain't reaching down my throat, yeah, is I it? put my arm down his throat and make it throw up. Not shit yeah, in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I ain't got the long arms, bro. I ain't got the long arms. So long enough. you're shitting in his mouth. I can't believe it. Uh, bro, it's, it's life or death. Yeah, but what if it dies? Then you just shit in a dead dolphin's mouth. Well, at least I tried, all right? I'm sure I'm going to be oh in this shit in this mouth. A Mongolian herdsman by the name of Bao Shishun came to the rescue of the dolphins. The 54-year-old stands at a height of 7 foot, 8.95 inches, Lord. or 2.36 meters, using his incredibly long arms, which measure at 1.06 meters. He reached down the throats of the dolphins and fished out the pieces of plastic. Oh, he pulled and it out! To him, the dolphins were able to fully recover. Damn. Jesus Christ. 14, synchronized flushing. The city of Bulawayo, Zimbabwe, had a constant problem of backed up sewage. Uh, Along uh, with the years of uh, severe drought, it seemed there was only <laughs> one way to solve the problem. Sorry, that's Everyone that's gross, had to flush at the same time. According to the mayor, this simultaneous flush would help keep all the pipes wet at the same time, letting the waste flow easily to where it was intended to go. These synced flushes would begin to take place in the year 2012, with the first one oh. set at a time of 7.30 at night. Oh. There's at least one million- So I take a steam and shit. You gotta wait. And I gotta leave it all day until 7.30. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Bog, didn't you do that before? Haven't you left the shit in the toilet and gone on holiday? For bro? a week? I went on holiday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had to make the, the and you're complaining box. about I had a few hours. hours. Bro, Harry left his shit in a toilet for a week, bro. <laughs> that is disgusting. A week? But I had no choice. My flight was leaving. I did a shit before I was running out the door. The, the, the flush broke. I was like, right, it's, I'll either figure this out or I'll get my flight. I got my flight. Flush your flight. So. <laughs> residents the city and all together they flush their toilets which apparently was a success number 13 pet rocks some of you hmm. might be too young to have been around for the consumerism phenomenon known as the pet rocks and <laughs> it's exactly what it sounds like back in 1975 the late gary Sorry, Dahl, who was an advertising this is an idea that brilliant worked. idea to sell it's a rock, bro. Like, it's yeah, a pet it's rock, bro. It's a pet rock. Come on. The type of thing I guys I, have for pet rock. This wasn't that ideas that right. like sold. This is ideas that yeah. actually worked. It's a, it's a rock. It didn't work. It's a rock in a, yeah, but it's a rock in a Happy Meal box. How did this work, bro? Look, he sold two yeah, million. But of them it, that's it, not like, crazy he's... ideas that sold. It's crazy ideas that worked. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a what's the word? It was a, a product that worked. Well, it didn't work, but like... You're the, you're the type of guy to have a pet rock, bro. I'd get a rock, bro. If you sold me a pet, if it was a cheap price and you could get this pet rock, I'd, get, I'd find my own pet rock, I think. And Look at him! Pets. Look at yes, it! The pet rock was born. Little interracial the family, it's lovely. With little air holes for your pet rock. The selling point was that you could rock. have a cute little pet that didn't need to be fed, <laughs> really walked, it. trained, or groomed. And it totally worked. In a matter of less than a year, and right on time for the winter holiday season, Stahl would be a millionaire. The rocks selling for $4 each. Plastic it's become a tradition Ooh. for two people to break apart a turkey's wishbone after extracting said bone from a cooked turkey dinner. Mm -hmm. Sometimes arguments break out trying to figure out which two people get the chance to maybe have their wishes granted. In order to solve the conundrum of all the rest of the people at the party who feel left out, a man named Ken Aroni decided everyone should get the chance to make a wish. So he came up with the plastic wishbone that could be sold with a handful in a packet. More than 30,000 plastic 
fake wishbones are manufactured each <laughs> day. Made the sales are reaching over made. two million well, dollars have made every year. Shit. Who knew no, that I don't think you can blame the people making them. I think you have to blame the millions that buy them. Work. Buy them. Although yeah, you yeah, think yeah. of snowy winters when you think of Scandinavia, it's Donnie made two million off rocks. It's still a place that gets seasons. And when the summer months hit in 2013, it made sense that the male train workers in Stockholm, Sweden, would feel more comfortable wearing shorts instead of stuffy black pants to work. They all, however, were then prohibited from wearing shorts, so the male train drivers had to come up with a solution to feeling breezy without breaking the rules. That's why they then showed up to work wearing skirts. I write the that, argument you know. is I that the female that. train drivers were allowed to wear skirts to work, no so to prohibit them from wearing skirts would be considered discrimination. <laughs> it seems no one minds the slight wardrobe change in the least. Breezy. Number 10. Mirror catches the sun. Some places in the wow. world do not get as much sunlight as they need, or as much as the residents of these towns would like. In order to solve this dilemma, giant mirrors were placed on the mountainsides of towns like Viganea in Italy and another in Norway. The giant mirrors reflect the sun That's kind of dope. the land it wouldn't That's normally get. Cool, in you know. Norway, the town you see I love here, how they're just huddled that around that in a little circle in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that happens at mine, though. Like, the, the sun will sometimes reflect on the building and it lights my the balcony up. So it's it effective, effectively. That's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, it, it sounded cool. <laughs> I said it, and it so three giant cool. mirrors were installed in 2013 so that the sun could reach the lower parts yeah, of the is. valley. A few years prior, a similar installation took place in the Italian town of Viganea, which is located in the Entrona Valley. Here, the sun used to not shine from November until February, but which has been fixed thanks to the mirror. Number nine, square watermelons. The no. Yeah. That people usually have no. the implementation of square watermelons yeah, that's more is attractive. why? That's because more when you taste one, either. unless we're all wrong about this. Really? Yeah. 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 I don't, I don't know why, but th that is more attractive than a normal watermelon. I don't know why. I, I, it's so you don't like, more, you don't like curves. You like more like a box. It's radiating more attractive energy, and I don't know why. It might, you, you, it might he has be, a strong jawline. That's what he likes. It might be my OCD. It might be my, my OCD that like. That's mm. it's radiating attractiveness. Or watermelon. But, but I do humans are interesting queens. creatures, and if <laughs> I don't, like I don't like my women looking like that. Spending water. their money, why not square watermelons too? And you don't That's need pain. to be a super scientific genius to figure out how these were made. The watermelons are grown in boxes, and the fruit just molds to the shape. The cubic form is supposed to make it easier to fit into the fridge. Imagine so if you were looking for a practical, like a fridge. There it is. It was a practice that started in Japan in the late 70s, and isn't super popular since it does cost more money to purchase a square watermelon. But it seems the store storage and aesthetic was good enough for some people. Number eight, selling bags of... Are you not okay? What's up? What are you cracking up at here? What's happened? You've descended to chaos. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No. <laughs> Dirt. Anyone who is an expat of any place might be able to relate. Even if oh, wait, you love your new home say? in a new land, there's some things... Didn't... Uh, cards Against Humanity sell bits of shit. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, Simon, you'll know. They yeah, they sold shit. bits of cow shit, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who got yeah, sent shit in the mail? Who was that? Was that you? Me! Harry, Harry, I, I, I got sent poo! I got some too. Did you, wait, did you, get sent, like, did you get sent, like, did you get sent, like, did you get sent, like, legit shit, or was it one of them, like, because I got sent, like, a service where you can send shit. No, yeah, it was that. No, 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 that's what I got. No, it was, it wasn't, it was a tub, it was like, it was a home, homemade tubbleware. Like it wasn't like yeah, a nice you box got, of like all actual shit. You got actual, yeah. Yeah. yeah, bro. Someone sent me horse manure and I didn't open it for like three years. Bro, I remember that video of Harry's, bro, but he's he's unwrapping this tubbleware box, bro. He's like, <laughs> it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then I shot my peer box after that one. I was like, yeah, I don't want to place. For some Irish expats, one of those things is the good old Irish dirt. Also known as old sod, it seemed one man found a way to capitalize on this and started bagging what's said to be official Irish dirt to those who wanted or needed it. Actually, Ireland is known for its famous soil and there's a lot of nostalgia on, attached Adam. to it. So Alan Jenkins decided he'd give his Irish compatriots a piece of home and in collaboration with agricultural scientist Pat Burke, who is also Irish American, they came up with Old sod, which is packaged dirt from Ireland, and thus far cool. the company's made millions trying to get since rid it was of first Ireland established. Slowly. Number seven, Britney Spears scares away pirates. Okay, what? so not Britney personally. What? She actually seems quite nice and personable Ooh. now that she's older and knows how to handle fame. One tactic the British Royal Navy have used to deter Somali pirates out on the waters is apparently playing some Britney Spears songs. And by playing, we mean they blast hits like I Baby One that. More Time and Oops, I Did It Again while on the coast of Africa. It's a method that's said to have been more effective than they Sorry, how does this be. work? And could you blame them for it's being Somali skeptical Somali pirates, of kryptonite, bro. Somali pirates. Britney Spears. <laughs> bro, they hear, they hear. <laughs> Oops, uh, I did, and they just no! they scurry, they scurry, they scurry back. You are the captain now. <laughs> You'd be sick of the songs if you worked on the ship, though. Imagine that just 24 7, just 
Britney Spears blast. Oh, Captain! No. Captain, play, play <laughs> Toxic! <laughs> the pirates hate Western music, and it's a method that seems to work. Right. An additional plus is they have a bazooka. This, less violent confrontations are it's necessary. It's got an RPG, but, but one Britney Spears tune. I don't know. You had to listen to music you hate over Coming and over home. again. Back Number six, off. goggles for dogs. Do dogs really need an accessory? Surely all the cutesy clothes and even collars we place on them is enough. The However, as ridiculous as the phrase <laughs> dog goggles seems for anyone, Aww. it's a business venture that's worked out in the dog goggle they're called, manufacturer. They're called the inventor of the product doggles. known as the goggles yeah. is Jill Doyle. And while most would quip that these no, things look these... ridiculous, the goggles protect your dog's eyes from the UV rays of the sun. Since dogs need to run around outside as much as possible, some uh, owners would like to take that extra precaution. <laughs> the company that sells doggles makes around $5 million in what? revenue every year and also includes products that are prescribed lenses for dogs with visual impairments. Aww. Number five, dropped and shipped. Speaking Ooh. of conscientious oh, dog oh. owners, let's Oi. see. Oi, oi, oi. Hold on, tell me. No, 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 hold on. I reckon Harry lips his dog. No, bro. I, I'm not intentionally. Like, sometimes it'll lick your face, but I'm not doing this to it. How much? Make it. Oh, this how is... much? How much? There's a press. You have a press. To make out with my dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bit weird, bro. I don't know why you're paying money to see that. <laughs> I was going to make a joke. I was going to say, is Harry kissing his mum? Oh! Oh! Wow! Oh. Oh. That's a good one. That's a good, good one. You, know, well, you should have made the joke then. You should have made it with your chest. You, you can't no, just you all started talking about how much to kiss a dog, and it. Oh, I, I mean, you still made the joke. I just want you to know that what I saw was you kissing your mum. Well, which one's my mum? The dog. The dog. <laughs> no, I, you know what? You know what? That's a good joke. Mate. That's a good joke, even. And I respect you. Dog owners in the Madrid suburb of Brunette, Spain, were said to have a bad habit of not picking up after their dogs. This problem was becoming such an issue that efforts were made to stop this problem. And instead of just issuing fines, officials found a better way to deal with the unsanitary the problem. A group of volunteers would look out for the dogs and their owners. Back the poop themselves and then send it in the mail back to the owners. Mm -hmm. The practice is said to be highly effective, with the number of dog droppings around Burnett being considerably fewer. How do they know where they number live? Number four, fishermen wearing wow. masks. Creepy. Fishermen in the Ganges Delta were dealing with Bengal tigers sneaking up on I them as they tigers. tried to do their job and it was becoming a dangerous problem. So Instead cold. of hurting the tigers tiger or just moving to a different location, wow. it seemed all that was needed was a prop. To scare away tigers approaching them from behind, the fishermen were instructed to wear these masks <laughs> face. <laughs> which seemed to trick most tigers into thinking a human being had spotted them. Or the face on the mask is just that displeasing that it scares them off. Number three, just like Britney Spears. bottled air. You've probably heard about people complaining about bottled water, how it's all a sham, and that clean drinking water should come free anyways. So then think about the concept of bottled air. Now that you've thought right. about it for a bit, just know you can buy said product. What? Vitality right. Air was created by a Canadian startup company this who sells cans of what is said to be 100% pure You can buy London air. Pure You're like London Fog or whatever. For about thirty-two dollars. Yeah, no, that's crazy. It's crazy. Sure, yeah, but the little novelty fucking prop underground smug, smug. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, no, you can. Uh, you can actually, that's actually a thing, though. A jar of something. fresh air. Product has made for itself. And West and it London said is going for eighty pounds. Places with higher air pollution are the locations of the biggest oh emitters of bottled air. The life, Number two, shade balls. The phrase shade balls probably means something different to a lot of people if you weren't I'll aware of the context. Cool. Cool. But what they actually refer to are the millions of plastic balls that were dumped into the Ivanhoe Reservoir in Los Angeles about two years ago. What? The reason stems down to the continuing drought that the state of California has been going through. Placing the four inch thick plastic balls in the water would help shade the water from the hot sun, That's reducing ah. rapid See, evaporation. This is an idea that actually like works. This is cool, not a rock. Less likely to form, wow. And certain chemical substances wouldn't be able to be wow. produced. Number one. Pigs with munchies. Stigma against legalized Ooh. marijuana has slowly been falling away, especially now that places like Washington State have implemented it. I can't write this shit, bro. The marijuana come on the screen. And Ooh. <laughs> Instead, cannabis has been incorporated into the pig feed, and it's said to... Oh, that's, that's rude for them to keep your mum in a fucking cage. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice, 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 well done, well done. Increase the weight One of the up to 30 pounds more, for reasons you can imagine. Eating this new feed can make the pigs here bigger than pigs in other parts of the country, which only means good things for the farming trade in Washington. Wow. Which one impressed you the most, that will, um, would you say? The mirrors, probably. I think that was cool. The mirrors, yeah. are good. the mirrors are good. I like the shade balls. I like the pig munchies. That was my favorite one. Of course, quite an inevitable one. Britney Spears. Britney the Britney Spears. Spears. Britney Spears. Yeah, yeah. The Britney Spears has to be the best one. Yeah. Like, out of like, It has to vote. be the most absurd. All right. Well, cheers for watching Rack Boys. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time. Au revoir.
and the whole video is curious. How much? How much are we talking? No, no, for that, no, for that no, special man. night of love. That's five figures, isn't it? Right. Welcome back to Sidemen React. Today I'm here with JJ and Toby, and we are going to find out where the top most expensive places that you can travel to are. You know, maybe get some inspo. Yo, Josh. Josh, if you're watching <laughs> right now. Hello and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm Rebecca Felgate. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Hello. And today we are talking the top 10 most expensive places to travel to. In at number 10, we have Copenhagen. Copenhagen? I actually have heard lots of good stuff about Copenhagen. Like what? Like what, bitch? I, I don't know. People just said it's a nice city to walk around. I, I never went into that much detail, but... London's a nice city to walk around. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of that, mate. That's all I've been doing the last, <laughs> last 10 months, mate. I I just go for walks, <laughs> mate. I just wander around, look at some buildings and stuff. It's real boomer. Copenhagen is in Denmark and is a haven for all things Scandi cool and is beautifully located along the water. An average hotel in the city costs upwards of $120 per night and an average dinner mm. is around $50. Although, dinner in the much sought after Noma will cost you around $400 with wine. Jeez. Nice. Entrance to the historic Tivoli Gardens is around $15. That roller coaster looks lit. That looks nuts. Although unlimited rides is an extra $45. Hey, $45 for the ride? Unlimited. Oh, Ooh. okay. Similarly, coming in at number nine, we have another really cool Scandinavian city. We have Stockholm. Stockholm, sick. Stockholm, Sweden's capital, is beautiful all year round. I have been there for like eight hours. It's so sick. I want to go back. I never got to experience it. I, I want to go back for sure. It's just nice to walk around on the water. You and islands. walking around, mate. You and you're walking around. Do you just go to countries to walk? To walk around? <laughs> Yeah, this is you, that's how you, the best way to see a city, you know, taking the culture, have a wander about. He's not wrong. I did it in China, yeah, did enough, it in Stockholm, enough. do it in London. What else are you gonna do? Why? Why how about Haiti? Why don't you go Haiti? I went to Havana, walked around Havana, mate. Got it on my vlog. You know how we Afghanistan. do. Afghanistan. <laughs> GTA <laughs> Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go and I'll go and work on the game, mate. <laughs> An average night at a Stockholm hotel costs $150 per night, and mm. wine at a bar will cost you around $14, which is pretty expensive. A can of Coke costs around $2.50. Is that expensive? Yeah, you're you're gone. You're oh, clear. Well, well, you're no, clear. no, no, no. Okay. We're all clear. Shut up. No, no, no. no. Uh, <laughs> it's not just me. Hundred fifty dollars. What? It's about hundred quid. Yeah, per night. That is a lot. Per night. That is a lot. Is that? Yeah. Maybe. That is a lot. Yeah. yeah. Now you're a bread man. Look, me and Toby keep it here to the streets at all times. Well, oh, no, well, <laughs> you guys are <laughs> <a lot. laughs> So what's cheap to you, mate? Easy hotel. I've got fourteen million socks. <laughs> I'm staying in a penthouse. I'm not staying in a fucking easy room. I don't care. 26 quid a night. Come on, let's go. I mean, I've got fucking money. I've got money. I'm booking a, I'm booking a penthouse. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Keep me out of the side, man? <laughs> For anything under like 60 is all right. Yeah. Even that is a lot. Coming in at number eight, we have Paris. Often dubbed the city of love. Paris. Big banger. Big banger. I've never Paris. been to Paris properly. I've only been there for like work. Oh, mate. You've only gone for Ubisoft. <laughs> yeah, I literally, every time I go there, is to play a Ubisoft game and then I catch Eurostar back Fuck the same sake. day. <laughs> nah, Paris is sick. Like, especially on Valentine's Day. Oh, oh. Yeah, KSI, yeah, yeah. Sorry, KSI, right. the romantic. Mate, yes. Big dog, big dog, big dog. <laughs> <laughs> the romantic French capital will there tug not just at your heartstrings, hey. but at your purse strings too. Luxury rooms in the love capital start upwards from 400 euros a night. Woo! Jeez, that's that definitely. KSI money. No, nah, that was definitely way less than what I fucking paid for. <laughs> yeah, but you're not the average person. I'm curious. I'm curious. <laughs> and the whole video is curious. How much? How much are we talking? No, no, for that, no, for that no. special Mate, night of love. That's five figures, isn't it? Right. All right, we move. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be like you. <laughs> Attractions can also be a touch more expensive. That roundabout just looks like a nightmare. It is. It very much is. For example, a dinner ticket to the famous Moulin Rouge costs upwards of $160. In at number seven, we have Dubai. Oh! Big dubs. Big dubs. Oh. Bop, bop, bop. Only number seven, though. Yeah. Dubai is known as one of the richest cities in the Middle East. An average hotel looks like it costs around $100 per night, but a luxury hotel, even a four or five star hotel in the Palm Jumeirah is upwards of $400 a night. Because of the strict alcohol laws, drinking in Dubai is pricey, 
But food can cost whatever you're looking to spend depending on where you are. The main draws in the city are shopping and beach life, with the former a little bit more expensive. A trip up the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa, have any of you been up there? Costs between $35 and $50. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Want yeah tea yeah, at the top, it's, mate. Oh, I haven't I've been. been tea. It's sick, it's sick. It's mad. You're so high up. The only slight thing is, though, you, there's not a lot around. So you go really high up yeah. and you kind of. And you just look at you, nothing. Like, yeah, you just see desert, but it's still sick. In at number six, we have London. Ah, London. Let's go. Yay! An average three star stay in a hotel will set you back £127 or $160, Woo! with many of the inner city hotels costing far, far more, as is the cost of many attractions. A trip up the London Eye, for example, is around $32, and a trip to see a West End theatre show can set you back a hundred dollars. Wait, so this is only number six, right? Yeah. It's more expensive than London. Probably like New York or some shit like that. Oh yeah, New York will be bread. Coming in at number five, we have Manhattan in New York City. Hey. There you hey. go, there you go. Big brain. The average cost of a hotel in Manhattan is a crazy $300 per night. Average. Huh, huh. The city boasts plenty of things to do, but almost all of them come at cost. A reasonably low-key brunch, for example, will set you back $30, and dinner averages out at around $50. Why do we always watch these videos when I'm hungry? That's why you gotta eat beforehand. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning this now. <laughs> <laughs> a cocktail on a rooftop bar can set you back anything from $12 to $20 to even $50, depending on how high class you wanna go. For a cocktail, $50. Sure, yeah, fam. In at number four, we have the Maldives. Oh. Oh, yes! JJ's hometown. Big banger! Airfare to the Maldives is a factor in its expensiveness, as many people aren't really able to get to the Maldives. They're not pretty accessible. Usually flying there will involve a transfer. Located in the Indian Ocean, the Maldives are unparalleled in their beauty. Yeah, it looks peng. Yeah, oh. very nice. With many people calling them a paradise. Well, as we know, paradise comes at a cost. And a pretty high one at that. A budget, yep. like low budget hotel, will cost you $150 per night. Low budget. Yeah, no, it's very pricey. With most costing around seven or eight hundred dollars per night. Huh? Very pricey, fam. <laughs> It's such a great place to go, though. You have to go. It's so sick. You trying to take us? No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, you spent five figures on Valentine's Day. If I was fucking you, I'd take Whoa! you. Whoa! Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. See, why does it have to get anymore? mad? No. It always has to get mad with Jay. No, no, mom. It's just facts. <laughs> why you got to do that, bro? Like, <laughs> It's just facts. <laughs> maybe one day, Toby. Maybe one day. <laughs> no, no, never, never. <laughs> <laughs> Taking it pretty high budget at number three, we have the Alps. The Alps? Come on. The mountains, yeah. Oh, right. A ski holiday in the Alps are always some of the most expensive vacations out there. There is a fair amount of travel involved to get up the mountains, and they're pretty much known as being the playground for the affluent. Ooh. Lodges, cabins, chalets, and hotels are very, very pricey. Oh, that looks peng. Budget hotels can cost around $150 per night, but most places are upwards of $400. Jesus. Then, of course, there are the ski lift passes. Known for some of the best skiing in the world. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I knew it. Places like Val d'Isere are the most expensive. Do you know what else is expensive? The hospitals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, bro, they took me on a snowmobile down the hill and they're like, all right, that'll be 400 euros, please. I'm like, Jeez, fuck off my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. 400 euros to take you down. Yeah. Down yeah. <laughs> so wait, so if you didn't pay, would they just drive back up? They wouldn't let me go to the hospital. They were like, no, you need to pay before you go. I'm like, oh, fuck, Man. here's my card. What? Fuck off, let me go to the hospital. Jesus. Oh my gosh. I reckon I got scammed, but I couldn't say much. Like, when you're in that position, you just hand over your card. You're like, just get me to the hospital. Just yeah, take my money and let me go. Coming in at number two, we have the Kruger National Park in South Africa. Mm, oh, wow. Lions, buffalo, elephants, and more all reside in one of the biggest game reserves on the continent. Basic four-walled accommodation can cost $150 per night, with premium abodes costing anywhere from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand. Ooh. Huh? Per Night. I think so, yeah. Boy. Coming in at number one, an absolute bucket list for me, we have the what? Arctic. What? The fucking Arctic? No. Why not? Mix really? it up. Uh, uh. I, I, was so, around here. I was so excited to figure out what number one was. Fucking Arctic. Oh my 
God, man. We have the Arctic. The main costs here really come from the fact that it's not really a touristy place to go. Getting to the Arctic involves expedition planning, although it would be worth it for what you get back in exposure to nature. Frostbite, no, thanks. Your average boat passage to the Arctic is an eye-watering $7,000. Huh? Why would you want to do this? If you thought that was expensive, getting to the North Pole can cost around $30,000. But why what? though? Odds on, Jid. $30,000, North Pole. I'm, no, no chance. For a video, for Reddit. Imagine it's a Sidemen expensive holiday. You're like, yes, I've got the, the expensive holiday. It's a 30 <laughs> grand holiday. <laughs> Let's go. Josh is like, all right, you're going to have to hike to the North Pole. Have fun. The cheap one is the ski trip. <laughs> and the expensive <laughs> one is the, the igloo in the Arctic. Oh, man. I'd actually <laughs> just break down and cry. Oh, oh mate. Dear. I hate cold, man. Well, that was... That was fun. Yeah. Oh, was, yeah, interesting. Was there a place that they didn't mention that you were surprised? Bora Bora. Like, that's oh, surely yeah, got to yeah. be up there. Um, uh, Mykonos? Expensive. Yeah. Tokyo. Santorini. Tokyo. 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 Oh, there, yeah. There's a lot of places that could have been on there, but, you know, we'll, we'll take what we got. I enjoyed the list. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in a bit. And take care. And rage.